Chapter 601, Kindergarten Teacher. Then explain it. Lin Qiao answered his question unclearly, by saying that it had everything to do with her. But, Lu Dani still had no idea what relationship she had with Hades base, and that made him very unhappy. He felt as if she was treating him like a child. Lin Qiao picked up two water ladles and then said to the group of zombies, If you have cups, go and get them. If you don't, stand there. There were over 50 level 3 zombies. Lin Qiao didn't have that many cups for them, so she planned to let those level 4 zombies lend them theirs. There were about 20 level 4 zombies. They hadn't had any lake water for many days. As Lin Qiao ordered them to get their cups, they immediately ran to the cabinet, picked up their cups, and then ran back as quickly as possible. After that, they fixed their eager eyes on Lin Qiao. Lin Qiao put the water ladles in Lu Dani's hands and then said, Why are you looking at me? Stop looking at me. Look at him. Lu Dani was very confused. Then, he turned and found those zombies staring at the ladles in his hands. Oi, young man, come over here. At that point, Lin Qiao waved at the smart young male zombie, saying, You've done this job before. Today, I'll give you a new job. That young male zombie was now less eager toward the lake water, because he had sneakily drunk the lake water in Lutani's buckets many times these days. So now, he wasn't in strong need of the lake water. If he wanted anything, that would be bailing in the lake water. Now, Lin Giao summoned him, but he didn't know what she wanted. Lin Giao pointed at the other bucket of water, then said, stand straight first. Then, she said to the confused Lutani, have you seen these zombies with cups? Give each of them a cup of water. Hearing her, Lutani finally woke up. It was the first time he saw something like this, and he felt very strange. Once again, he glanced at those level 4 zombies who were standing in a straight line, suddenly feeling as if he was looking at some elementary school students. What the hell? Lutani hurriedly shook his head to get rid of the strange thoughts in his mind. At that time, Lin Giao said to those level 4 zombies, come over here. When you have finished your water, lend your cups to them. While speaking, she pointed at those level 3 zombies, but found them standing in a messy formation, slowly approaching the buckets. Oi, 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 stand there. Stop bunching up. Move back. Step away from each other. She burst in yells as she pointed at those unruly level 3 zombies and ordered them to move back. Being pointed at by Lin Qiao who was a zombie dominator, those level 3 zombies didn't dare to disobey, and stepped back obediently. But still, they were crowding together. Lin Qiao walked to them and kicked a zombie on the first row, then pushed the other one while shouting, make two steps backward. Yes, and stay here. You, you, step back, back. Why are you clinging to him? Do you want to bite him? Before long, she put those level 3 zombies in a not so neat formation. Remember your own spots. Do not stand in wrong spots next time. You, stand straight, and you, put your foot back. Stand to attention Lin Qiao kept correcting those zombies standing postures. With a confused look, Lutani watched Lin Qiao easily put those strange looking level 3 zombies in a formation. Those zombies stood in straight lines as obedient as soldiers. Seeing him gazing at Lin Qiao, the zombie who was in front of him, waiting for the lake water, got unhappy. He opened his mouth and attempted to roar at him, but then paused to think. Abruptly, he glanced at Lin Qiao and then shut his mouth. As he wasn't allowed to roar, he reached out his cup toward Lutani's face. Eh? What the hell? A cup suddenly appeared near Lutani, nearly bumping into his nose. Lutani gave a start then realized that there were some zombies standing in front of him, waiting for him to give them the water. He was actually distracted earlier. Lutani glanced at the zombies' eager eyes, then hurriedly turned and fetched some water, pouring it into the zombies' cup. Upon getting the water, that super-powered zombie quickly went back into the line. Lutani glanced at him with surprise, as he thought that the zombie would move to the side. While fetching water for those zombies, he watched them holding their cups and going back into the line. You guys, bring your cups over here when you have finished your water. Lin Giao suddenly yelled at those level 4 zombies who already had had the water. Roar. Those zombies looked at her with confusion. Instead of bringing their cups to her, they hid those cups behind their bodies, 
then stared at Lin Kiao vigilantly and bitterly, Damn, what is that look in your eyes, I'm only asking to borrow those cups, borrow, I'll give them back to you. Seeing the look in those zombies eyes, Lin Kiao immediately understand their meaning, they thought that she was going to take away their cups and never let them drink the lake water, come over here and bring your cups, why are you so stingy, I'm not taking those cups away forever, I'm just asking you to lend your cups to them, so they can drink, look, they don't have any cups, while persuading those zombies, Lin Kiao sighed helplessly, yet, those level 4 zombies refused to move, Lin Kiao got angry, she narrowed her eyes and said coldly, do I need to give you an order, seeing the look on her face, all those zombies shivered, then immediately rushed over and put their cups into those the hands of those level 3 zombies who stood there quietly, after that, they roared at those level 3 zombies, they tried to tell those level 3 zombies that they needed to give those cups back after drinking the water, roar, those level 3 zombies who took over those cups were a little confused, why did you roar, they'll pass the cups to the ones behind them when they have finished their water, why are you so impatient, Lin Kiao kicked the zombie who was the nearest to her, after kicking that zombie away, she said to those level 3 zombies who had cups, go over there, get your water, then come back here, after that, finish the water and pass the empty cups to the ones behind you, do you understand, Roar? No, those level 3 zombies answered Lin Kiao's question very straightforwardly, Lin Kiao tried pretty hard to keep herself from exploding, go, over there, get the water, come back, drink. Lin Kiao said to them through clenched teeth, watching Lin Kiao, Lutani suddenly felt that she was like a kindergarten teacher, he found her anxious, angry, and helpless look very interesting, after being yelled at by Lin Kiao, those level 3 zombies who had cups quickly moved toward that young male zombie that Lin Kiao was pointing at, that young male zombie who had been waiting by the bucket was already getting impatient, he bared his teeth and roared at those level 3 zombies, urging them to move faster, roar, the water is ready, come on, chapter 602, Dismiss when you finish the water. Lin Kiao stood aside, watching those zombies fetch water batch by batch, then return to their own spots and finish the water. There were only about 20 level 4 zombies, and it wasn't the first time they came near the building to fetch water. Soon, Lutani gave each of them a cup of water and then started to give the water to level 3 zombies. After lending their cups to level 3 zombies, those level 4 zombies didn't go back to their own spot, but stayed near those level 3 zombies and stared at them fiercely, Oi, you guys, go back and line up, you can come back later to get your cups. Lin Kiao looked at them, said helplessly, Roar, roar those level 4 zombies reluctantly went back to their spots, their cups meant a lot to them, as if they wouldn't be able to drink the lake water again without those cups, before long. Every zombie got a cup of water, level 4 zombies were able to absorb some power from the water, yet the water wasn't very effective to them, unlike them, those level 3 zombies started shambling, they couldn't even stand stably, as if they had just had some super nutritious medicine, Lutani looked over and found them staggering like drunk people, alright, off you go, go, seeing that, Lin Kiao immediately waved a hand and told them to go away, those level 4 zombies found their cups back, but after that, they all stared at their cups with disgust on their faces, as Lin Kiao told them to go, those zombies relaxed and divided into two groups, in the first group were those level 4 zombies who were staring at their cups unhappily, the smartu ones even wiped their cups with their clothes, before, only their own scents could be detected from their cups, but, after those level 3 zombies used their cups, their scents were left on those cups as well, that made those level 4 zombies very unhappy, however, as Lin Kiao was there, they didn't dare to give vent to their anger, those drunken level 3 zombies formed the second group, together, they shambled behind the small building, the energy contained in the lake water was now very dense, as Lin Kiao thought, the water delivered a pretty strong effect on those level 3 zombies who hadn't triggered their superpowers yet, for that reason, 
Lin Giao had been giving Lu Dani the diluted lake water. She was worried that some bad things might happen if she let him drink the lake water by itself. At that moment, the young male zombie was gulping a ladle of water. All right, when you have finished, put these buckets back to where they belong. Lin Giao walked over and gave that young male zombie a kick, then headed toward the small building. At that point, a series of noises were heard from the woods. Oh woo oo oo oo. Following the noise, the furless dog rushed out, darting over to Lin Kiao. Following behind the dog was a wriggling giant snake. Oh woo oo oh woo. The zombie dog was actually holding a large iron bowl in its mouth. It darted up to Lin Kiao and looked at the two buckets with glowing eyes, then at the lake surface. After that, it turned back to Lin Kiao, its tail wagging crazily, looking at the dog. Lin Kiao exclaimed, Ah, I almost forgot about you too. Wait a minute. While speaking, she turned and shouted at Lu Dani, who was going to drag the two buckets away. Wait, give me that bucket. She took the bucket from Lu Dani, then walked to the lake and fetched a bucket full of water. Then, she dragged the bucket of water back to the two animals. Under the confused Lu Dani's gaze, she filled the dog's bowl with the water by using a ladle. Then, she pointed at the rest of the water and said to the snake, Come on, Black, this is for you. Black reared up its upper body and leaned its head forward to take a glance at the water. After that, it quickly sunk its head into the water. At that moment, their zombie dog had lowered its head and started drinking as well. Lin Giao glanced at the two animals which were drinking the water happily, then turned and said to Lu Tani, All right. We're heading to our next destination now. Lutani paused briefly, looking at her with confusion. Next destination? Eh? Aren't we going back to All Beings base? Lin Giao gave him a glance, then said, How can we go back so soon? What we've done was only the first thing we needed to do. Next, we're going to Huexia base, to learn about the antidote, so that we can prepare ourselves for what might happen in the future. Otherwise, if our enemies use that on us during a war, things will become troublesome. Lutani understood and agreed. She was right. For zombies, that antidote was indeed a big problem. But, why are we going alone? The other bases will certainly send out a large group of people each. We're only there to seek information, not to make deals. It's unnecessary for us to bring more people, Lin Giao said to him and then disappeared. She left her space with the car and then sat in the driver's seat. The car was driven toward North China, leaving the chaotic Earth Dragon base behind. Before long, all the other bases received the news that the leader of Earth Dragon base had been murdered while two vice leaders had gone missing. After that news, they heard that zombies had occupied that base, and a level 8 powerful man from Hidden Cloud City base had defeated the remaining army force in the base. Wu Cheng Yu sighed helplessly and said, Wherever she goes, she creates a great deal of trouble. Xiao Liking, who was standing before his table, knew whom he was talking about. So, he asked with curiosity. Did Miss Lu take revenge for Hades base people? She actually did that by herself, but left all the Hades base people in the new base in Upper City District. Why didn't she take them with her? Wu Cheng Yu glanced at him with a faint smile and said, does she even need to do that? I guess even all the human armies in the world combined aren't as strong as her army now. Eh, you're right though. Xiao Liking immediately understood his meaning. She was a zombie leader. Once she left the base, she would be able to summon a huge group of zombies anywhere she went. She has put Earth Dragon base in trouble, so is she coming back soon? Xiao Liking thought for a moment and then asked, Come back? Wu Cheng Yu glanced at them again then shook his head and responded, why would she come back? There's only a short way to go between Earth Dragon Base and Huexia Base. Why would she come all the way back and then not travel to Huexia Base? Hearing his words, Xiao Liking paused briefly, then said with surprise, eh? Is she going to Huexia Base too? Does her base need that antidote? I don't think so. He knew that half of that base would become a home of special zombies so he figured that they wouldn't be needing that antidote for the zombie virus. Why not? Even if they don't need to use it, they still need to figure out how to keep themselves from being affected by it. So, I think she'll definitely try to figure out all the details about the antidote. Wu Cheng smiling eyes glowed with a dim light. Chapter 603, 
toward North China. Three days later, tens of miles away from Huaxia Base in a mountainous area in Xingtai City of North China. It was snowing right now, and the sky was grey. A thick layer of snow had accumulated on the ground, and everything was white. It looked beautiful, but lifeless and cold at the same time. The weather was so cold, so most animals wouldn't normally come out. However, there was an exception, mutated flesh-eating roe deer. Before the apocalypse, people used to call them silly roe deer, but now, they weren't silly at all. It might be the virus or some other reason, but those roe deer were now even fiercer than wolves. They had grown sharp teeth, which allowed them to eat meat happily, they became sneaky as well. Moreover, they liked to attack people. They propagated rapidly. Somehow, their number had increased several times over during the past few years. By the time Huexia base people realized that problem, the number of those flesh-eating roe deer was already out of control. Many people who came out of the base were attacked and eaten by those flesh-eating roe deer, which had changed drastically after the apocalypse. But this time, they weren't attacking anyone, but were chased all over the mountain. As a giant black snake, black was very eye-catching in the snow field. However, it was able to silently approach those sensitive roe deer and pounce on them swiftly. It lashed its tail around a calf-sized roe deer, then dragged it down the mountain. Compared with Black's quick and neat surprise attack, Boa had been creating quite some noise. The furless zombie dog excitedly hopped across the snowfield. It even rolled in the snow from time to time while chasing behind those roe deer all over the mountain. Lin Kiao and Lutani sat on a snow-covered rock, wearing thin clothes. They were waiting for the two to bring food back. Before long, the giant snake dragged back a roe deer which was still struggling. Aha, silly roe deer. Lin Giao had her eyes glowing. She hadn't tasted roe deer before. She quickly jumped off the rock and walked to the snake. The waist-thick snake was coiling around the calf-sized roe deer. If the snake wanted to eat the roe deer, it could have slowly swallowed it. But instead, it brought it back to Lin Giao. Lin Giao walked over and grasped the roe deer's long neck then twisted her wrist. Crack. Following the slight, muffled noise, the roe deer stopped struggling. Lin Giao sniffed at it, sensing a nice and sweet aroma. Good. It smelled delicious. As the roe deer was killed, Black unwrapped it, then shrank to the side. It curled up and stopped moving there. The snake really didn't like that place, as it was too cold. Lin Giao squatted and popped her claw, creating a hole in the roe deer's stomach. With that, blood gushed out of that hole. She flicked her hand and took out a stainless bowl from her space, then put it under that bleeding hole. After about ten minutes, the bleeding finally stopped. Then, Lin Kiao lifted the warm bowl of blood, put it near her lips, and drank it up. Watching all that, Lutani was dumbfounded. Not to mention how awfully metallic that blood smelt, there was a large bowl of it. He didn't expect Lin Kiao to empty the bowl in one breath. Why wasn't she worried that her stomach might explode? Lin Kiao finished the bowl of blood and put down the bowl. Noticing the look in Lutani's eyes, she tilted her head and said, What? Do you want some too? Why didn't you tell me that earlier? I've already drunk all of it. Lutani looked at her speechlessly and hurriedly shook his head. He did not want that blood. Even looking at it made him feel awful. How could he possibly drink it? However, Lin Kiao suddenly reached the bowl to him and said, Smell it. Feel its scent. What? Lutani looked at her with confusion. What does she mean? Why does she want me to smell it? As he was having that thought, he suddenly sensed a strange scent. After a short pause, he couldn't help but take a deep breath. Eh? It actually doesn't smell bad. It did smell metallic though. Seeing the look on his face, Lin Kiao blinked, then took back the bowl and quickly cut the roe deer with her claws to skin it. She did that speedily and smoothly. In a short while, she skinned a foreleg of the roe deer, then slightly raised a hand and swung at it. The leg was cut off, and she caught it before it fell into the snow. Holding that leg, Lin Kiao stood up and walked up to Lutani, handing the leg to him. Try it. See if you can eat it. Lutani looked at her with deep confusion. But next. As he took a glance at that leg, he suddenly fixed his eyes on it while raising a hand and taking it over with hesitation. Then, he put the leg under his nose and sniffed at it. You don't hate its smell, do you? Try to take a bite then, 
Lin Giao said to him, just now, she suddenly realized that those zombies under her command had been drinking the lake water to maintain their body functions without eating any human flesh. She felt that that was not right, if their desire for feeding was overly restrained, they might grow an even stronger interest toward human flesh in the future. That would not be good. However, those zombies refused to eat animals. How was she supposed to solve this problem? But now, she found that Lutani seemed not to reject the scent of the roe deer's blood. Perhaps, he could eat some roe deer meat. With that thought, she immediately cut off a leg of that roe deer and handed it to Lutani, hoping that he would eat it. Lutani sniffed at the roe deer leg and found it not as stinky as the large crab that Lin Giao ate the last time. The roe deer smelt metallic as well, yet it also had a strangely appealing scent. He looked at Lin Kiao and found her staring at him expectantly. So, he opened his mouth and took a bite of the leg. He thought it would taste awful, so he was already preparing to turn his head around and spit it out. However, he was stunned after the first bite. Eh? It doesn't seem bad. Lutani paused briefly, then made a larger bite. After he turned into a zombie. His teeth had become very sharp. With those sharp teeth, he easily bit off a large piece of raw meat. How is it? Lin Kiao asked nervously. She noticed that Lutani paused shortly after the first bite. Once she asked that question, she saw him make a larger bite and start chewing loudly. Seeing that, her eyes glowed more and more brightly, as she was having a greater and greater expectation. But still, she didn't dare to relax as she was worried that Lutani might throw up after he swallowed the meat. She waited for a while, then saw Lutani finish chewing and swallow the meat. He himself was shocked as well. Looking at the leg confusedly, he made another bite. Chapter 604, They Might Be The Same. Oh, there is hope. Lin Gia was delighted as she noticed the look on Lutani's face. She hurriedly came up to the latter and fixed her eyes on him. How is it? How is it? What does it taste like? What about the texture? Only after he finished the second bite did Lutani raise his head to look at her. The roe deer meat was smooth and chewy. It smelt strange, but tasted good. The longer he chewed it, the sweeter it tasted. Lutani said that in his head, and Lin Gia heard it all. Yeah, as long as you can eat it. I wonder if other zombies can eat it. It's weird though. Why can you eat it? The other zombies all refuse to eat mutated animals. Perhaps, only roe deer meat is edible for them. Knowing that Lutani could eat the roe deer, Lin Kiao relaxed, then asked a series of questions. While thinking, she turned and ran back to that roe deer and kept skinning it. Lutani made another bite. He was also wondering why he could eat that mutated animal. It tasted really good. While eating, he watched Lin Giao skin that roe deer with confusion. Lin Giao skinned the whole roe deer, then cut off the other foreleg and the pair of real legs. After that, she threw the rest of the roe deer to the snake. Here you go. Get us another one when you finish it. The snake quickly reached out its head took over the skinned roe deer with its mouth, and then began swallowing it slowly. Lin Giao put the three legs on the roe deer skin. She glanced at Lutani, who was still biting the leg in his hands, thinking that maybe she could bring out the other zombies and see if they would eat the roe deer too. With that thought, she immediately entered her space and brought out the young male zombie and two level 4 zombies. Lin Giao ordered them to stand still, then picked up a leg, tore off a small piece of meat from it, and handed it to the young male zombie. Try and eat it, she said. The young male zombie confusedly took over the palm-sized piece of meat. As Lin Kiao told him to eat it, he was even more confused. What is this? Is this edible? The young male zombie held the meat and looked at Lin Kiao bewilderedly. Why are you looking at me? Eat it. Come on, take a bite. As the zombie was still hesitating, Lin Kiao urged him. Being urged by her, the young male zombie put the meat under his nose and sniffed at it. After that, he showed dislike on his face. However, as Lin Giao had told him to eat it, he didn't dare to throw it away. With no other choice, he opened his mouth and took a bite of the meat, despite how disgusting he felt. Seeing the disgusted look on his face, Lin Giao knew what was going on. Meanwhile, she sensed the disgusting feeling that the zombie was having. As she expected. The young male zombie couldn't help but turn his head and spit the meat back out before even chewing it. Then, 
He looked at Lin Giao with a bitter face, raw. It tasted awful, Lin Giao sighed, then took the rest of the meat away from him and handed it to the next zombie. That zombie sniffed at it, then put it back into Lin Giao's hands without daring to take a bite. After that, he made two steps backward, his face filled with dislike. Pa the young male zombie was still spitting as if the flavor lingering in his mouth made him really uncomfortable. Seeing those zombies reaction, Lutani, who was still eating the meat, instantly stopped chewing, then confusedly glanced at the leg in his hands which now only had bones left, then at the young male zombie. They refused to eat it. They seem to hate that meat. Why can I eat it? I have the same question. Lin Kiao turned around and glanced at Lutani, aren't you all zombies? I thought they can eat it too as you can eat it. But, it turns out that I was wrong. I guess you're as special as I am. While saying that, Lin Giao suddenly realized something. Lu Tani was bitten by her and then turned into a zombie, because when he died, he was not infected by the virus. He was infected by the virus from her mouth, so now, he was in the same state as she was, wasn't he? No way. Really? The third zombie made no reaction at all when Lin Kiao handed him the meat. While trying to figure out why, Lin Kiao took the piece of meat back. She glanced at the piece of meat which had been bitten by the young male zombie, then threw it away. After that, she squatted and washed her hands with the snow, then sent the three zombies back into her space. Soon, she came out and found that Lutani had already finished the leg. So, she turned and threw him another leg. One leg isn't enough is it? Here you go, Lin Giao said. She knew that he must have as good an appetite as she did back when she newly turned into a zombie. Back then, she was always starving, and once she started eating, she couldn't stop. Hearing her words, Lutani realized that he did still feel hungry. Lin Giao picked up the other foreleg, then leaned against a rock and started eating as well. The roe deer meat had a strange scent, but as Lutani had said, it was chewy. The longer one chewed it, the sweeter it would be. Near the rock, Lutani and his zombie sister each held a roe deer leg with both hands, wolfing it down. Oh woo oo oo at that time, the zombie dog's voice was heard. Lutani and Lin Giao both turned and saw the dog running over, holding a roe deer in its mouth. Lin Giao looked at that terribly bitten roe deer and said with dislike, You eat it yourself, ow? Their zombie dog glanced at her with confusion. However, since she had told it to eat the roe deer, the dog immediately dropped it on the ground and started biting it after lying down. Lin Giao swallowed the meat in her mouth and sighed. Sadly, humans can't eat these roe deers. Otherwise, I'd catch some of these and keep them in my space. She had sensed that the bodies of those roe deers thickly contained the zombie virus, so human beings couldn't eat them. She wondered if her lake water could wash the virus away. After finishing the leg, she washed her hands again with snow and said, You guys wait here. I'll go and get some of those roe deers, then put them in my space. Even though those roe deers weren't edible for humans, she could keep some of them for herself, Black, and Boa. There were countless roe deers in this place, and she didn't intend to waste such a good food resource. This place was near Huexia base anyway and catching some roe deers wouldn't take too much time. Lin Kiao made the job very quick and convenient. In the invisible state, she approached those roe deers very easily and caught them without even being noticed. Even those roe deers had no idea that some of their friends were disappearing one after another. By the time they realized that, Lin Kiao had already thrown about 20 roe deers into her space. Chapter 605 Quexia base. The mutation had allowed those roe deers to eat flesh, but when there was no flesh to eat, they would still eat grass. Therefore, Lin Kiao didn't need to worry that they might die of starvation in her space, because she had a grassland there. She only wondered if the grasses in her space were enough to feed those roe deers. After catching about 20 roe deers, Lin Kiao returned to where she skinned the first one. The snake had caught another roe deer, which was still alive. Clearly, the snake was waiting for Lin Kiao. We can leave after finishing this, Lin Kiao glanced at that roe deer which was wrapped in the snake. It opened its mouth wide to bite the snake, yet couldn't do any harm to the latter. The teeth of those mutated roe deers were able to hurt humans, 
but the scales of a level 5 mutated snake might break them. Lin Kiao turned to give Lutani a glance and asked, Do you want some more? Lutani shook his head, even though he still felt hungry. He had eaten two legs, which weighed tens of kilograms in total. He actually ate them all. You can eat these animals occasionally to satisfy your sense of taste but they can't quench your hunger. Zombies have a distinctive desire to eat humans. The satisfaction that you now want is no longer the same as the satiety from your stomach, Lin Giao said while skinning the second row deer. Human blood contains some kind of energy that can allow the zombies to evolve slowly. Zombie nuclei can do the same. While eating, Lutani watched Lin Giao skin the second row deer, cut off the legs, and throw the rest to the snake. Clearly, the trunk of the first row deer didn't satisfy Black's stomach. That snake needed someone to skin its food. After feeding the second row deer to Black, Lin Gia waved a hand and released a stream of dark fire to burn out the two row deer skins on the ground, also cleaning the blood-stained snow nearby. Their zombie dog was still eating his row deer, having opened it up to wolf its flesh. After it finished the row deer, Lin Giao put it back into her space along with Lutani and the snake, then turned and left. Down the mountain, the roads were deeply buried under snow, and it was impossible to drive. Lin Giao turned invisible and walked on the snow field alone, leaving a series of footprints behind her. If someone saw this, would they think that there's a ghost? She knew how to vanish the snow though. As she swung her hand forward and sent out a flake of dark fire, the snow on the ground disappeared within a moment. After that, she took out the car from her space and melted all the snow 10 meters wide before the car. Then, she got into the car and started driving forward. Meanwhile, she sent her dark fire forward as well, ahead of the car. One hour later, she got near to Huexia base. Instead of driving closer, she put her car back into her space before the Huexia people discovered her, then turned invisible and climbed onto the fence wall. Standing on the fence wall, she wore a serious face. That base was really extraordinary, merely the weapons on the fence wall had given her a faint sense of crisis. The buildings in the base had all been remodeled. The base gave out a vibe of future technology, looking highly developed. That base had recruited almost all the best scientists in the country who survived the apocalypse. For that reason, it grew much stronger than the other bases, and became the number one base in the country. That base owned all kinds of advanced technologies, and that was one of the reasons that the other bases were afraid of it. What concerned Lin Giao weren't those weapons, but the few strong vibes that she had sensed from the base. One of those vibes caught her attention because it was very similar to her own vibe. That vibe was much weaker than hers, but was special. If she guessed right, it belonged to that zombie dominator. Even though that vibe was rather weak, the suppression it gave out was no weaker than what she could give. What kind of zombie was that? Lin Kiao frowned slightly, then leapt off the tens of meters tall wall. Quakesia base's fence wall was higher than the walls in the other bases. At that moment, the people from the other bases had mostly arrived. As a few people were still on their way, the ones who had arrived had been chatting relaxedly. Oh, are you saying that once you've succeeded, we'll be able to inject it into our bodies, like vaccines, and then we won't be spotted by zombies anymore? Are you sure? Wu Cheng Ayu was sitting on a couch in the room that Huexia base had arranged for him. Apart from him, Xiao Liking and Mali were also in that room. Of course. Wu Yu Ling was there as well. Mali raised her eyebrows cold facedly, then said in a bland tone, What? Don't you believe in my technologies? I've worked with Dr. Liang for a couple of years. We started this project together, and only I am able to continue it. The project that she mentioned was actually those important files which Liang Dashu gave her before his death. She was the doctor's assistant, so except for the doctor himself, she knew the project the best. She was not as smart and knowledgeable as Liang Dashu, but with enough time, she would be able to finish the project. How much time do you need? A year? Two? Wu Cheng Ayu asked her smilingly. A year or two. As long as there's a possibility, I'll keep doing it. Do you disagree? Mali looked at him and said, No. As far as the virus study goes, you're the boss. You can take as much time as you need. Wu Cheng Ayu shrugged and responded while chuckling, if we develop a drug that can make zombies lose interest in us, 
the antidote that Huexia base developed would become much less valuable, right? After all, its effects can only be delivered when you spread it in a zombie crowd, Xiao Liking said with a frown. How can that be? Of course, it'll still be valuable. Don't you want to kill all the zombies in the world? Think about it. Before the apocalypse, the world's population was over 7 billion. Out of them, 6 billion turned into zombies. How many years will it take us to destroy them all? Wu Cheng Ayu shook his head and said to Xiao Liking, The whole world. I guess we still can't kill them all even in hundreds of years. Xiao Liking was scared by the term world's population. Thinking about Wu Cheng Ayu's question, he gave his answer. Five years had passed since the apocalypse, and every base had built a relatively mature environment for people to live in. So, from now on, people needed to think about how to destroy zombies because humans wouldn't always live under the panic that the zombie virus created. As intelligent creatures, the strongest power of humans was creation. Xiao Liking saw things differently from Wu Cheng Ayu, because they were at two different levels. Chapter 606, She'll Come Here Quietly. So, the antidote that Huexia base developed is still very valuable. But, I wonder if they can fix the problems caused by the limited amount. Otherwise, when can we kill all the billions of zombies in the world, if we have to do it by ourselves? Said Wu Cheng Ayu with a faint smile. I just want to know how long that zombie can stay alive until it is drained by those people completely. They're trying to figure out a way to allow that zombie to produce more blood, aren't they? Mali only cared about the zombie which was the key to the virus research in Huexia City. Since they can't let that zombie die, they'll certainly try to keep it alive for as long as possible. So undoubtedly, they'll feed it with human flesh and zombie nuclei. You've read the files. Allowing the zombie to produce more blood? I'm impressed that you even thought of that. Zombies had dead hearts. So how can their bodies possibly generate new blood? I think that Huexia base people have only been improving that zombie's energy with the energies contained in the zombie nuclei, to strengthen the genes in its blood. In that way, they'll need a much less amount of blood to produce the antidote, said Wu Cheng Ayu. You're right though, Mili nodded dad then asked, what kind of zombie is it? Have you learned any details yet? Xiao Liking shook his head and responded. They've hidden that zombie very well. We don't even know where they have been keeping it, not to mention any details about it. So far, we only know that it's a male zombie. If its blood is so effective against the zombie virus, I think it'll be helpful for my research as well. Can we get some of that zombie's blood? Or any other kind of body fluid? Molly abruptly raised her head and looked at Wu Cheng Ayu with glowing eyes. That zombie was so special. Its blood might really be helpful for her project. It's difficult, very difficult. You know how precious that zombie is. If you owned it, would you let anyone come close to it without permission? Wu Cheng Ayu smilingly shook his head. A, hey, you're right, Molly responded disappointedly. At that time, Wu Cheng Ayu turned to say to Xiao Liking, haven't hidden Cloud City base people arrived yet? Xiao Liking shook his head and replied, I think they'll arrive at night. But, I guess Earth Dragon base is destroyed already. From now on, it might become a subsidiary base of hidden Cloud City base. Wu Cheng Ayu was still wearing that faint smile, but a dim light flashed across his eyes as he said, Long Yubai opened his door to dangerous people. That's just the consequence of that. He thought that he was cooperating with Hidden Cloud City Base and Skyfire Base, but in fact, they have been seeing his base as food on their plate since long ago. Earlier on, he even targeted our base. I really don't know how to describe that person. Naive. Well, he really wanted too much. Xiao Liking recalled that Long Yubai went to see City Base earlier on and lingered outside the base for a while. Thinking about his purpose, he felt that the latter had really brought the doom on himself. Hidden Cloud City Base was going to make a move anyway, even if that female zombie didn't go to Earth Dragon Base and create all the trouble. A level 8 superpowered man is strong enough to scare the Skyfire Base, Wu Cheng Ayu said, and then asked, have you still not found out what relationship she has with Hades base? You see, she has broken Earth Dragon base already. Why haven't you found anything yet? Hearing him complain, Xiao Liking couldn't react at first. He spent a second standing there with confusion, then replied, 
What? I want to find it out sooner as well. But you see, even Chen Yuting doesn't know about it. How am I supposed to know? They were indeed curious about the relationship between Lu Taniu and those Hades base people. They had spent quite some time to try and find out the truth, yet still had no discoveries. Chen Yuting was from Sea City base, but now, he seemed to have started hiding some important secrets for those people in Upper City District as well. Perhaps, he really didn't know. How could that be possible? He must be able to learn something if he wanted to. M. Haven't those upper city base people arrived yet? Wu Cheng Ayu asked another question. We haven't heard anything from them yet. Are you sure that they'll be here? Xiao Li Qing looked at him uncertainly. They surely will. If there's no news about them she might have sneaked in already. After all, she won't be able to pass the virus scan at the base entrance. Or maybe, she'll send those Lin family people. Wu Cheng Ayu thought for a moment and said, She can't pass the virus scan. Why? Mali looked at the two of them and asked, Who are you talking about? Xiao Liking glanced at Wu Cheng Ayu, and the latter said, I think it's better that you do not know about it. Mali blandly raised her eyebrows and said, All right, you're keeping it secret from me, aren't you? Whatever. At that moment, Lin Gia was moving toward the source of that weak but powerful vibe. She spent a long while to find the place where that zombie was kept in. Quaxia base was incredibly huge. Lin Gia was fast, yet it still took her over half an hour to get there. There was a signboard at the entrance of the building, saying Base Institute. The building had at least 50 floors. Was the entire building used for virus studies? Lin Gia sensed the sense from the building. At least a thousand people were in that building which had an underground space as well. That zombie was deep underground, inside the building. Lin Kiao, of course, couldn't just dig a hole and break straight in the building. Instead of that, she followed some staff in. I heard that the people from all the other bases have mostly arrived. I guess our antidote is really important to them. Of course, it is. That is a weapon. It's so harmful for zombies. To the entire mankind, it's a new step forward. Sadly, our antidote is only effective on the zombies at level 1 and 2. That's already impressive. Besides, there are only a limited number of higher leveled zombies. You're right. As for the lower leveled zombies, our antidote can destroy them all. Our base has the most advanced technologies. I bet the other bases can't develop anything like our antidote yet. I wonder how many people are jealous of us. Ha ha. That is true. Our base has a preferential policy for technical talents. Unlike us, the other bases take in all kinds of people, even including some commoners who have no skills at all. Why did they take those people in? To feed them for nothing? Are you talking about the poor districts? We have one of that in our base too. The few people walked into the building while chatting, having completely no idea that an invisible creature was following behind them. Lin Kiao followed them into the sensor door of the building. The door was a device for detecting heartbeats and body temperature. So, it was completely ineffective on Lin Kiao, who was a zombie with no heart heat or body temperature. The door was designed to detect living human beings. Lin Kiao was a zombie, so the door couldn't even sense a trace of her. Chapter 607 the Institute in Huexia Base. After entering the building, Lin Giao stopped following those people because they were headed upstairs, and not toward the underground floors. She glanced at the signs in the lobby and found that there were many departments in the Institute, medical department. Medical researches seemed to have been greatly valued. Architectural department? Was that department arranged in this institute as well? Lin Giao looked around and found a weapon department, Agricultural Department, Soil Study Department, Virus Study Department, and Energy Study Department, along with many others. No wonder so many people were working in this place. It turned out that Huexia Base had been studying in many spheres. Lin Kiao quickly looked around and then headed toward the Virus Study Department. As she expected, that department was located underground with strict access control and all sorts of alarm systems. Standing before the elevator door, she quietly looked at the smart lock on it. To unlock the door, it required both an access card and a fingerprint. Therefore, 
She had no choice but to stand outside and wait for the others to come. She looked at the time and found that it was already afternoon. She figured that some people would need to use the elevator, as she expected. A few people soon came that way. They each swiped their staff badges and then put a finger on the lock before entering. Lin Kiao followed the first person into the elevator, then quietly watched the others come in. There are more guards these days. No doubt, after all. So many outsiders are in our base. We have to be careful. You're right. Oh, you've made enough credits, haven't you? When will you apply for surrogacy? I'll wait until the meeting is over. What's the rush? I have enough patience. Why don't you? Come on, you're not young anymore. Make it hurry. You need a child? Or who'll take care of you when you're old? What do you mean that I'm not young anymore? I'm only 30 years old. Okay, I'm not old. Surrogacy. Standing in a corner behind those people, Lin Giao scratched her chin. She knew that Huexia Base had developed a surrogacy system. The people who had achieved high credit were able to go to the surrogacy institution to apply for a surrogate mother, so they could have children. The women who had been serving as surrogate mothers the were doing the job willingly, because the institution paid them very well. The institution wouldn't force any woman to be a surrogate mother. However, because the pay was really good, many women were willing to work for the institution. Even some married women were willing to do the job, as long as they were still able to give birth. They were doing it for survival. However, as the percentage of male members in the base was very high, it required very high credit to apply for surrogacy. All kinds of jobs in the research institute could provide good chances of getting high credits. After all, the jobs here were all relatively difficult. Lin Kiao glanced at the man who was about to apply for surrogacy. His staff badge said that he was a team leader. No wonder he had gotten enough credits. That team leader said with an expectant look, if only I can get a single surrogate mother. Hearing that, the others burst in laughter. Stop dreaming. A single surrogate mother? Your credit isn't enough for that, unless you double it. So, in order to have a child, just stop being picky. The team leader gave out a long sigh, then nodded and said, You're right though. Men like us can only apply for married surrogate mothers. Surrogate mothers were divided into a few levels. Unmarried surrogate mothers were paid better than the married ones, so applying for an unmarried surrogate mother required higher credit. As an ordinary researcher, the team leader could only afford to apply for a low-leveled surrogate mother with the credit that he saved over the years. Most of those lower-level surrogate mothers had incapable husbands. They needed to survive, and raise their own children. While the elevator was going down, Lin Giao was listening to the conversation about surrogacy. Soon, the elevator stopped moving and inged. After that, the door was opened and those people walked out. Three meters away from the elevator door was another door that needed an access card. Behind that door was the underground lobby of the institute. After entering the lobby, those people split up and went to their own departments. Lin Kiao looked around. She was on the first floor underground, and the zombie was on a lower floor. She stood by a pillar in the lobby, waiting quietly. An hour later, she heard some other people saying, the tranquilizer might not be working. We need to switch to a different type of tranquilizer to keep him quiet. His body has built up a defense against the tranquilizer that we are using now. So, when it wears off, he might wake up. Can't we increase the dosage? Absolutely not. Be careful. Don't let him smell humans, or he'll go crazy. I get it. Lin Kiao blinked, then followed behind those people. As she thought, those people were heading downward. They took the elevator to the third floor underground, then walked out and turned to the other direction. That floor was guarded by armed soldiers. Clearly, something important was kept here. Lin Kiao followed those people as they turned and turned again, finally arriving at a thick door. Those people followed to open the door and walked in. It was a research department that contained many research rooms and research material. After entering the department, those people walked into the changing room nearby. There, they changed into a special suit and subsequently came out. Their suits were sealed, with zips on their head masks. They could zip the head masks to have their entire bodies covered at any time. Lin Kiao followed them into a research room, 
which was about 200 meters square. In the room were all kinds of advanced devices and half-finished drugs. Lin Giao had no interest in those drugs. She walked to a glass wall and looked through it. On the other side of the glass was a cloud of white mist, within which was a naked creature locked on a shelf. The glass before her eyes was thick and bulletproof. The air temperature on the other side of the glass wall was clearly much lower than that on this side, because the white mist was actually generated by cold air. Icicles hung thickly on that creature's body. They actually froze it to keep it quiet. How's his condition? Someone asked. The effect of the tranquilizer is fading. He hasn't woken up yet, but once the tranquilizer wears off, it'll soon wake up. The cold air can only buy us a couple of hours. It can't deliver any stronger effect. It's okay. He won't go crazy for now, as long as he can't smell any living human being. Under extra low air temperature, his power will generate a self-protection awareness, and will put him in a shallow sleep. We still have time to develop the tranquilizer number two. What are we waiting for then? Start working now. While speaking, those people quickly started working. Lin Kiao quietly stood before the glass, observing the zombie dominator who was in deep sleep. Chapter 608, Sleeping Zombie. That zombie was in a deep sleep, so Lin Kiao couldn't feel much of his condition. After spending a while observing it in the freezing chamber, she turned and to look at those devices nearby. Three minutes later, she realized that she couldn't understand a thing on the screens of those devices. She turned quietly and walked to a table to read the files on it. Those files were about the research progress, including some special terms. Lin Kiao recognized those words, yet didn't understand their meanings. She was a leader, yet she had no knowledge about science and technology. Before the apocalypse, she was merely a soldier. She knew quite a lot about carrying missions or killing people. She surely wouldn't touch those files, as there were other people in the research room. She wanted to find some files about that zombie, but those seemed to have been put away. She raised her head and glanced at those researchers in the room. They were all doing their own jobs quietly. She thought for a moment then reached her hand to the folder named the experimental source zombie. The folder disappeared once she touched it. The people in the room didn't notice that, as they continued to focus on their work. Lin Giao then flashed into her space. Lutani was sitting on a couch in the small building. All of a sudden, a folder appeared on the tea table before him. Before he could react, Lin Giao flashed in. After entering the space, she immediately walked to the table then bent over and picked up the folder. Holding it, she sat on the other couch and started reading. She opened the folder and saw a series of numbers under that zombie's photo. Above those numbers was a name. They actually gave that zombie a name, Makui. It was a male zombie, with animal power, at level 7. Animal power? Lin Giao was a little confused. Was he a zombie who had animal power, like Yan Meng? Was he able to turn into a beast? Or, was it like Yi Hao from Earth Dragon Base? With those thoughts, Lin Kiao looked at the zombie's photo in the file. That zombie looked fierce. His teeth were bared, eyes dark. His pupils were erect like some wild animals. So ugly. Lin Giao said to herself. That zombie looked exactly like a beast, and that picture was taken before its transformation. Two hours later, tranquilizer number two is ready said one of those researchers. Let me test it first. Another researcher walked over. Here you go. The first man handed the tranquilizer to him. The second man took over the tranquilizer and brought it to a weird device, then picked up a tool and took a drop of the tranquilizer out of the test tube with it. Sensing their movements, Lin Kiao immediately flashed out of her base and came closer to that device to look at it carefully. She was curious about how they created that tranquilizer which could be used on zombies. A couple of minutes later, that researcher raised his head and said, it's good. Later, give him tranquilizer number two after feeding him. It's about time. We can take him there. After that, Lin Kiao noticed that a few people entered the freezing chamber. She looked at those researchers with confusion. Not long ago. They said that they needed to stop that zombie from waking up. But now, they seemed to be waking it up. What on earth was going on? Feed. What were they doing? Next, she saw those people who had their bodies wrapped entirely in their suits unchain that zombie from the shelf, 
and then carry him into another room. Once the door of that room was opened, Lin Giao sensed a faint scent of blood. That room might have been cleaned carefully, but the bloody scent still lingered inside. At that moment, all the researchers in the room gathered before the monitor screen. Lin Giao went there as well. On the screen, she saw that zombie in an empty room, along with the researchers who had just unchained him. Those researchers quickly put that motionless zombie on the ground, then evacuated speedily. They locked all the locks in the room while leaving. Once they left, protective equipment quickly descended from the ceiling. After that, a small door in a corner of that room suddenly opened, and then a person was pushed in from that door. That was a man, with his hands and feet chained together. He looked very confused. Once he was pushed in, the door behind him was locked. Soon, that man turned and saw the zombie who was lying on the other side of the room. In the next moment, his face was filled with fear. He rushed to the door which he came in from, banging on the door as hard as he could. Lin Kiao frowned while looking at the screen. She had guessed some of that. It seemed that those people were feeding that zombie dominator with that man. That man banged on the door with his greatest strength. But, as the door stayed closed, he quickly searched around the room for another exit. After searching through the whole room in vain, he became despaired. He curled up in a corner and looked at that zombie while shivering. About 20 minutes later, Lin Giao sensed that the vibe inside that room was growing stronger and stronger. She knew that that zombie was going to wake up. Half an hour later, that vibe stopped rising. Although it didn't make Lin Giao feel under threat, it was strong and no weaker than the vibe of any level 7 being. She was aware that that was not the zombie's true power. His power might have been suppressed. She turned and glanced at those researchers, finding them all wearing a bland face, as if what was happening was completely normal. They all watched that man in that room with an indifferent attitude. At that point, their zombie slowly stood up from the ground. The ice on his body had melted into water, so his entire body was soaked. Seeing him stand up, the man in the corner froze. He fixed his eyes on that zombie. His pupils shrinking. Lin Kiao thought that the zombie would immediately pounce on that man, but what happened next stunned her. That zombie abruptly turned to look at her. He fixed his purely dark eyes straight on her, and his erect pupils shrank into thin lines. Eh? What? Ah. As the zombie dominator suddenly looked into the camera, those researchers by Lin Giao's side each gave a start even before she herself could make any response. He, why is he looking at us? Does he know that we are here? That's impossible. But, but, he's staring at us. It never happened before. Be careful. Security team, you should be on high alert. The look in that zombie's eyes made those researchers panic a little. They immediately warned the security team to keep their eyes open. They had no idea that that zombie wasn't looking at them but at Lin Kiao, who was standing behind them. That zombie had actually sensed her existence. Lin Kiao slightly raised her brows, wondering what that zombie would do next. Chapter 609, Why Doesn't He Eat? Lin Kiao felt really strange, because that zombie actually ignored the humans by her side and only stared at her. Was it because of the connection between zombies? Or, was it vigilant against her? The researchers in that room took fright as the zombie dominator had raised his head to look at the surveillance camera. Lin Giao was surprised as well. That zombie actually looked into the camera. Clearly, he was rather smart. The zombie dominator abruptly lowered his head and turned to the frozen man in the corner. What surprised Lin Giao even more was that she didn't detect any intention of killing from that zombie's eyes. The zombie seemed to have gotten used to all this. Eh? What does this mean? Doesn't he eat humans? Apostrophe she thought. I guess he still won't do it himself said the researcher beside Lin Kiao. Lin Kiao paused briefly. As she understood that man's meaning, she immediately sensed those researchers' thoughts. I see. It turns out that apostrophe. From those people's thoughts, Lin Kiao learned that that zombie would not hurt humans. They forced him to eat humans, so that he could stay alive after they took a lot of his blood. Apart from a living human beings, they would also give him zombie nuclei to replenish his energy. The zombie only glanced at man in that room before turning his head away. He looked around the room, 
then again looked at the camera. Lin Gao observed the zombie with surprise. He actually did not eat human beings before. How did he manage to grow to such a high level? That zombie acted very calmly. Even though Lin Gao considered him ugly, he was actually normal looking among zombies. His eyes were deeply sunken and weirdly black. His facial muscles had shrunk emphasizing his cheekbones. There was a scar near his left cheekbone. Do it. I don't think he'll attack this time. At that moment, a man among those researchers suddenly talked. The others nodded, as if they had foreseen that. Clearly, they were tired of waiting for that zombie to attack that man. Once before, they locked a man in that room for three days. The zombie never touched that man. At last, that man died of starvation. However, after that man died, the zombie made a move. He dug out that man's heart and ate it. He only ate dead bodies, but refused to touch living humans. Hearing that researcher, the other man picked up the communicator and said, fire. Three seconds later, a gunshot was heard. Bang! Along with the gunshot, the zombie suddenly turned back. Lin Gao clearly sensed his unhappiness, which was growing stronger. But soon, he restrained his emotion then turned around and kept staring at the camera. The people in the research room were waiting for the zombie to eat that dead man's heart. But to their surprise, he stayed motionless. One minute had passed. Three minutes, ten minutes. Half an hour later, that zombie still hadn't made any moves. What's going on? What happened to him today? Why doesn't he eat? The people in the research room couldn't stay calm. Clearly, that had never happened before. Why did that zombie even refuse to eat that dead man today? What happened? As the zombie didn't eat the dead man, those researchers didn't know what to do. If he refused to feed, his blood might lose its activity. What's going on? The others were confused as well. Put in the zombie nuclei and see how he'll react, said another man. Soon, a small part of a wall in that room suddenly sank and then something rolled out of it. Lin Kiao looked closer and found that those were a few level 5 zombie nuclei. Are they feeding him with zombie nuclei now? This zombie is living a pretty good life. But still, that zombie dominator stayed motionless. It's so weird. What happened to him today? Those researchers didn't know why this was happening. Anyways, they had no other choice but to stay patient and keep waiting. Only Lin Giao knew what was going on. It was because of her. How could that zombie possibly be in the mood of feeding, as he had sensed that a stronger zombie was nearby? He was, of course, on full alert now. That was like an animal instinct. As a level 7 zombie, he was already very smart. Together with those researchers, Lin Giao quietly observed that zombie through the screen. They kept watching for two hours but the zombie made no move at all. The dead man's body had become cold, and those zombie nuclei were still lying on the ground. The two things in the world that zombies liked the most actually failed to catch that zombie's attention. How strange. What should we do now? He isn't eating anything. Are we going to keep him in that room for two or three days like the last time? We need to take his blood in just two days said a researcher. We don't have time for that. It's his choice not to eat. Release the tranquilizer, said another researcher blandly. Next, a purple stream of gas was suddenly released inside the room. Roar. Once the gas was released, the zombie was agitated. He bared his teeth and gave a roar. However, his roar wasn't heard from the outside, because that room was not only sealed, but also soundproof. Judging merely by the look on his face, Lin Kiao felt that he was somehow stimulated. She sensed that zombie's anger, as if that gas was very repulsive to him. Was he able to tell what that tranquilizer was going to do to him? Or, was the tranquilizer injected into his body before? Anyhow, the zombie was now frenzied. He started rampaging through the room. His claws become extra sharp, leaving a series of marks on the thick, metal walls. However, he wasn't able to break those walls. He hunched his back, and the hair on his head started growing. His human ears disappeared, and black fuzz grew out of his face. Then, his disappeared ears grew back out, but moved upward and became black and fluffy, in a triangular shape. A eh? Lin Kiao looked at that zombie who had become a large cat with surprise. Behind his body, a thick, long, black, and fluffy tail was wagging. Oh my, is that a leopard? Roar. 
That man-shaped leopard was darting about the room, but, no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't free himself from that isolation chamber. Lin Giao was curious and calm. Unlike her, the people near her all fixed their eyes on that large leopard in the screen. They knew that the zombie would soon quiet down, but didn't dare to relax. After all, that was a zombie dominator. Chapter 610 who the hell are you? Lin Kiao looked at the zombie dominator in that room, feeling that he was very weak. He had become like a beast, but still lacked strength. Otherwise, how would those metal walls and bulletproof glass possibly trap him? How did that happen? Was his power restrained by something? She turned and glanced at those researchers, guessing that they had used some other drugs on that zombie. Two more hours later. The zombie finally shrank to a corner and stopped moving. A researcher walked to a device and checked the numbers showing on the screen, then nodded and said, it's safe now. After that, the metal boards on the walls rose into the ceiling. A few people in protective suits walked in as they took out syringes and started to take that zombie dominator's blood. They didn't stop until the zombie's blood filled the three syringes up. As they were done. They quickly moved the zombie back into the freezing chamber, and then chained him back on the shelf. Before long, a man walked into the research room with the black blood. Lin Giao sniffed at the blood and sensed a vibe that was stronger than what she had sensed from that zombie himself. She frowned the moment she smelt the blood, because it gave her a depressing sense of crisis. That was not like a pressure, but more like a depressing feeling caused by the original conflict. She moved closer to the blood and sensed it carefully. It was indeed repulsive for her. What surprised her was that the blood actually did not give out the sense of ferocity. She felt that it was pure. How did that happen? Only some newborn zombies had made her feel that way, because those newborns were foggy minded, and had barely eaten humans. Unlike those newborns, the zombie in the freezing chamber was at level 7 already. Besides, he had eaten human hearts during his time here although those hearts weren't from a living human beings. A zombie's vibe would always turn impure after it tasted humans, and would contain its unique sense of ferocity. However, Lin Giao detected nothing from the zombie blood in the research room. That was weird. She decided to figure out one thing first, then come back to deal with that zombie. She moved away silently, then stood by the door and waited until those researchers got off work. As they got off work, she followed them out. She wondered what kind of fuss would she cause if she made that zombie disappear now. She didn't know if that zombie would be willing to follow her. If he refused to follow her, she would have to kill him, in case those people caught him again and restarted their research in the future. However, even if she took that zombie away, human beings would still develop other weapons against zombies. They would keep killing zombies until there were none left zero in the world. Lin Kiao would want to do the same if she were still a human being. But now, she was a zombie, so she should not think that way. Nevertheless, she could not try to stop it. She might be able to stop it once, but it would be impossible for her to succeed every single time. Human beings weren't dumb. After their plans were ruined once or twice, they would hide away and continue their researches secretly. Therefore, no one could stop it for good. For that reason, Lin Kiao gave up on trying to ruin the research, but started thinking about how to avoid the future trouble. Most importantly, she needed to keep her zombie nature secret. She exited the research room and followed behind one of those researchers. That man had a relatively weaker vibe and was psychologically vulnerable. She followed him into the canteen in the building and watched him finish dinner, then followed him out of the building. She knew that he didn't need to work late. After dinner, he planned to head straight home. As a researcher of an important project, that man was paid well. He had a superpower, not at a high level though. Lin Kiao followed him onto a trolley bus, heading toward the outer base. There were public transports like trolley buses in the base. Without those, the people who lived far away from the center and had no cars would need to walk a long way from where they lived to the inner base. Soon, Lin Kiao followed the researcher off the bus and walked for about 10 minutes, arriving a fancy residential area. Over 10 buildings in this area were all filled with residents. Lin Kiao followed that man all the way to his home. He lived in a bachelor pad which had one bedroom, one living room, one bathroom, and one kitchen, along with a small balcony. That man threw his staff badge and his coat onto the couch in the living room, 
then walked into his bedroom and picked up a winter bathrobe before walking into the bathroom. Lin Giao picked up his badge and looked at it. That man was named Leng Tong, 32 years old. Before the apocalypse, he had a wife and a child. But, the apocalypse took away everything he had. Thankfully, he specialized in microorganisms back in the old world. So, after three years of struggle, he heard that Huexia Base was recruiting scientists and then came to this base to work. He had a job in another base before that. However, Huexia base had greater strength and richer resources. For those, Leng Xuantong left his old base and joined the Huexia base. He needed the resources for another experiment. Lin Kiao learned the above information by following behind him and reading his mind. He wasn't doing his job in this base wholeheartedly. That was why Lin Kiao felt that he would be psychologically vulnerable. About ten minutes later, Leng Xuantong came out of the bathroom. His body was still wet. Strangely, the water on his body wasn't warm, but icy cold. Lin Kiao gave him a glance as she sensed a very low temperature from the bathroom. He bathed in cold water in winter. What power did he have? Whatever power he had, Lin Kiao made a move directly. She lunged forward and dragged over Leng Xuantong, who was walking toward the bedroom then flashed into her space. No one else knew that Leng Xuantong had disappeared in his own flat. Leng Xuantong felt that someone suddenly dragged him, and then his eyes were dazzled. When he could see again, he found that he was no longer in his flat. He gave a start, then immediately turned his head to see who dragged him, only to see a woman. She relaxed her grip on him, then took two steps backward looking at him cold-facedly. Who who are you? Lin Giao smiled as she looked at him and said, you don't need to know that. You're doing that experiment secretly because you don't want the others to know about it, right? Leng Xuantong looked at Lin Giao vigilantly, then looked around. He found that he was in a strange living room which was large but dimly illuminated, as if it were a rainy day out there. Hearing her words, Leng Xuantong immediately frowned and asked, who the hell are you? That woman actually knew about his experiment. No one was supposed to know that. Chapter 611, Because you know. Really? The others might not know about it, but I do. Lin Kiao turned and sat down on a couch, then crossed her arms before her chest while looking at that man. You. Leng Xuantong looked at her with both surprise and doubt. She was reading his mind. A sense of crisis immediately rose from his heart as he felt that she had seen through him. He was frightened. You work in the institute in this base because you need the resources here to find out a way to turn zombies back into human beings. Am I right? Do you think it's possible? The people who have turned into zombies have died. Dead people can't come back to life. Don't you know that? Lin Giao said blandly. She was right. This was the man's secret. He was trying to develop a medicine to turn zombies back into human beings. He was actually inspired by some films about zombies which he watched back in the old world. You, how do you know so clearly? Leng Xuantong looked at her in shock and couldn't help but panic. Everybody would panic when his or her secret was suddenly exposed by someone else, not to mention the fact that this secret of his was even a little anti-human. If the base administrators knew about it, they would definitely stop him or kick him out of the base. You don't need to know how I know. If you don't want me to tell anyone about it, you need to give me some information. Lin Giao stopped smiling, still looking at him. She had known his secret, so she was able to threaten him with it. She was a complete stranger to him, so he did not understand how she found out about his secret. He was sure that he had never met her before. However, as she used a negotiating tone, Leng Xuantong sighed with relief. What do you want to know? He asked. You only need to tell me how you caught that zombie. Lin Kiao looked at him and asked. A beam of light flashed across Leng Xuantong's eyes. Hearing Lin Kiao's question, he immediately guessed out something. She's an outsider. She's clearly here for the antidote. No, perhaps, her main target isn't the antidote, but that special zombie from which the antidote is made. He thought, what made you think that I know about that? Leng Xuantong managed to calm down slightly. He looked at Lin Kiao as he threw a question back. Because you know, you don't want me to tell the others about your secret, do you? Said Lin Kiao. In fact, she had already known the answer. After she asked that question, Leng Xuantong unwittingly thought of the details about that zombie, 
and she sensed them directly. Leng Xuantong looked at her silently. Lin Giao stayed silent as well, looking at him without urging him. After about a minute of silence, Leng Xuantong started talking, our chief caught him. That zombie is fierce, fast, even nimbler than a wild beast. We weren't able to locate him and track him, so our powerful weapons were useless on him. Lin Giao thought for a moment, then asked, are you saying that he was only trying to run away from your base, but didn't show any intention of attacking you? How did you find him? Also, why doesn't he eat living human beings? According to Leng Xuantong, he and his colleagues weren't able to locate that zombie. So, Lin Qiao figured that the zombie never tried to attack them. If he did, they would have been able to locate him. Also, earlier today, the zombie showed no interests toward the man back in the sealed chamber. Lin Qiao wondered why that zombie wouldn't attack human beings. The emotions of that zombie and the vibe from his blood which she sensed earlier today had both given Lin Qiao a strange feeling. The zombie was very calm when he walked up. When the man was sent into the room, the zombie didn't go crazy once he sensed that man's scent like other zombies would. Instead, he just ignored that man. About that. We're not sure yet. Ever since we caught him, he never attacked living human beings. I heard from the people who were sent to catch him that he didn't attack them until they made him desperate. Weirdly, none of those people died. The entire team returned. However, they never caught him. I also heard that it was a zombie hunting squad which discovered him. Back then, he was hunting a level 6 mutated animal, Leng Xuantong said. Those weren't secrets. So Leng Xuantong easily told them to Lin Qiao. As I thought Lin Qiao nodded, as if she had guessed some of it. Did that zombie's vibe remain pure because he didn't eat human beings, but only mutated animals? Lin Qiao had only seen two zombies who lived on animals, Kulilai and Yun Meng. That zombie was fierce, but not evil. No wonder Lin Qiao had a familiar feeling earlier today when she sensed his vibe from the freezing chamber. Anyway. That zombie dominator was spotted accidentally. At first, he was targeted because someone wanted his nucleus. Later on, as he was too mysterious and hard to catch, a base leader hunted him personally. After he was caught, we found that his blood is special. As for why he doesn't eat human beings, we don't know, said Leng Xiu and Tong. Lin Qiao nodded and said, All right, I get it. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone about your secret. But, Zombies can't possibly turn back into human beings, so you might as well give up. Lin Gia was surprised by how persistent he was. He never gave up. Hearing his words, Leng Xuantong paused briefly, then lowered his head. He was aware that she was right. It was impossible to turn zombies back into humans. There was no scientific evidence for it, and clearly, the current science and technology were far behind that. However, he didn't want to give up. He wanted to turn his family back into human beings. If you don't mind, you can bring your two um, family members, to my base. I will provide them with a place to stay at the very least. Do you understand me? Said Lin Qiao. That man chose to believe the films that he had watched, and tried everything he could to find out a way to turn his wife and daughter back into human beings. His persistence had impressed Lin Qiao. She tried to invite him to her own base. After all, he was a technical talent. Her base needed talents like him. What Lin Qiao said surprised Lin Xuantong. He looked at her with disbelief. Was that woman offering him a place to do his research above board? Chapter 612, Being Surrounded While he was thinking about Lin Qiao's purpose, she stood up and walked to him. Seeing that, he couldn't help but look at her vigilantly. All right, we're done talking. Let me send you back. Lin Gia walked up to him and said, then put a hand on his shoulder. Leng Xuantong looked at her with both vigilance and confusion. The moment she touched him, his eyes were dazzled again, and then he was back in his flat. You can find me in the base near Sea City Base, if you need. Lin Gia left him a few words, and then disappeared before his face. Leng Xuantong gave a start. He quickly looked around and even took a circle in the living room, but didn't see a trace of that woman. At that moment, Lin Qiao had already leapt out of Leng Xuantong's balcony and hopped onto the roof of the building. She glanced at the sky, it was already dark. The strong cold wind fluttered her coat. Even though it was already dark, 
The snow reflected the lights and illuminated the whole area. It looked no different in Lin Giao's eyes though. She turned and prepared to head back to the institute and get that zombie out. She didn't care what the grand meeting would become after that. That zombie was her sole target anyway. Based on her observation, that zombie had already met her criterion. However, she still needed to do some further observation after getting him out of that research room. But, she suddenly stopped moving then turned around and gazed outside the base where she came from. Those vibes. She had sensed a few vibes from that area. Instantly, she turned and flashed toward the outside. Earlier on when she was in Earth Dragon Base, she actually forgot about those people. At that moment, Li Zheng, his team, and Xidong and the zombie squad under his command were surrounded by a large group of teeth-bearing, fierce-looking, Big road deers. Damn. Since when did road deers become so fierce? Those teeth can tear flesh, can't they? Lin Yu stood back to back with the others and vigilantly stared at those calf sized road deers. In his memory, road deers were silly and curious, with large eyes. But, those scary looking, sharp toothed creatures which were drooling at him and his friends were nothing like that. Thankfully, that group of people was not weak. Most of them were at level 2 or 3. So they didn't end up being eaten by those roe deers, and only fell into an embarrassing situation. After all, there were too many roe deers. There's too many of them. If this goes on, our energies will all be consumed up. We can't stay like this, said Li Zheng with a serious look. They were facing over 10,000 roe deers, which were all fast. They would pounce on those people once they had a chance and it was hard to defend against them. Fortunately, Li Zheng had ice power. Under the current weather condition, he only needed to consume a very small amount of energy. Therefore, his superpower lasted longer than the others. They had been stuck here for quite a long time. In fact, none of them could release their powers anymore. By now, they were only pointing their guns at those road deers. However, their bullets were limited so they didn't dare to waste a single one. At that moment, two large roe deers suddenly dashed out of the crowd, widely opening their mouth as they pounced on them. Li Zheng immediately turned around. However, before he made a move, those roe deers were forced back. The ones who did that wasn't his team, but Xidong and the other zombies who had surrounded them to protect them. Roe deers had no interest in zombies, and only targeted Li Zheng and the other few living humans. Therefore, Xidong and his zombie squad surrounded the human squad to guard them. We've been stuck here for a day. I'm afraid that something bad might happen if we stay here for a longer time. Feng Yuming glanced at the giant roe deer crowd which fixed their eyes on him and his friends. That made him very anxious. While he was talking, seven or eight roe deers rushed out of the crowd at them. But Li Zheng and his people quickly shot them. Those injured and dead roe deers were soon eaten by the other roe deers leaving puddles of blood and bones in the snowfield. That's so cruel. They even fight each other over the corpses of the other deers. Feng Yuming couldn't even bear watching that. That's what you care about now, over there. Lin Yu suddenly gave him a kick without even looking at him. Right after that, another fierce roe deer rushed at them. I think we might have cleared the road for Lu Xiuofeng's motorcade. If we didn't attract these roe deers over here, they would have certainly blocked his motorcade. Lei Yao said abruptly with a deep voice. We had no choice. They're stronger, and they outnumbered us. Facing these animals is easier than facing a level 8 superpowered man. I guess these roe deers didn't only grow strong appetites and teeth, but also grew smarter, right? said Lin Yu. They had been stuck in that place for a whole day. They weren't able to break out of the roe deer encirclement, and couldn't kill all of them either. So, they were all heavy hearted now. What should we do now? Lu Xiuofeng might have arrived at Huixia base long ago. How are we supposed to free ourselves? Looking at the giant group of roe deers which were staring straight at them, the group of people didn't dare to relax their vigilance at all. It was dark now, and those animals' movements were even more unpredictable. As the group of people were desperate in the encirclement, a voice was suddenly heard from the sky Oh my. There were over 10,000 road deers, right? These mutated animals breed really fast. Hearing that voice, Li Zheng and the others immediately wore a delighted look. They raised their heads to look at the source of that voice, then saw a dark and blurry figure standing on a branch of a tree. Lin Qiao leapt off the tree and landed before those people. Meanwhile, 
she threw out a rope, letting them hold it before bringing all of them into her space. She threw those people into the living room in that small building in her space, then said to them, what on earth happened to you? Haven't you asked around about the things over here? I can't believe that you were actually surrounded by those fierce roe deers. We fell in to lose you Ofing's trap. He drove those roe deers to us. Feng Yuming stepped forward and said angrily. We were careless, said Li Zheng as he slightly lowered his head, looking a little upset. They were specialized in gathering information, so they surely knew that mutated roe deers lived in this area with a surprising population. However, they never thought that Lu Zhu Ofing would sneakily drive the roe deer group to them. He must have spotted some traces of them long ago, or he wouldn't do something like that. By doing that, he could possibly get them killed, and keep his own troop away from those roe deers as well. Chapter 613, Wipe Your Mouth, Chief. I think Earth Dragon Base is turning into the Hidden Cloud City Base's subsidiary base. I also heard that a half of the food in the last granary has already been shipped to Hidden Cloud City Base. Lin Yu looked at Lin Yu with glowing eyes and said, he talked with excitement on his face, looking at Lin Kiao with admiration. We'll talk about that later. Lin Kiao nodded at him with a faint smile then turned and left the space. There were still a lot of roe deers when she came out. Those roe deers had been running about from left to right as they had suddenly lost targets. At that moment, Xi Dong and the other zombies had hopped onto a tree. They didn't leave, but waited for Lin Kiao to show up again. Lin Kiao also hopped onto a tree and shouted at them, let's go. Following her voice, a series of figures darted up from the trees, heading toward Huexia base. Soon, Lin Kiao, Xi Dong, and his zombie squad arrived at the fence wall of Huexia City. Lin Kiao stopped moving, then put the zombie squad into her space and spent a moment looking around before the small building. When she brought Li Zheng and his people in, the tens of roe deers on the other side of the lake immediately gathered toward them. However, they were only able to gaze at them on the other side of the lake. There was no path that led to this side of the lake. Lin Kiao said to Xi Dong. Tell your squad members to line up here. After saying that, she found a few large buckets and dragged them to the lake. She filled them up with lake water and then dragged them back to the small building. This time, she didn't put the buckets directly before the door, but placed them against a side wall. Then, she walked to Xi Dong and his squad as she pointed at those buckets and said to the five level four zombies, Take off your clothes, then get in and take a bath. Then, she glanced her watch and said to Xi Dong, two hours. Xi Dong nodded, he understood her meaning. She just gave those zombies two hours of bailing time. That's their reward for following you obediently all this time, Lin Kiao added. After that, she turned and glanced at those zombies who were struggling to take off their clothes, then left. But, after making two steps, she turned around and walked back. Oh. You should train them how to take off and put on clothes. They are your soldiers now. You need to train them. Finishing talking, she turned and walked into the small building. Xi Dong silently glanced at those level 4 zombies who had been following him for a while, then at Lin Kiao's back. He had a strange feeling that he was going to become a nanny. As Lin Kiao went into the building, the people who were standing in the living room immediately turned to her. She stood in the middle of the living room and waved at them. Li Zheng and his people immediately gathered before her, waiting for her instructions. Later on, I'll bring you out of the space in Huexia base. You need to cover your traces and try to find out how many people have come to that base, and who they are. Lin Kiao looked at them and said, Yes, ma'am. Li Zheng and his people responded, When you finish the job, find some places to hide. You don't need to look for me. I'll find you. Lin Kiao continued. Yes, ma'am. After giving them the mission, Lin Kiao flashed out of the space. Only after Lin Kiao left did Li Zheng and his people scatter slightly. But still, they stayed in the living room. Feng Yuming stood by the door, looking at the hill-sized pile of food outside as he said, These are all the foods in the two granaries in Earth Dragon Base. How long do you think our base can survive on these? He was nearly drooling. We have less than 5,000 people now, so these foods will last us three years at least. Li Zheng walked over and stood by his side as he said, Can we say that we have earned more than we have lost? Feng Yuming stared at the food and asked, Even though our chief killed Long Yubai, 
our base was destroyed. That was the home of hundreds of thousands of people. So many people died. Earth Dragon Base owed all those to us. They can never clear that debt. Said Li Zheng with a cold face. Oh, Lin Ru Ifeng, Yi Hao, and Yim Yu have all gone missing. Did our chief feed them to zombies? Or, did she burn them into nothingness with the netherworld fire? Feng Yuming stopped drooling at those foods and turned to ask Li Zheng with curiosity. As far as I know, there is a burning mark in Lin Ru Ifeng's living room. His cousin's body was left in the bedroom. So, I guess that Lin Ru Ifeng was burned said Li Zheng. That's what I think. Sadly, Chief didn't kill Lu Zhuofeng as well, said Feng Yuming with regret. Lu Zhuofeng is already at level 8. He is now much more powerful than before. With our Chief's current power, I guess it'll take her quite some effort to kill him. However, she seems to have further plans, Lin Yu walked over and joined the conversation. Meanwhile, he was also drooling at that huge pile of food. Please wipe your mouth. Feng Yuming turned as he gave him a glance and said, How can you say that to him? You were almost drooling as well. Li Zheng rolled his eyes and spoke for Lin Yu. Right at that moment, Lin Qiao flashed out of thin air. We can get out now. Everyone, come here. Lin Qiao looked around and said, Li Zheng and the others quickly gathered before her and caught the rope that she threw out. Then, as she pulled the rope, their eyes were dazzled, and they were all brought outside. They showed up in a dark area, with a cold air shrouding them. Looking carefully, they found that they were in an unilluminated alley. Lin Qiao quietly walked to the entrance of the alley and looked around, then turned back and tilted her head toward the squad. Receiving her signal, Li Zheng and the others silently moved toward her, then nimbly darted out of the alley and disappeared in the base. The ground was covered in snow. Yet they didn't leave any traces behind. They served in the intelligence unit, so being traceless was a necessary skill for them. Lin Qiao turned invisible in the darkness and hopped onto a two-story building nearby, then leapt toward a higher building. After that, she turned and moved toward the research institute. On the other side of the base, Leng Xuan Tong was in his flat. Lin Qiao had left a couple of hours ago but he sat quietly on his couch all this time. Lin Qiao's showing up made him feel that the grand meeting might be chaotic. He couldn't tell the exact purpose of that strange woman who was giving out a sense of danger. He didn't know if she were after the antidote or that zombie. She only asked questions about the zombie, but still, Leng Xuantong couldn't take for sure if she were there for the zombie. Perhaps, she was planning to take that zombie away. That was a special zombie, so undoubtedly, all the other bases were curious about it. She might want to use that zombie on some other studies. Or, like Huexia base, she would use the zombie to create the same kind of antidote, so that she wouldn't need to trade for it with a large amount of supplies. All people could be greedy. Chapter 614, That Woman Is Wasted. Anyhow, Leng Zhuantong was aware that Lin Qiao did not come as a friend of Huexia base, and that what she was going to do would be very bad for the base. However, when talking to him, she seemed to be quite sure that he wouldn't tell anyone about it. That made sense though, as she had known all his secrets. So, under that kind of threat, he, of course, wouldn't mention her to anyone. He had been hiding his experiment so well. How did that stranger find out about it? Leng Zhuantong was a little curious about what she would do next. She wasn't going to steal that zombie for real, was she? If that did happen, the situation would become interesting. The guests from all the other bases had arrived, yet the zombie, as the most important part of the grand meeting, would be gone. While thinking about that, he had no idea that Lin Qiao had already started taking actions. It was surely difficult for people to gather information at the middle of the night. Therefore, Li Zheng and his people prepared to get to know the place first, then begin gathering information in the morning. When the people in the base started doing their work, Lin Qiao quickly moved toward the building of the research institute, and soon landed on the roof of that building. On the other side of the base, Wu Cheng Ayu and the other guests were staying in another building. Huexia base people had cleaned that building up especially to accommodate the guests from the other bases. I really don't understand why you brought Ling Ling here. This place is too cold. What if the kid couldn't adapt the weather? Xiao Li Qing looked at Wu Cheng Ayu and complained. He had said that for a couple of times. However, every time he saw Wu Yuling, 
who was wearing so many clothes that she even looked like a ball. He couldn't help but repeat it one more time. He regretted once he said that out. Wu Yuling was wearing a fuzzy bottoming shirt, a sweater, and a long, feather coat, along with a thick pair of cotton padded trousers. Under her clothes, her long hair were everywhere around her neck. I had to bring her. I'd be worried if I left her in the base alone. What if her illness attacked when she couldn't see me? Wu Cheng Iu glanced at Wu Yuling and then said to Xiao Liking. Xiao Liking knew that he would give the same answer as he did last time. You're right, he sighed and replied. You've asked me the same question so many times. Can you please stop? This time, Wu Cheng Iu looked at him with discontentment. Okay. Oh, Lu Xiaofeng has already arrived, and so have the others. I wonder if Miss Lu is here. Xiao Liking changed the topic. Who knows? Anyway, she can't get in through the front door even if she wants to. Wu Cheng Iu laughed. The front entrance of the base was equipped with virus detecting devices. The alarm might go off once she approached. On the lower floor, Lu Xiaofeng was in his room. He had a visitor not long after he entered Huexia Base. The research institute includes many departments, and the virus study department is underground. We went down there, but didn't find that zombie. However, we can say for sure that it's in the underground institute, Lu Xiaofeng's subordinate said to him. What about those people from the other bases? Lu Xiaofeng asked. They have all secretly sent out their people to scout around. As for what had they been scouting for, the subordinate didn't need to point it out specifically. Lu Xiaofeng clearly knew that all the other bases wanted the information about that zombie. What about Sea City Base? Did that woman make a scene? Are those Upper City District people here? Lu Xiaofeng thought of Sea City Base, so he asked some further questions. Hearing him, the subordinate wore a confused look, it's strange though. That woman did make a scene when she got back to her base. But the leaders of Sea City Base barely paid attention to her. And a couple of days after she went back, she was wasted. Those Upper City District people all returned to their bases, and none of them have left the base so far. Wasted? What do you mean by that? Lu Xiaofeng looked at him and asked with surprise. She was found in a secluded basement. She was still breathing when people found her, but seemed to haven't eaten for a few days. Also, her energy nucleus was broken. So her power was wasted. She's unconscious now, like PVS the subordinate replied. Eh? Who did that to her? Where? Lu Xiaofeng was even more surprised. She became PVS, meaning that she was still alive. Did Upper City District people do that? Had she really disclosed some kind of secrets in Upper City Base? Was that why those people wasted her in secret? After all, Upper City District people didn't dare to go against Sea City Base openly. According to one version of the story, that basement is where she kept her toy boy. That man who was kept there might have attacked her and run away, as she was already injured. The subordinate paused briefly, then continued, We don't know if it was that man who broke her energy nucleus, but her keeping a toy boy was a real thing. That woman had a good reputation. I'm surprised that she was still unable to bear the loneliness in private, said Lu Xiaofeng expressionlessly. Didn't those upper city base people come here? No, said the other. Lu Xiaofeng thought for a moment, then shook his head and said, I don't think so. They must have sent their people here. Otherwise, that squad wouldn't follow me all the way here. Since he left Earth Dragon Base, a group PF people followed him from a distance away. He knew it since the beginning. Those people were pretty brave, as they actually had the courage to stalk a level 8 man. Before arriving at Huexia City, he led those people to a group of road deers. He knew that a giant number of mutated road deers lived tens of miles away in the south of Huexia City, and that those animals were fierce and aggressive. Those people were mostly at level 3 or 2, so, he believed that they would die there. There were over 10,000 roe deers. In a couple of days, the level 5 one among them would die of exhaustion, and then the rest of them would end up being eaten by roe deers. Xi Dong and his zombie squad didn't go the same way as Li Zheng and his people at first. Moreover, they were zombies. For those reasons, Lu Xiaofeng didn't notice them. So, I guess they left the base in secret. But, no one saw any of them enter Huexia base. The subordinate thought for a moment and then made a guess. Haven't you seen any strange person entering their base? 
Lu Xiuofeng blinked as he slightly knitted his pair of thick and dark eyebrows and asked. The subordinate shook his head at first, then abruptly nodded and said, Oh, one group of people are weird. They said that they're from Green Mountain Base, and they have a mutated dog. More strangely, Quexia Base people let that dog in. Normally, mutated animals with unclear backgrounds wouldn't be allowed in any base. Chapter 615, The Various Powers. Green Mountain Base. Lu Xiuofeng frowned slightly. He had never heard about that base before. That name was very strange for him indeed. Is that the new name of the base in Upper City District? Are those people from Upper City District? He asked. His subordinate shook his head and said with a serious look, No, it's not them. We don't know where they came from, and we can't find any background information about them. They aren't from Upper City District, and they're all strong. If they were from the old Hades base, we would at least know some of them. I heard that one of those Green Mountain base people is also at level 8. He's accompanied by two level 7 men. What? Level 8? That's impossible. If he's at level 8, how come none of the other bases know about those people? And two level 7? Those are chief level people. Lu Xiuofeng slightly widened his eyes as he looked at his subordinate with disbelief. Now, all the other bases have been secretly investigating those people, but no one has made any progress yet. The subordinate had foreseen Lu Xiuofeng's reaction, so he didn't show much expression change. Hearing his words, Lu Xiuofeng realized that what he said was true. He dropped his eyelids as he slightly lowered his head and fell into deep thoughts. At this time, Wu Cheng Yu was also listening to the news which Xiao Liking brought back. It was also about Green Mountain Base. Eh? Are they who I think they are? Didn't they bring that dog to our base too last time? Said Wu Cheng Yu. Yeah, it's them. But this time, that man named Lei Cheng isn't leading the team. Instead, it's another man called Lan Lu. I heard that he's already at level 8. Lei Cheng and the vice squad leader who was with him last time only came here as that man's subordinates this time. Xiao Liking took a glimpse at the files in his hands, then said to Wu Cheng Yu, Level 8, since when can level 8 people be found everywhere? Why are they emerging one after another? Wu Cheng Yu said expressionlessly. The smile on his face was gone. Green Mountain Base people have been keeping their background very secret. We couldn't find any information about them, neither could the other bases, Xiao Liking said. Last time when those people visited Sea City Base, Wu Cheng Yu and his people had already started feeling strange about them. A level 7 traitor from that base became a robber. Once those people showed up, all the information about the robber was gone. Some said that it was Miss Lu from Upper City District who finished that robber. However, those two men from Green Mountain Base were both at a very high level, so they might be the one who killed that robber. And now, a level 8 being from that base emerged, who was clearly a leader. Based on the known information about that base, it was no weaker than a medium-sized base. Nevertheless, a base like this had been hiding itself without making contacts with other bases at all. Their people rarely showed up in the outside world. If it weren't for that robber named Tang He, people wouldn't know about their existence until recently. Wu Cheng I wondered how Huixia Base would treat Green Mountain Base. Perhaps, those two bases had been making secret contacts all this while. They have grown such a strength secretly, which means that they have their own way. I'm only wondering why they chose to show up in public now. After all, they're already so strong. What do they want? Wu Cheng Yu leaned on the back of the couch as he crossed his hands before his chest, then raised a hand to rub his chin. Their people seem to never show up in big groups. Last time, only two men and a dog visited our base, and this time, they only sent seven people along with that dog. However, the power levels of those people are scurrily high. How have they been upgrading? Xiao Liking felt confused too. In fact, except for the level 8 Lan Lu, the level 7 Lei Cheng, the level 6 Zheng Hao, the rest of them are at high levels as well. Among the rest of their team, there's one level 7, one level 6, and two level 5. Those were only seven people, but not even three armies or more could hurt them. How many high level people did they have in their base? They wouldn't possibly send all the strongest people in their base here. Would they? What about the other bases? Who are those people that have come here? Wu Cheng Yu abruptly asked about the other bases. Oh, 
Xiao Li King leafed through the files in his hands and then continued, Lu Xiuofing from Hidden Cloud City Base brought Lan Kiji, who used to manage weapons in Earth Dragon Base. He didn't bring many soldiers though, only about 500 men. He Mu from Sky Fire Base has gone missing, so the other leader of that base named Li Zheng I came here with a vice leader called Xi Cheng Mu. As for Mongols Base, one of their leaders, Bao Chengzi, has arrived. He didn't bring any army force, only about a hundred guards. Among all bases, Mongols base is the nearest to Huexia base, and those two bases have been very friendly to each other. So, he doesn't need to bring an army here, Wu Cheng Ayu nodded. Xiao Liking nodded as well, you're right. These two bases have been working closely with each other in the recent few years. Anyways, the Heilong base has sent one of their leaders, Gao Heian and two level six men. One of those two is a vice leader, and the other one is a leader of a zombie hunting troop. They brought nearly 300 men. Gao Heian as the ice-powered man, right? Wu Cheng Ayu said. Yes. So, Earth Dragon Base and Hades Base are gone, and Green Mountain Base is a newly emerged base, including you, three level eight people have come to this base. So, I think Mongols Base, Skyfire Base, and here Long Base will be at a disadvantage this time, Xiao Liking said. I doubt that. Those bases are relatively weaker indeed, but perhaps they have some backup plans, Wu Cheng Ayu shook his head and said. Besides, that mysterious Green Mountain Base must have caught all the attention now. We won't make any move, but that doesn't mean that Lun Xiaofeng won't either. You're right. Xiao Liking nodded, not to mention the fact that all bases had sent their leaders to Huexia base. The most probable result of the meeting would be people placing orders first, then returning to their bases to prepare the supplies which they promised Huexia base. The price hadn't been published yet, so no base leader would bring a certain amount of supplies. The people who managed to purchase the antidote successfully might encounter robbery on their way back to their bases. The final results of that would be decided by the strength difference between those bases. If Wu Cheng Ayu didn't make a move, Green Mountain Base and Hidden Cloud City Base would be the only two bases able to rob the other bases. They needed to figure out each other's plans first, in case they bumped into each other while taking action. If Hidden Cloud City Base had that kind of plan, their neighbors, the Skyfire Base, would certainly become their target. Which side Green Mountain Base was on? Hidden Cloud City Base would definitely be extra careful, because they weren't able to dig out Green Mountain Base's background. Chapter 616, The People Based on what happened before, Hidden Cloud City Base will certainly take action against Skyfire Base. As for Earth Dragon Base, I guess they didn't take that base seriously. But now, this mysterious Green Mountain base has emerged suddenly, and it appears to be considerably strong. Hidden Cloud City base will be afraid of it for sure. Xiao Liking followed Wu Cheng Ayu's thoughts. That's right. No one will make a rash move when there is a big tiger which scares everyone, Wu Cheng Ayu said smilingly. In that building, the leaders of the other bases had been talking about the same thing. If Lun Xiuofeng dares to attack us, we will confront him face to face. We can claim that he killed our leader, Himu, while destroying Earth Dragon Base with foul means. Then, we can make his base be responsible for Hades Base's destruction. Then, all the other bases will target Hidden Cloud City Base, because they have violated the common rules of all human survivors and deliberately broken the balance between all the bases. In that case, all bases will join hands to punish them. In the room of Skyfire Base, leader Li Zhengai was sitting on a couch and talking with a calm look. Clearly, he didn't care much about Himu who was missing, and Lu Xiuofeng who had broken into level 8. Currently, our main mission is to fight against the zombies out there after all, he continued. Li Zhengai's name sounded righteous. He was about 6 feet tall, not fat but not slim either. He looked rather young, about 30 years old and that was his real age. He had snow power, which was a special type of superpower. Snow power couldn't be used for launching a fierce attack, but could allow its possessors to control the air temperature. After entering level 7, Li Zhengai was able to drop the air temperature in the area a mile around him to 50 degrees below zero. If the range went smaller, 
he would be able to make the air temperature go even lower than that. Ice-powered people were able to freeze people to death. Unlike them, Li Zheng I had the power to kill people with coldness. When the air temperature went down to 70 to 80 degrees below zero, the functions of human bodies would be slowed down. Under such a low temperature, super-powered people wouldn't be frozen, only being disabled from controlling their limbs, but commoners would die. That was why people called Li Zheng I the Martian. After all, the air temperature on Mars was 80 degrees below zero. Sitting next to him was Xu Chengmu, a level 6 man, also a vice leader of Sky Fire Base. He nodded and said, you're right, where are those Green Mountain Base people from? We haven't heard anything about that base before. But they just showed up so suddenly this time. Their leader is a level 8 man. I wonder if he's even a little stronger than Lu Xiuofeng. After all, Lu Xiuofeng has just entered that level. Who knows? The two of them need to pick up a fight to find that out. I'm no match for either of them anyway. Li Zheng I glanced outside the window and said. Now, Huexia base, Sea City base, Hidden Cloud City base and Green Mountain Base all have level 8 people. We have been falling far behind them, Xu Chengma frowned. What can we do about that? If we had gotten Netherworld Fire's nucleus last time, Gu Yikang might have made the breakthrough already. I just didn't expect Hemu to be so incapable. Mentioning Hemu, Li Zheng I made a frown with disappointment. That's true, they both have firepower. No one's nucleus is more suitable for Gu Yikang than Netherworld Fire's. Xu Chengmu nodded, that's what I think, however, they actually let Netherworld Fire blow herself up, didn't they say that she was already controlled with the drug? Li Zheng I said with slight anger, no one could have predicted that, that woman was never weak, she detonated herself and then created a poisonous area, causing trouble even after her death, Xu Chengmu sighed, tell me about it, Li Zheng I nodded, but soon changed the topic. We don't even know where Green Mountain Base is. Are those people the strongest ones from their base? Or, are they only a part of them? I believe we'll soon find out. They have shown up now, so I think they don't worry that people might try to dig out their background information. When they leave Huexia, we'll have our people follow behind them. Maybe we'll find some clues. Xu Chengma thought for a moment and said, That'll work if they want us to know about their base. Li Zheng I said, when the others were talking about them, Green Mountain base people were talking about something else in their room, didn't that base send anyone here? Lan Lu was a level 8 man, no outsider knew what power he had, we haven't received any news about that, neither seen any suspicious people enter this base, according to our scouts in upper city district, those people are all staying in their base, Zheng Hao, who was sitting on the couch beside Lan Lu, said. Lan Lu was wearing a pair of glasses, looking rather gentle and energetic. He was a little slim, and his skin was white. His hair were neatly cut, and his eyes were bright. The expressionless Lei Cheng was sitting in an armchair. Should we visit them when our work here is done? He said, a bunch of people will be following us by then anyway. We can conveniently draw their attention to Upper City District. That's actually a good idea. But, I want to take some of that antidote back to our base as soon as possible, then study it. You two lead the others to Hangzhou while I will return to our base. Lan Lu thought briefly, then replied. But, those people are pretty hard to deal with. Lei Cheng glanced at him and said. Lan Lu gave him a glance and said, what do you mean by deal with? Who asked you to deal with them? Can't you just visit them honestly? Bring some gifts. Their new base is still in construction, so they must be lacking stones and other constructional materials. If you bring them some strong adhesive, they'll be much more friendly to you. You need to visit them amicably and kindly. We don't want them to be our enemies. Make your standpoint clear. Do you understand? I get it, Lei Cheng replied. Think about it, Lan Lu continued explaining. They are able to live together with zombies peacefully like us. They must have their own way to do that. They can also make zombies talk. I think they won't give us a hard time, as we are in the same kind of situation as them. After all, they're living with special zombies too. We both are in the same boat. As long as we do not do them any harm, they won't push us off the boat. After all, that might destroy both our base and theirs. Lei Cheng didn't say anything but only nodded, I think they'll certainly be here, after all, 
Quakes here people developed the antidote to kill zombies. It's a big problem for us, so it must be the same for them. They won't just ignore it, will they? Zheng Hao abruptly joined the conversation. Chapter 617, Early Birds Caught the Warm. In the room, Green Mountain Base people were talking about how to get close to Lin Qiao and her people. Earlier on, you said that if only we can catch a talking zombie and study it. You're not asking us to be friends with them for that purpose, are you? Lei Cheng looked at him and said, I did have that thought in my mind. But later on, I felt that it would be inappropriate, as they never offended us. M. So, about studying talking zombies, I think we should just wait. Lan Lu put a hand on his chin while saying, the others eyed him with a weird look. Oh my boss. You're not possessed by some other soul, are you? You are actually not interested in such kind of weird thing anymore. Don't you like to study in these strange things the most? Said another man in the room. I do want to study them, but it has to be within my reach. Do you want me to attack them while we know nothing about them? What if they launch a strong counter strike? In that case, our future relationship would be ruined. Lan Lu gave him a glare. Not even a level 8 zombie can beat you right? Well all right, you might still be a little weaker than a level 8 that man changed his words. He he, not just a little. Our boss has spirit power, so he only has a strong brain. Level 8 zombies are no joke. Actually, are there really level 8 zombies in the world? Those few zombies that we met in Hangzhou should be new in level 7, right? Zheng Hao laughed and said, they have three level 7 zombies, and that's already impressive for zombies. Breaking into level 7 from level 6 is never easy. None of the zombies in our base have managed to enter level 7 yet. That base is powerful. We need to stay cautious, said Lei Cheng blandly. His comely face wore no expression. They mentioned their zombies in their base very naturally. Clearly, they hadn't been seeing them as aliens. Perhaps, being a zombie was only another way for a human to survive in their eyes. They're surely powerful. That's why I told you to visit them and feel their attitude first. If you can't do that, I'll make a trip to Hangzhou myself after I finish studying the antidote that Huexia developed. Oh, haven't we located the zombie in Huexia City yet? Lan Lu glanced at the others and asked. Lei Cheng shook his head and said, Number. Earl I didn't find it either. Even the dog can't sense him. I guess we can only ask another zombie to look for this zombie. Maybe you should find a way to bring one of them in from the outside. Zombies can sense zombies. That might be how we can find him. Lan Lu thought for a moment and said, Okay, I'll be on it. Zheng Hao responded, then stood up and left. At that moment, Lin Gia was moving toward the research institute. Before arriving at the building, she abruptly stopped and landed on top of a building that was about a mile away from the institute, looking ahead with confusion. Some people were already there. Who were they? Lin Gia paused shortly, then kept moving forward, flashing across the darkness. After arriving at the building, she didn't enter the underground floors directly but chose a spot and waited there quietly. Those people had managed to find the zombie, but seemed to have encountered some difficulties while coming out. Around 3 a.m., Lin Kiao finally saw them crawl out of a sewer on the other side of the building. She couldn't tell how they got into that sewer. However, she was surprised on seeing them carry out that frozen zombie. They actually did it. It seemed that those people did have some abilities. Lin Kiao wondered where they were from. With curiosity, she approached that group of people. Once she started moving, the alarm in the building suddenly went off. The shrill alarm echoed through the darkness of night. Soon, a series of noises could be heard from the building. Soldiers darted out of the building, searching around nervously. The entire area fell into chaos. Before long, there came someone in charge. All the lights in the building were turned on, and the alarm never stopped. Lin Giao glanced back at the building, then turned around and quietly followed the group of people who were sneaking away. Huexia City people reacted speedily. Within less than one minute, all the entrances of the building had been sealed. The entire area was on its highest state of alert. A few figures flashed across the roof, and then, the entire base was sealed. All the entrances were locked. No one was allowed to leave the base. The invisible Lin Kiao quietly avoided those people on the roof and stood on the roof edge, 
seeing the group of thieves hiding in a corner which was hard to notice. Two people were carrying that frozen zombie. They both had ice power, while carrying the zombie. They had also been releasing their powers to keep the zombie frozen. In just a few minutes, all the guests from other bases had heard about the news. Hey, it's so noisy out there. What happened? Wu Chengyu thought for a moment, then guessed, did someone steal the antidote? It's possible. Xiao Liking said. So, it's in the underground space of the institute. Someone else got it first. Go and find out where those people came from. Lan Lu from Green Mountain Base crossed his arms before his chest while speaking. Okay, Lei Cheng quickly left with Zheng Hao. Who are they? Who do they work for? Hearing about the news, Lu Xiuofing pulled a long face. We don't know where they came from yet. Huixia people have sealed the base, but those people haven't been found yet, said Xu Cheng Mu. We'll soon have visitors, said Lu Xiuofing. As he said, the visitors showed up in no time. Huixia base people had started searching everywhere. In the building where the leaders of the other bases lived, they searched every single room. They claimed that some robbers had sneaked into the base, so they needed to search through the whole base for people's safety. Facing Wu Cheng Ayu, Lu Xiuofeng, Lan Lu, and other base leaders, those Huixia base people politely but stoutly asked them to cooperate. Meanwhile, Lin Gia watched those thieves who had been hiding in that corner. She followed them closely, but couldn't hear anything from them, because they only use eye contact and hand gestures to communicate with each other. They wore camouflage suits, head masks, and hats. They were all tall and strong. Their every move gave out a sense of bravery, but also cautiousness. Even though the entire base was sealed off, those people weren't panicking at all. Chapter 618 steal from themselves. Lin Gia watched those people nimbly flash across the darkness like ghosts, perfectly dodging the people who had been searching around. Anyway, those people had no idea that someone was watching their every move. They tried to avoid the area which would be searched, while leaving. They roved around in the base for a couple of hours. Then, instead of trying to get out of the base, they slowly moved toward the building that all the base leaders lived in. Lin Kiao followed behind them, her eyes showing a surprised look. She saw those people avoid the guards by the main entrance and move to the other side of the building where the guards couldn't see, then quickly and smoothly open a hidden door and get in. Before the last man entered the building, Lin Kiao suddenly showed up, threw him into her space, and then followed the others into the building. Without being noticed by anyone else, she actually replaced that man with herself. She put on a facial mask and a hat. Behind the door, the light was dim. Human eyes couldn't see things clearly in that place, so the others had no idea that Lin Giao had managed to mingle with the team. In the dim light, those people did a quick nose count. As they found nothing strange, they kept moving forward. None of them noticed that one in the team went missing while they were moving. They went down for a few floors through the stairs and entered a dark room. They shut the door, then turned on the lights. Next, they quickly took off their hats and masks and put them in a bag. After that, they finally relaxed slightly. At that point, Lin Giao saw their clothes and badges clearly and then raised her brows slightly. Those people were actually from Huexia base. Lin Kiao got close to them and read their minds. From their thoughts, she learned that they had received a secret mission, steal that zombie from their own place, then secretly send him to a new place and hide him there. Apart from that, they knew nothing. Lin Kiao understood why, from the angle of the administrators of Huexia base, that zombie needed to be 100% safe. Therefore, Merely hiding that zombie was not enough, as Huixia base people clearly know that many other bases had their eyes on the zombie. Therefore, they came up with an idea which allowed them to create a chaos to divert people's attention while secretly moving the zombie to a safer place. People from many other bases were now in Huixia, and they all knew about the base. So, once the zombie was stolen, those bases would immediately start suspecting each other. They would all be misguided and within a short span of time, no one would suspect Huixia base. Also, as the zombie was stolen, Huixia base would release the news, saying that they might not be able to provide any more antidote for other bases. Since the most important source of the antidote was stolen, they surely wouldn't be able to produce any more of it. In that case, 
Huexia Base would have a reason to raise the price of the antidote, which would be sold at the grand meeting this time. They would only provide a small amount of antidote this time, but that wouldn't change the fact that it was a very good invention. Without a doubt, the other bases weren't planning to use it directly on zombies. They will certainly study it as well. Perhaps, they would be able to discover something valuable from the antidote. That was the true value of the antidote. Lin Kiao nodded silently. That was indeed a good plan. A beam of light flashed across her green eyes as her lip corners curved in a wicked smile. Quakesia base did her a big favor by stealing that zombie from their own place. The zombie had already been brought to her. What reason did she have not to accept it? With that thought. Lin Kiao released a few wisps of dark mist and sent them slowly to the group of people. There were less than ten people in that team, yet they were all pretty powerful. Judging by their energies, they were all at level 5 or above. Their leader was a level 6. As Lin Kiao released the dark mist, the leader-like man suddenly frowned and turned to the door as he said, Wait, where's Wash? Hearing him, the others immediately turned to the door, then looked around the room. As that man said, one team member had gone missing. He was right behind me. A team member by the door said confusedly. That kid often falls behind. He might show up later, said someone else. That's not right. It's impossible for him not to feel how important this mission is. He'll never leave without permission during such an important mission. Oh why, go out and find him. The leader slightly knitted his brows. His eyes glowing with a sharp light. Yes, sir. The team member near the door responded immediately, then turned and opened the door before quietly walking out. As the door was closed gently, the people in the room were no longer relaxed, all wearing a serious look. Right at that moment, Lin Kiao clenched her fist. Following her move, the dark mist which had reached up to those people's heads from around their feet immediately drilled into their ears. Meanwhile, Lin Kiao showed up by the side of that level 6 man and gripped his throat with a hand. You're right, he didn't leave. I killed him, Lin Kiao said to him with a low voice. A. Ah. Except for the team leader who was in Lin Kiao's hands, all the others suddenly froze, their eyes unfocused. Next, blood slowly flew out of their eyes and ears. Thud, thud, thud. The group of people fell to the ground. A series of muffled thuds was heard in that room which wasn't large. Uray the man in Lin Kiao's hands was still struggling. He opened his eyes so widely that those eyeballs seemed to even fall out of his eye sockets. His face reddened, mouth gaped like the mouth of a fish which was exposed in the air. A strange noise was uttered from his throat. He pulled Lin Kiao's wrists with both hands, but she didn't even move an inch. Lin Kiao didn't waste more time on him, but put forth her strength through her palms. Crack. Following the muffled noise, the team leader tilted his head, dropped his arms, and then collapsed to the ground. Lin Kiao relaxed her grip, then waved a hand and released a stream of dark mist. The mist covered the dead bodies on the ground. Before long, no one but Lin Kiao and the frozen zombie were left in the room. The man who was thrown into Lin Kiao's space felt being dragged by someone before entering that strange place. His eyes were dazzled, and then, he found that he had entered this strange place. He saw woods, with weird looking trees. He had never seen a tree like that before. Those trees had metal leaves, black trunks, and were extra tall like ancient trees. As he raised his head to look at that strange woods with surprise, a strange sound was suddenly heard from behind him. He turned and saw a pair of rhombic eyes, staring at him coldly. Chapter 619 I didn't do it. Before that man could react to the pair of cold, rhombic eyes, a weird roar was heard from behind. Roar. He shivered, then suddenly realized what he was looking at. A giant king cobra. All his fine hairs stood straight up. With fear, he turned to look at what was behind him, and then his legs went limp. He saw a teeth bearing, furless zombie dog staring at him. The dog's purely black pupil-less eyes glowed with a weird light. That man had a strong mind, which allowed him to react very soon, with enemies at front and rear, he instinctively turned and raised his arms, each palm facing an enemy, preparing to attack them with his superpower. But in the next second, he realized that he could no longer use his superpower. Why would that happen? As he paused in shock, 
Black and Boao had already pounced on him at lightning speed. Lin Giao entered the space with the frozen zombie and sensed a scent of blood from the woods area. She dropped the frozen zombie before the small building, then disappeared. In the next second, she showed up in the woods. That man was already dead. His body was awfully bitten, broken, covered in blood. However, no part of that body was missing. The snake and the zombie dog stayed by the body's side, quietly looking at Lin Kiao. They didn't eat any part of that body because that was forbidden by Lin Kiao. She had been forbidding them from eating human beings. She needed to set a rule for them, in case they might attack or eat people in her base in the future. It now appeared that her plan worked. They were allowed to attack the enemies, but not to eat them. The two animals didn't understand. But that was indeed a good way to restrain their wildness. Lin Giao walked over and took out that man's nucleus, then waved a hand and sent a dark flake of fire onto that body. Oh woo! Once the dark fire appeared, their zombie dog and black immediately darted away. The tiny fire flake expanded the moment it fell on the dead body. Within three seconds, the dead body was gone, and the fire shrank back to the size of a finger. As Lin Giao crooked her finger, the fire landed on her palm and then disappeared. She walked out of the woods and went through the grassland, toward the small building. At that moment, Xidong and Lutani were squatting before the frozen zombie, observing him curiously. Lutani didn't know that Xidong was a zombie, while Xidong had no idea that Lutani had turned into a zombie. So this time, when they ran into each other, they gazed at each other with surprise. The same thought popped up in both their minds. He turned into a zombie. Lutani had a second thought, and then realized that he was wrong. Xidong never talked. He seemed to be unable to talk. Now, Lutani himself couldn't talk either. Thinking about that, he finally realized that Xidong was one of the zombie squad since long ago. Xidong was surprised as well. He wondered what happened to Lutani that turned him into a zombie. Neither of them could talk. They gave each other a few glances. Then both chose to ignore the questions in their heads. Lin Kiao came over and thought for a moment, then said to Xidong, Melt the ice with your power. Xidong stood up and looked at her with hesitation. The frozen zombie had been giving out a very powerful vibe. Even though he was much weaker than zombie sister, Xidong was still worried that some unexpected change might happen after he woke up. It's okay. It'll be fine. Just do it. Lin Giao said. She knew what he was worrying about. Hearing that, Xidong raised his hand and threw a sphere of flame to the frozen zombie. Lutani stood up and moved behind Lin Giao as he looked at the frozen zombie curiously. He wondered where his zombie sister found the frozen zombie. Suddenly, he had an idea. She was heading to Huexia base earlier. Lutani heard that the antidote that Huexia base recently developed was made from a special zombie. So, he started thinking if that was this frozen zombie. With that thought, he turned to Lin Kiao with a weird look in his eyes. Lin Kiao glanced at him and nodded. You guessed right. It is him. Lutani didn't know what to say. He could imagine how chaotic it was on the outside now. She does like to create troubles. Apostrophe he thought. At that moment, Lin Kiao looked at him and shook her head. That's not true. I didn't do it this time. Quakesia base people stole from themselves to frame the other bases. I just hijacked the zombie on their way to the next hiding spot. Hearing that, Lutani showed a slightly surprised look. He didn't know that Quakesia base would have this kind of plan. Beside him, Xidong turned and glanced at Lin Kiao as well. Lin Kiao spread her hands and said, I was going to steal this zombie anyway. Quakesia base people just did it first. They brought the zombie to me, so I had no reason not to accept it, right? While speaking, she looked at the two smilingly. The two turned and looked at the zombie on the ground, which was unfreezing. They weren't even listening to her. The longer time they spent with zombie sister, the stronger they felt that she was actually sneaky and shameless sometimes. Oi, why are you reacting this way? Did I do anything wrong? Think about what you are. That antidote is very dangerous for us. We need to figure out what is putting us in danger, so we can avoid it. Besides, I'm not asking you to go against human beings, am I? We just need to stop those things which are no good for us. If we can't stop them, we'll think of a way to avoid them. Lin Kiao looked at them and said. At that moment, Xidong had unfrozen the zombie. The wet zombie lay on the ground, 
showing no sign of waking up. Lu Dani and Xidong felt a little weird about it. He was injected with a strong tranquilizer that put him into unconsciousness. Lin Kiao came closer and poked the zombie with a foot, finding that his body was still hard. It seemed that he wouldn't wake up soon, she thought for a moment, then turned and walked into the small building. Soon, she came out with a cup, walked to the bucket near the seeding field, and fetched some water from the bucket. Lin Kiao put that bucket there to provide convenience for Lutani, for managing the vegetables. Normally, that bucket would be filled with water. Before the water ran out, she would refill it. After all, no one but Lin Kiao was able to get close to the lake. She had been paying attention to that bucket, making sure it always had water in it. So now, she directly went there and fetched a cup of water from the bucket. She squatted and poured the water in the cup into that zombie's mouth. Chapter 620 Didn't forget himself. The energy in the lake didn't erase the tranquilizer inside the frozen zombie's body, but slowly activated his mind, suppressing the effect of the tranquilizer and waking him up. The frozen zombie opened his eyes, looking a little confused like someone who just woke up from a deep sleep. He blinked dully, then looked around with confusion and found that he was lying on the ground. Before his eyes was a vast spread of white fog. He abruptly sat up, but felt dizzy. His eyes suddenly blurred. He didn't dare to close his eyes but frowned as he stared at the three zombies around him. Those zombies were gazing at him, so he didn't dare to relax. He sat there motionlessly, looking at Lin Kiao and the other two while waiting for the dizziness to fade. Maybe because of his high vigilance, or because he was at the same level as her, Lin Kiao couldn't read that zombie's mind. You're awake. Get up. Don't worry, I won't attack you. Lin Kiao looked at him and said blandly. After saying that, Lin Kiao clearly noticed that the zombie slightly widened his eyes and showed a surprised look. Seeing that look on his face, Lin Kiao was a little stunned. Was that zombie surprised on hearing what she said? Normally, other zombies would be able to understand her meaning and follow her orders, even if they didn't understand human language. No zombies had ever shown such a look upon hearing her talk. Did that zombie understand human language? When Lin Kiao was thinking, the zombie stood up from the ground, his eyes fixed on her. At that time, Lin Kiao felt that the zombie was still on full alert, but at the same time, she also felt that he had relaxed a little already. Was she wrong? She believed number. Ever since she became a zombie, her sensations had been extra sharp, and were really wrong. She couldn't help but carefully observe that zombie. She suspected that he might have memories. While she was observing the zombie, their zombie was observing her as well. He could feel that she was at the same level as him but didn't understand why the pressure that she was giving out was stronger than his. Was she getting close to level 8? Or, was he too weak? Without starting a fight, their zombie couldn't tell exactly how powerful Lin Kiao was. However, he clearly felt that he would have no chance to win, not even if he was in his best condition. He had also been observing the two by Lin Kiao's side and clearly felt that those two were zombies too. But, why did the three look so much like human beings? Like many other zombies, that zombie was also color blind. He couldn't see the colors, but could still see the surrounding environment and the faces of the three. Their faces were clean, without any wounds or scars. Even their eyes contained white parts. In his eyes, their eyes were black and white without any other colors. Lin Kiao's green pupils were light gray in his eyes, but were clearly distinct from the white parts. Those eyes were so different from his own purely black eyes. All three zombies had that kind of eyes, which were completely different from the eyes of normal zombies. You really didn't forget who you are. You still have your memories before turning into a zombie, don't you? After spending a short while observing the zombie, Lin Kiao blinked and said, after being surprised by what she said, the zombie had been looking at her in a weird way. Lin Kiao felt weird, because that complicated kind of look wasn't supposed to be detected from a zombie's eyes. If he were a normal level 7 zombie, he wouldn't just observe her so quietly. After all, she would be a very big threat to him. As she expected, the zombie had a sharp beam of light flash across his eyes after hearing her words. Lin Kiao's words didn't only surprise the frozen zombie, 
but also surprised the other two. Lu Tani and Xidong glanced at each other, then turned back to the frozen zombie. Finishing talking, Lin Giao turned and walked into the small building. Lu Tani and Xidong followed behind her quickly. They left that zombie out there alone. In the living room, Lin Giao sat on the couch and said to Lu Tani, that boy isn't following you around anymore. What did you do? Lutani paused briefly and glanced at her with confusion. But then, he soon figured out her meaning. It turned out that she was talking about that young male zombie who always bothered him before. That zombie seemed to be very interested in catching bugs lately. He caught all the bugs in the vegetable field, then moved to the strawberry field. At last, he moved into the grassland to catch the bugs there. Picturing that zombie's mouth filled with dead bugs and teeth stained by the disgusting, sticky liquid, Lutani shivered. Then, he looked at Lin Giao with a bitter look. Clearly, he blamed Lin Giao for suddenly mentioning that zombie. Watching his reaction, Lin Giao smiled. Seeing her smile, Lutani was a little unhappy. Right at that moment, the frozen zombie walked into the living room. All three of them turned to the door. The room wasn't illuminated, so it was a little dark in there. But, as zombies, they were able to see things clearly. Seeing that zombie walk over with a calm look and bright eyes, Lin Kiao knew that he had given an affirmative answer to what she said before. Please sit down, Lin Kiao pointed at another couch and said to him. At that point, Lutani picked up the writing tablet on a side table, which was placed on one side of the living room, then found a rollerball pen. He brought the tablet and pen to the tea table which was before the couch that Lin Kiao pointed at, then turned and walked behind Lin Kiao, standing side by side with Xidong. Both of them moved further away from Lin Kiao and stood against the wall. Looking at the tablet on the table, the zombie showed a strange look in his eyes. He walked over and sat down as Lin Kiao asked. My family name is Lu. I am the leader of the All Beings base. Lin Kiao introduced herself. Her words made all the other three wear a confused look. What is All Beings base? Lu Tani and their zombie had the same question in their head. Xidong raised his brows and glanced at Lin Kiao with a strange look. He did not know what the All Beings base was either. Lin Kiao gave the frozen zombie a glance then turned to the two behind her. After that, she paused briefly to think and explained, Oh, that's the name of the new base. Earlier on, we named the new base that we recently built All Beings Base. Once she said that, the frozen zombie looked at her with surprise. You are a zombie lady, and you are the leader of a base. Shouldn't your base be called Zombie Base? Apostrophe he wondered. Chapter 621 There is a trap before me. Seeing the surprised look on the frozen zombie's face, Lin Giao smiled and asked, Do you know what day today is? Do you remember when you got caught? Hearing her words, the zombie erased his expression and shook his head, then nodded. Lin Giao nodded slightly as she understood his meaning. He remembered when was he caught, but didn't know what day was today. That made sense though. After he got caught, he was mostly in sleep. There was no clock in the freezing chamber to show him the time, so he surely didn't know how long he was kept in there. It's the middle of December, in the fifth year after the apocalypse. The sixth year is beginning soon. When were you caught? Lin Kiao looked at him and asked. The frozen zombie didn't answer her question, but looked around, then looked outside the window. Just now, he had been feeling that a strange kind of energy was entering his body. That energy was in a very, very small, even ignorable amount, but he could clearly feel that it was beneficial to his body, as his body was special. He was curious about where he was. He had also sensed a lot of high-leveled zombies nearby. Apart from that, he somehow felt under suppression, but didn't understand why. He looked at Lin Kiao. The suppression wasn't from her. Where was it from? Lin Kiao couldn't read his mind but managed to guess out what he was thinking about based on the look in his eyes. Do you want to know where you are? You can go out and take a good look around, then you'll find out. But before that, you need to understand your current situation. I saved you from that lab, but can't let you go anywhere you want, because they might catch you again. We would all be in huge trouble if they caught you again. Do you know about the research that they did with you? Lin Kiao raised the faint smile from her face and said to the zombie with a serious look. The frozen zombie turned around and looked at her. His eyes contained an obvious puzzled look. 
He knew that the female zombie hadn't finished talking. There was more for her to say. Lin Giao paused and spent a few seconds looking at the zombie quietly, then continued. Do you want to know? If you do, you need to promise me one thing first. There's a trap before me. Should I jump in? Apostrophe the frozen zombie thought. He was confused at first, then realized that Lin Giao had set a trap for him. He found that that female zombie wasn't easy to deal with. You can think about it. In fact, it's not a bad thing for you. I want you to come back to my base with me and live there. Maybe, we can work together. Don't worry, I won't force you to work for me. I'm only offering you a place to live. But of course, you need to follow the rules in my base. Also, your body is special. So, without my permission, please do not leave the base. Lin Giao said to the zombie. She claimed that she wouldn't force him to work for her but also expressed the meaning that he would be house arrested in her base. He had no idea what would happen after he got there. Why would he believe her? The zombie looked at Lin Giao with a complicated expression in his eyes. Lin Giao said, take your time to think about it. That's my only condition. If you accept it, you'll be able to leave this place and know all that you want to know. However, if you don't accept it, I'm sorry, but I'll have to ask you to stay here for now because your body is special. Her threatening words made the zombie's eyes glow with a cold light. The glare that he gave Lin Kiao immediately turned sharp. Lin Kiao ignored the look in his eyes, but the two lower leveled ones behind her tightened their bodies. Relax, we won't hurt you. However, you do need my permission to leave this place, because only I can control this place. While speaking, Lin Kiao reached out a hand toward the zombie, and gave him a faint smile, a roar. The zombie immediately sprung up. His hair even stood up, as if he was facing a powerful enemy. He bared his mouth and knitted his brows as he stared at Lin Kiao fiercely with a ferocious look. The hair on the back of his head started growing quickly, extending to his back from the back of his neck. Within a blink, he became a large, fluffy panther. His zombie face turned round and hairy. His two pairs of fangs shone with a cold light. However, he only maintained that state for three seconds. After that, his hair became short again. He panicked. Vigilance, intention of killing, helplessness, confusion all sorts of complicated emotions could be detected from his eyes. He was vigilant against Lin Kiao, and even wanted to kill her. He was panicking and helpless because he found that he could no longer control himself. His body disarmed itself against his will. Why? How could that happen? That suppression which he hadn't been paying attention to was suddenly boosted, making him feel as if his whole body was bound. Was that invisible, suppressive force what disarmed him? At that point, Lin Giao dropped her hand. Once she did that, the zombie felt that the bounded feeling was gone. Then, his hair grew long again, and he quickly turned back into a panther. This time, he didn't feel anything strange again, and he was able to maintain that state for more than three seconds. He maintained that beast form as he stared straight at Lin Kiao. He had already realized something. This place should be this female zombie's space. You seem to have guessed it already. Lin Kiao looked at him in the eyes and smiled faintly. Your blood was made into antidote to kill ordinary zombies. Currently, Quexia base is preparing to generalize that antidote for human beings, that is very helpful, but for us, that's no good. So, I'm offering you protection, and also asking you to cooperate with us, otherwise, we'll all die in the end. She looked at him and said. The zombie paused in shock. Lin Giao's words had really surprised him. He couldn't have imagined that his blood was actually made into a weapon against zombies. He knew that his body was special but didn't expect that to happen. If what Lin Giao said was true, that antidote could indeed be counted as a big step forward for human beings. But, there were so many zombies in the world. Was his blood enough to kill them all? Chapter 622, Zombie or Cat? Lin Giao didn't urge him, but let him sit there and think. With the two behind her, she watched the large panthers standing hair slowly lie back down, and his long tail wag from left to right tail tip curled. As he unwittingly relaxed his tightened body, his flattened ears were coked. He was as tall and strong as a man, but somehow, 
those ears made him look a little adorable. Lin Giao smilingly looked at those black ears. Panther ears weren't as big as cat ears. That black panther's ears were thick, tiny, and triangular. That zombie's hair weren't as dry and withered as the hair or normal zombies. Instead, they were black and clean, albeit a little messy. The longer the zombie thought about his current situation, the stronger he felt that it was not good. He raised his head to look at Lin Kiao, his eyes containing disbelief. He clearly remembered that those people took his blood a couple of times. He didn't know what they did with his blood. But, without seeing it with his own eyes, he wouldn't believe Lin Kiao's words. Do you want to confirm it? All right, I can send you out, then you can scout around for the truth said Lin Kiao. The zombie looked at her with surprise. Why was she able to guess out his every thought? She guessed way too accurately. He flicked his ears and swung his tail from the right to left. Do you agree? If you do, I'll let you out. Lin Kiao smiled at him. Hearing her, the zombie dropped his tail and flicked his ears again. After that, he disarmed himself and turned back into a zombie. Then, he nodded at her. Lin Kiao stood up and walked toward him. Don't move. While speaking, she pressed a hand on the zombie's shoulder and grasped his clothes. After that, they both disappeared in front of Xidong and Lutani. The zombie's eyes were dazzled shortly, and after that, he found that he had come into a strange room from that weird living room. Let's get out. Lin Gia waved at him, walking to the door. They were in the basement where she killed that squad of Huexia base people. Except for the man who was sent out by the squad leader to find the missing squad member. All the others had been vanished by Lin Kiao. The zombie showed a strange look on his face. Earlier, he guessed that he was in Lin Kiao's space. And now, it turned out to be true. She was a space-powered zombie, so she was supposed to be weak, wasn't she? However, why had she been giving out such a strong, suppressive vibe? He watched Lin Kiao walk to the door, then turn and wave at him. She had really brought him out. Wasn't she afraid that he might run away? Once they left the small building in Lin Kiao's space, the zombie felt that the weird suppression was gone, and so was the bounded feeling. His started to regain his energy quickly. In not long, he would be able to fight. He needed to defeat her if he wanted to leave by himself, didn't he? She was a space-powered zombie, so he figured that she wasn't as powerful as an animal-powered zombie like himself. The zombie's hair grew long again. He wagged his tail, and his pair of ears pointed backward. Lin Kiao, who was opening the door, paused. She turned her head slightly and smiled at the zombie. Do you wanna fight me? Are you sure? While speaking, she spread her palm, and a wisp of flame emerged in her hand. Seeing that black flame, the panther instantly froze. Then, he moved backward and pressed his back against the wall behind him, all his hair standing straight up. The black fire was tiny, yet the sense of danger it gave out made the zombie nervous. As a zombie, being too sensitive was not a good thing. He always got himself frightened. Seeing his reaction, Lin Giao dropped her hand with satisfaction and made the fire disappear. Even before she died, her dark fire was highly threatening to zombies. After turning into a zombie, the power of her fire had grown many times more powerful than before. Now, she could easily threaten other zombies with it. It was the first time that zombie sensed the power of her flame. The fire was too powerful, so he reacted that way. What's your decision? Shall we get out or not? Lin Giao stood by the door and said to the zombie. Ha ha zombie flattened his ears and uttered a deep growl like a cat. He stood still, staring at Lin Giao vigilantly his tail wagging non-stop. Damn, are you a zombie or a cat? Panthers don't do that, do they? Lin Kiao looked at him and asked. The zombie paused briefly, then glared at Lin Kiao with discontentment. He didn't like being called a cat. He was not a cat. All right, stop looking at me. Let's go. It's bustling up there. Let's get up and watch the show. Lin Kiao ignored his reaction and waved at him again. You're a level 7 anyhow. I'm at the same level as you the same level. You surely can't defeat me, but you don't need to be so afraid of me, do you? Lin Kiao walked out of the door. In the dark underground path, she murmured while going up the stairs. Roar. I'm not afraid of you. Your fire is just too weird. The zombie gave an unhappy roar behind her. His deep, beast roar like voice sounded very loud in that quiet underground path. Lin Kiao ignored him, 
and just kept moving upstairs. It was late at night, but the base was very busy. The alarm had stopped, but more and more soldiers showed up. In the secret conference room of Huexia base, someone was furious. Why is it missing? I told you to deliver the package to room number 7 but you lost it. Even the squad went missing. Why didn't you disappear as well? Why are you here? A nearly seven feet tall man angrily glared at a man in a camouflage suit, who was down on one knee by the door. The man in a camouflage suit was a member of the squad which moved the zombie out of the research institution. Earlier on, he was sent by his leader out of the building where the leaders of the other bases lived to look for the missing squad member. At that moment, his face was covered in cold sweat. With panic, he lowered his voice and responded, I, I don't know. Captain told me to go out and look for Wash. I didn't find him, and when I got back to the basement, nobody was there. I thought Captain and the others went to room number 7 without me, so I went there. But, they weren't there either and the package was gone too. He didn't know what happened. He was sent out to find someone, but failed. When he got back, the entire squad was gone. Something bad must have happened. Otherwise, how could the squad possibly disappear during a mission? Chapter 623, The Leader of Huexia Base The tall man coldly stared at that squad member, staying silent. The longer he stayed quiet, the more sweat did that squad member shed. A drop of sweat ran off his temple. A few sweat drops had already fallen on the ceramic floor before his knees. Go. The tall man abruptly turned and said a word, then walked back behind his desk and sat down. Yes, sir. The squad member was instantly relieved. He hurriedly responded, then stood up and left quietly, behind the desk. The tall man crossed his arms before his chest and knitted his eyebrows. His bright eyes glowed while his forefinger tapped his arm slowly. Chief, should we inform the other chairman about this? Two men in military uniforms stood by the desk. One of them glanced at the door, then turned and asked the man who was sitting behind the desk. The man behind the desk was the only leader of Huexia base, named Si Kongjin. Si Kongjin was a level 8 possessor of firepower the first level 8 superpowered man in the country. A year ago when he broke into level 8, he abolished the multi-leader policy in Huexia base and started a monarchy. He decided that only the strongest person could lead the base. The other base leaders who were at level 7 had no choice but to accept his decision, and formed the board of directors of Huexia base. Currently, they were like the elders of the base. However, that was only a change of title. Their powers and duties hadn't changed at all. Knowing that, those chairmen slowly accepted the new policy. There were seven chairmen in Huexia base, all at level seven. They couldn't become the chief of the base unless they defeated Si Kongjin. However, they weren't willing to stay under his autocracy, so they became allies, slowly forming a force to balance the chief. Below the seven chairmen were eighteen deputy chiefs. Some of them were at level six and some had recently entered level 7. They were divided into two groups, one group followed Si Kong Chen's orders and the other was under the board's command. Huexia base was the top survivor's base in the country. It was not only powerful, but controlled many advanced technologies. Nearly two million survivors lived in that base, many of whom were scientific talents. So naturally, the base had achieved rapid development in technology. Added with the fact that many residents of the base were strong superpowered beings, the base was much more advanced than the other bases in food storage, medical technology, military power, and many other aspects. The two men in the conference room were both deputy chiefs. Not for now. Just go and find out what exactly has happened. Find them alive or dead. Even if there are no dead bodies, there'll always be some traces. The squad leader is a level 6 superpowered man after all. It's impossible for him to be killed without realizing anything or being able to react. Si Kongjin shook his head, then raised his head and gave the two a task. Yes, sir. The two turned and left without saying anything else. After watching them walk out of the door, Si Kongjin turned his head, thinking about all the possibilities. That was an elite squad, the squad leader was at level 6. It wasn't possible for them to be wiped out without leaving a trace, unless the enemy was at level 7 or level 8. The other squad members were all at level 5. Together, they were no weaker than a level 6 man. However, a squad like that just vanished. Who had the power to destroy a well-trained, 
quick-witted, strong squad like that without leaving any traces. The leader of Sea City Base had lightning power. Loud noises would certainly be caused when he launched an attack. Besides, he would leave at least some dark, burning marks behind. Luzi Ofing from Hidden Cloud City Base had wind power. He liked to cut people to death with wind blades, so, if it were him, there would be some blood stains to be found. Lan Lu from Green Mountain Base had a pretty special power. His spirit power allowed him to kill a person with one mythought. Also, his background was a little strange. That man was the most probable suspect. Not to mention the fact that he brought two level 7 subordinates. Guard. He abruptly yelled toward the door. Chief. Someone quickly came in. Tell Deputy Chief Hu to pay close attention to those Green Mountain base people and find out what they're going to do tonight. Si Kong Jin didn't even raise his head, looking at the desk while speaking. Yes, sir. That man accepted the order and left. Except for the three level 8 men who were able to directly kill people with violence, the other base leaders were all at level 7, and their powers were not special. If Gu Yikang from Sky Fire Base were here, he might be suspected too, as he had a poisonous fire. However, he was only a level 7 man, meaning that he couldn't possibly kill the whole squad with one move. He might kill one or two in that squad at one time. Besides, his fire was green, and wasn't as powerful as Netherworld fire of the old Hades base leader. Also, his fire wasn't able to take lives immediately, but could only poison people and kill them slowly. Level 6 people could survive for 10 minutes after being poisoned by his fire, while level 5 people could only last 3 minutes. Therefore, if it were Gu Kang who attacked them, the squad would have at least 3 minutes to fight back. That was only a hypothesis. Gu Kang didn't come to Huexia base. Instead of him, Li Zheng I the snow-powered man was here. The leaders of the rest two bases who had come to Huexia were both at level 7 as well. It was more unlikely for them to be the one who destroyed the squad. Si Kong Jin thought about it over and over again. None of the possibilities he came up with seemed to be right, but he still believed that it was one of those powerful people who killed the squad. So, he analyzed those people in his head without missing any of them. Huexia base set a trap for other people. However, as someone else discovered it and gave them a push, they fell into the trap themselves. At the same time, the people from the other bases had also been trying to figure out who stole the zombie. No one planned to get any sleep that night. Ordinary superpowered people could stay energetic for a couple of days without sleeping, not to mention those high level ones. Um, it wasn't her, uh, was it? In Wu Cheng Yu's room. Xiao Liking glanced at the door and then said to Wu Cheng Ayu with a low voice. She had a space, and was able to turn invisible. No one was more suitable for the job than she was. Stop talking nonsense. Who are you talking about? Huexia base is so strictly guarded. I don't think anyone we know can do it. Even if someone did do it, it'd be impossible for him or her to leave the base. So now, he or she must have been hiding somewhere in the base. Wu Cheng Yu glanced at him and said meaningfully, You're right, Xiao Liking hurriedly ended the conversation. Chapter 624, The Meeting of Leaders Next morning, the leader of Huexia base sent his people to invite the leaders of other bases to discuss what happened last night. The seats in the reception room were well arranged. Every chief had an armchair, with a tea table by the side. Behind that were two armchairs with a tea table in the middle. Those were for the relatively high-placed people under the chiefs, such as deputy chiefs. Si Kong Jin sat in the host's seat as he smilingly said to the other base leaders, I assume you have all learned what happened last night. The source of material that we used for making the antidote was stolen. We haven't even found a clue of it yet. So now, we have sealed off our base. The base will not be unsealed until we have found the source of the material. Thank you all for understanding. The group of base leaders nodded at him knowingly, yet no one could tell what they each had been thinking. What a coincidence. It wasn't stolen earlier or later. Instead, it went missing right when we all gathered here. I guess some among the people in this room came with plans. Lu Xiuofing raised his eyebrows and said to Si Kong Jin with a smile. Si Kong Chen gave him a smile and responded, Chief Lu, did you have that kind of a plan? You mentioned the people in this room, so I suppose you are included as well. 
Right, I am curious about the source of the material you have lost. I heard that the antidote is made from the blood of a special zombie, and the parts of several kinds of mutated animals and plants. Chief C, can you please tell us which material is missing now? Wu Chengai Wu sat in front of Lu, wearing his daily smile. C Kong Jin didn't plan to hide the truth. He looked at Wu Chengai Yu and replied, the special zombie was stolen. It's the source of the most important material. He was planning to make the zombie disappear right before the eyes of all those base leaders, then move it to the next hiding spot. In that case, people would think that Huixia base wouldn't be able to produce more antidote, and then, he would have every reason to raise the price. See Kong Jin didn't come up with that idea, the board did. He thought it was a good idea, so he approved the action. Unexpectedly, things didn't develop in the way they wanted. They planned to tell the others that the zombie had gone missing, and now, it was missing for real. People had guessed that it was the zombie which had been stolen, but didn't expect Si Kong Jin to say it out so soon. After all, the zombie was stolen in their own place when some people from other bases were there. They sealed off the base and forbade people from leaving, meaning that they were suspecting the people from other bases. Now, as Si Kong Jin had said it out loud in that meeting, it was clear that he didn't plan to show the other base leaders any respect. Those base leaders had no idea that it was a plan of Huexia base, and that in the end, someone else took advantage of it. Oh, I was curious about how special that zombie was, and was looking forward to Chief C giving us an introduction. Now, it seems that I won't even have a chance to see it, Lan Lu smiled and said. In a frank manner, he told Si Kong Jin that he was indeed interested in that zombie. Hearing that, the others had their expressions changed. Si Kong Jin even had his eyes glowing with a cold light. Green Mountain Base, you've been hiding pretty well. Last time, your base sent out a squad which included a level 7 and a level 6 to hunt a traitor, who was at level 7 too. Can you get level 7 people for free? There are so many of them in your base. Wu Cheng Wu said to level 7 with laughter. Ah. We don't have a large population in our base, but our overall strength is not bad. Tang he wasn't just a random traitor. He was an important administrator in our base. We just don't know why he betrayed us. Lan Lu smiled at him and responded. So, even though you are a small base, you are powerful. Why haven't you been communicating with the other bases? Your base isn't a secret paradise, is it? You've been hiding somewhere without letting the others know about you? Wu Cheng Wu kept joking with him. Their conversation was completely off the topic. When it came to the mysterious Green Mountain base which emerged in the fifth year after the apocalypse, the others had great interests as well. Therefore, none of them interrupted Wu Cheng Wu. I share the same thought as Chief Wu. Chief Lan, you are not only a level 8 man, but also a possessor of spirit power. Upgrading is a difficult thing for the possessors of that special kind of power, right? The higher the harder. However, you made it to level 8 without letting us hear anything about it. Were you planning to show up suddenly to scare us? Lu Xiuofeng said smilingly as well. Wu Cheng Yu had seen Lei Cheng and Zheng Er once. He talked to Lan Lu -o. Only ease the tense atmosphere, and also to be friendly with him. Without a doubt, he was holding no bad intentions. But, Lu Xiuofeng was not like him. He emphasized on Lu Xiuofeng's level and power, so everyone's attention was attracted to Lan Lu on hearing what he said. A level 8 possessor of spirit power was indeed a special being who was able to hurt the others with a single thought. High level people wouldn't die under his spirit power, but might have their brain damaged. But, lower level people would directly go mad, or even have brain death. More seriously, a spirit power attack might make the brain of an unprepared person explode, which would kill that person immediately. That kind of power wasn't so effective on zombies, but was highly threatening to human beings. Sitting behind Lan Lu were two level 7 superpowered people. Except for Huexia base, the three of them had already made the strongest force on the scene. Inevitably, the others grew vigilant against them. We are not the only new base in the country. I guess you have also heard about the new base in Hangzhou City, right? It's weird though. Chief C. Didn't you invite the leader of that new base? Lan Lu smiled with composure, then changed the topic to the new base. At that moment, Lin Qiao, who had been listening to the meeting, wanted very much to kick Lan Lu's chair. He was actually using her base as a shield. Lin Qiao was there alone, 
invisible, without paying attention to that Black Panther. The base had been sealed off anyway, so the Panther couldn't leave the base easily. She planned to let him stroll around in the base and learn about his current situation. As long as he was conscious, he couldn't possibly ignore that. Besides, Lin Gia was able to sense his vibe clearly. Therefore, she knew about his every move. So now, she stayed cool and came here to watch the meeting. But, someone mentioned her new base not long after the meeting was started. Chapter 625, The Undercurrents in the Meeting. Ah, I've heard about that base. It seems that it's still under construction. I guess that Sea City base knows them the best as their neighbor. Si Kong Jin smiled as he glanced at Wu Cheng Ayu and said, Is that why you didn't invite them? Because their base is still under construction? Wu Cheng Ayu smilingly looked at him. I wonder if they can build the base or not. After all, they don't even have one level 7 member. They are just some survivors of the old Hades base. I figured that they have no reason to waste the time to come all the way here, as that might slow down the construction work. Si Kong Jin laughed to Wu Cheng Ayu then turned to the people from Hidden Cloud City Base and Sky Fire Base while speaking. Hearing that, the others reacted in different ways. Wu Cheng Ayu, Lan Lu, and Lu Xiaofing learned that Si Kong Jin didn't know that new base enough. He hadn't even paid any attention to it yet. So, in his eyes, that new base was only a gathering spot of a group of people. He believed that building a new base would be a very difficult thing for those people not to mention expanding their force. He thought that that new base didn't even have a level 7 member. Even if Sea City base didn't intend to touch it, any base like Earth Dragon base would destroy it. Even if no base wanted to lay a finger on it, high-leveled zombies might attack those people. A few groups of zombies would have flattened that small, new base. Based on those thoughts, Sea Kong Jin figured that they couldn't possibly have many supplies in store so he had no interest in that base. Unlike him, the people from the bases which were relatively closer to that new base knew that although that base was underpopulated, it was not weak. The farther bases didn't know much about that new base, because they hadn't been collecting information about them. In their eyes, that was just some place those Hades base survivors chose to stay. They also felt strange though. Those people did not have great powers, so why didn't they just join another air base? Hidden Cloud City Base and Sky Fire Base were their enemies, but they could have joined Sky Cloud Base. Why did they insist on building a new base by themselves? Were they able to do that? It was reasonable that Huexia Base had no interest in it. You didn't invite them, but it doesn't mean that they won't come. Li Zhengai from Sky Fire Base abruptly joined the conversation. Hearing him, both Wu Cheng Ayu and Lan Lu glanced at him then turned to the others silently. He knew had gone missing. Therefore, Li Zhengai didn't gather more information than Lu Xiaofeng. He said that purely to make things sound worse. If they did come, we'd welcome them. Si Kong Jin's chiseled face wore a careless smile. As far as he knew, no one but the people in this room and their subordinates had entered his base recently. The people from that new base didn't show up, or... They came in along with those from the other bases. But, I don't think they have the capability to steal from my base. Believe me, there will soon come a result. Si Kong Jin brought up the original topic again and continued. If the culprit returns the stolen object unharmed, some of our bullets and bombs might be saved. Because, if we find out who did it before that, things will become ugly for all of us. His words made everyone's face darken slightly, but soon people adjusted their expressions. Would Huexia base ever be in short of weapons? Surely not. So, when Si Kong Jin said that to the other base leaders, his words contained a threatening meaning. He meant that no one was allowed to leave before the thief was found, and when he found out who did it, a war might begin. Bases on the current military power of each base, no base would want to fight Huexia base. After all, no other base had as strong a military strength as Huexia base did. Huexia base had the power to fight even two or even three bases at one time. Huexia base didn't only have a large population. Almost all the two million residents in that base had their specialties. Huexia base was built up step by step by over two million survivors. So, without any questions, the living condition in that base was surely much better than that in some sparsely populated base. In terms of population, 
C City Base was the second largest base in the country. However, as a base with 1,200,000 residents, C City Base wasn't even one third as powerful as Huexia Base. But still, it was considered the second strongest base. The third and fourth largest bases had the same size of population. The third base was Heilong Base, which had about 800,000 survivors from northeast China, while the fourth was the Hidden Cloud City Base, which had over 700,000 people. In fact, more survivors lived in South China than in the northeast, yet those survivors were divided into two parts by Hades Base and Earth Dragon Base. If those two bases merged into one, their population would reach the top three. However, having a large population was not a good thing for a base. Large population meant large consumption. Without good productivity, a richly populated base would eventually become overcrowded. Therefore, Long Yubai only wanted the supplies that belonged to Hades base, but massacred the residents in Hades base. He could not afford so many people. Quaxia base people were confident about the strength of their base because their base was rich enough to feed two million people. Otherwise, Si Kongjin wouldn't threaten the other base leaders openly. Some of the others had their hearts sinking while others didn't really care. Lan Lu stared at Si Kongjin without saying anything. What's wrong, Chief Lan, do you have something to say? Sensing his gaze, Si Kongjin turned and asked him with a smile. I'm wondering who has the guts to offend Huexia base. You are such a strong base after all. I think even Si City base wouldn't do it. Lan smiled, then abruptly turned to Wu Cheng Ayu. Of course, we wouldn't do that. We always treasure peace, so we'd never do such a thankless thing. Why would we? Besides, we had an important researcher who was focusing on antivirus related research, yet that traitor from your base killed him. The relevant projects in our base have all been stopped. Even if we get that special zombie, we wouldn't be able to study anything from it, right? Wu Cheng Ayu responded, also with a smile. Ha ha, I know about that thing. Your base is too peaceful. The opposite would only be someone like Yang Zhao who emerged amongst you. If it weren't for him, that doctor would still be alive. Li Zheng I abruptly added as he smiled at Wu Cheng Ayu while speaking. Wu Cheng Ayu nodded, Chief Li, I guess you are right. Our life was so easy that we even forgot that the zombies outside the base were our biggest enemy. So, I was wondering who on earth had such confidence to steal that zombie. After all, even C City Base wouldn't take a risk to do it. Lan Lu turned back to see Kong Chen and said, Chapter 626, Lin Q the Zombie. The other base leaders each aired their own opinions and soon forgot about Si Kongjin's threat. Listening to their conversation, Lin Qiao rolled her eyes. The atmosphere in every grand meeting was pretty much the same. Before, when she attended such meetings herself, she always stayed silent with a faint smile on her face. However, other people always had many questions to ask her. Right at that time, a man hurriedly ran over and whispered a few words to the guard by the door. After hearing from him, the guard quickly turned and came in, quietly walking to the deputy chief behind Si Kongjin. Without interrupting the others, he bent over and said a few words to that deputy chief with a low voice. Next, the deputy chief had his expression change. He immediately stood up and made two steps forward, then whispered in Si Kongjin's ear. Seeing that, the others stopped talking and fixed their eyes on Si Kongjin. After hearing his subordinate, Si Kongjin frowned. Then, he stood up from the armchair as he looked at the others and said, My people just reported to me that the zombie was seen in the base. I need to handle it now. My friends, you can either join me or head back to your own room to rest. While speaking, he nodded at the people and then walked out of the room with big steps. A. Eh? Did the zombie run out by itself? Wu Cheng Ayu looked at the others with surprise. Ah. How could they let it run? Shouldn't they have hidden it well? If only there was a level 7 space possessor. In that case, we'd be able to conveniently put the zombie into the space, said Lun Xiuofeng with laughter. Most of the space possessors had airless spaces. Their spaces couldn't contain living creatures, but could contain zombies, because zombies didn't need air. Without the sunlight, zombies wouldn't die and would only quiet down. However, their zombie was a special kind of creature. When a space possessor put a zombie into his or her space, 
the space would start shrinking. The higher was the zombie's level, the smaller would the space become. At last, the space would fail to contain the zombie's body. Therefore, only level 7 or 8 space possessors were able to put a level 7 zombie into their spaces. However, no one had even heard about any space possessor above level 5 yet. So, Lucio Fing was only joking. I'll go and take a look. This is a great opportunity. If Huexia base people catch that zombie, they'll hide it again, right? Lan Lu stood up and headed toward the door while speaking. No one else wanted to stay in the room. They all wanted to see that zombie. Who are those people? They stole the zombie, and then let it run. I can't believe it, said Bao Chengzi the leader of Mongols base who had been staying silent the whole time. While speaking, he was also walking out of the room. Wu Chengyu smilingly followed behind the others. As all the others were looking at the door, he glanced at the room before leaving. Standing by the door, Lin Giao noticed his move, feeling a little strange. Was he suspecting something? On the other side of the base, the Black Panther had already rushed into a farm from residential area. He flashed across the air swiftly leaving nothing but a shred of dark shadow before disappearing within a blink. Over there, it ran into the farm. Why Hicho, a member of the board in Huexia base got the timely and speedily followed the panther into the farm. He was a level 7 plant power possessor. His sensations were sharper than that of many superpowered people, so he actually located the zombie. The farm in Huexia base was huge occupying over a thousand acres of land. The farm was covered in all kinds of crops. At first glance, one would see thriving vegetables or cereals, and the fruit trees on the hills in the further area. Wai Hichau rushed into the farm ahead of the others. Being surrounded by plants, his plant power would become twice as strong. Following behind him was a great army. Under his direction, the soldiers quickly moved toward the Black Panther from all directions. The vehicles were running on the narrow soil roads in the farm, stirring up clouds of dust. Soon, they had to get off the car and keep moving on foot. Their zombie was heading toward a hill with fruit trees, and cars couldn't reach that area. However, the troop didn't manage to catch up with that zombie. Why Hichau got a little closer to the zombie, but only a little. After all, the zombie possessed animal power. As a plant power possessor, he was much slower than the zombie. Thanks to his plant power, he never lost the track of the zombie, even though he couldn't catch up with it. With no other choice, he kept following behind their zombie while waiting for reinforcements. A dark figure flashed across the woods and landed on a tree. The zombie turned to glance back and saw nothing, only sensing a vibe coming straight at him. Lin Q, of course remembered everything before he turned into a zombie. He didn't turn into a zombie when the apocalypse came. Instead, he was bitten by a zombie panther from a zoo. When he woke up, he found himself in a completely different shape. His palms were covered in fur, and nails were as sharp as beast claws. The world in his eyes became black and white, like the images in a black and white television. He remembered that a zombie panther bit him but had no idea why it didn't eat him. After waking up, he quickly checked his body and found no other wound, save for a large scratch on his face. Soon after that, he found the dead body of that zombie panther. He checked it and found a bullet hole on its head. Clearly, it was shot. Perhaps someone passed by before the panther ate him. He didn't know who killed the panther and accidentally protected him. So, he dug out the bullet from the panther's head. After that, he lived a very hard life. Any food tasted like mud in his mouth. The only thing that made him feel extremely hungry was the scent of living human beings. Once he smelled living humans, the desire of feeding would occupy his head, and his mind would go blur. He controlled that appetite with difficulties. To stop himself from losing his mind and attacking people madly, he ran away from all humans that he met. One day, Another zombie attacked him. He had no idea why that zombie attacked him, but he fought back nevertheless. During the battle, he accidentally smashed the zombie's head and found his first zombie nucleus. He sensed an attractive type of energy from that zombie nucleus. Unlike human flesh, that energy tempted him in a different way. He was instinctively attracted to that energy. He wiped that zombie nucleus with his clothes in for a few times, then reluctantly swallowed it. Chapter 627, Plant vs. Animal After that, 
Lin Kui started trying everything he could to hunt zombies for their nuclei and upgrade slowly. He didn't know why would hair grow out all over his body every time he was in a fighting mode. His strength grew much stronger along with his hair though. He wagged his tail as he turned and darted deeper into the woods. He was a panther, so the woods were his realm too. The weird female zombie let him go and learn about his current situation. He went near to the research institute and heard the conversations between the people near that building. Then, he found that every entrance on the main road between the outer and base and the inner base had been blocked guarded by heavily armored soldiers. A lot of squads formed by superpowered people had been searching around the base for something. The entire base in a tense atmosphere. Lin Kui couldn't help but start to believe what the female zombie had said. Those people were really looking for him. However, before he confirmed about the so-called antidote, he didn't fully believe that female zombie. He grasped an opportunity to hear some researcher talking then learned that a batch of anti-zombie antidote had indeed been produced. However, he was spotted before he figured out where the antidote was stored. Normal bullets and superpowers surely couldn't hurt him. He rarely took the initiative to hurt humans, but this time, he chose to fight back when those people attacked him. At that point, Lin Kui's hands were covered in blood, his beast eyes sparkling with a cold light. A cold and sharp vibe could be detected from his eyes and a strong intention of killing gathered on him. Sensing that a lot of people were chasing behind him, Lin Kui started restraining his vibe. Then, he took a detour ahead back to where he came from. When he hid his vibe deliberately, not even a plant power possessor could detect the change of his location immediately. The roads leading to the outer space had all been blocked but zombies could climb walls. That was how the level 7 zombie successfully exited the inner space and entered the farm area. Why Hichau abruptly stopped moving and looked around with a frown. Next, he pressed a hand on a tree and spent a few seconds sensing carefully, then kept moving toward where Lin Kui was. Since not long ago, their zombies vibe had become faint. The deeper he went into the farm, the fainter that vibe became. For that reason, why Hichau knitted his brows as he was having a bad feeling. He glanced back and found that no one was behind him. He was there, chasing the zombie alone. He clearly understood that Si Kong Jin only sealed off the base to show the people from the other bases how serious it was. However, seeing that those walls delivered no effect to that zombie which was free again, he couldn't help but complain about how useless those guards were. Why wasn't Si Kong Jin there yet? Why Hi Chao didn't want to fight that zombie face to face? That was a zombie dominator. Even though it hadn't recovered to its peak state, he still didn't dare to rush straight up to it. So, he decided to wait until Si Kong Jin arrived. Si Kong Jin had sent out his own people to move that zombie to another location. But, why did that zombie run out for real? Did Si Kong Jin let it out on purpose? Why? If that was true, he wouldn't be able to frame the people from the other bases, would he? Also, the board didn't approve that part of the action. Did they? How dare he release the zombie? Wasn't he afraid that it might run away? Why Hi Chao decided to mind less about it? Someone had informed Si Kong Jin anyway. He only needed to keep track of that zombie. If it really ran away, the blame would be Si Kong Jin's to take. While Why Hi Chao was still following that zombie's vibe from a long distance away and waiting for Si Kong Jin to come and get the zombie himself, a dark figure flashed up behind him. He immediately turned around, but saw nothing there. He looked around alarmedly turning his head from left to right. All of a sudden, he bent over and made a roll on the ground. After that, a dark figure descended from the air and charged at him. Before he could struggle up from the ground, a sharp beam of light flashed toward his face. His heart flipped as he hurriedly crossed his arms before his face to shield himself. Meanwhile, the skin on his both hands immediately turned deep brown, as coarse as the skin of a tree. Clearly, he was using his superpower, Puff. A clear claw scratched his withered tree-like arms, then a leg was swung sideways toward him. Why Hi Chao didn't manage to dodge and the kick landed on his waist, sending him flying away. Thud. He bumped into a fruit tree nearby. He wasn't injured though. Instead, he nimbly rolled forward, then spread his fingers as if he was trying to grasp something in the air. After that, 
He swung his arms toward the Black Panther which was pouncing on him again. Following his movement, the trees on his both sides fell to the ground and started growing rapidly. Puff! The Black Panther jumped into the thriving leaves, while he cut off the branches before him with his claw. Why Hichau had already disappeared, Lin Kui narrowed his eyes and sniffed around, then darted out in one direction. A level 7 human could never be a match for a level 7 zombie. Added with the fact that animal power suppressed plant power naturally, Why Hichau was clearly aware that he wouldn't be able to win against that zombie. However, that zombie had actually given up on running, but came back to attack him. In that way, he didn't need to keep chasing it. He mixed his own scent with that of the trees near him, then stuck half of his head out from behind a tree, looking at the giant panther which was rushing at him. Lin Kui rushed over and then stopped, looking around with a pair of piercing eyes. He knew that that person was a possessor of plant power, and that he was using the scents of the plants to hide. His attack failed. He looked around, then suddenly turned and quickly hopped onto a tree nearby moving deeper into the woods. He would be able to locate that person if he spent a longer time. However, he didn't want to do that, because he had sensed that a stronger vibe was approaching. He figured that he should better hide. On the other side, Si Kong Chin flew into the farm, heading toward where Wai He Chao was. Wai He Chao showed up before him. Where's Makui? Si Kong Chin swiftly landed by his side. He just ran that way. Why Hi Chao immediately pointed the way that Lin Kui chose. Si Kong Jin instantly leapt high and flashed in that direction. Only after that did Why Hi Chao sighed with relief. Then, he saw a large group of soldiers rushing over, carrying their guns. Leading those soldiers was Li Yu along, a direct subordinate of Why Hi Chao. Mr. Why, how's it going? Where's Makui? Li Yu along asked once he got close. Over there. Why Hi Chao pointed that way with his chin and then started moving, keep up, keep up. Li Yulong immediately turned to yell at the troop behind him, chapter 628, suddenly disappeared. Lin Kiao followed Si Kong Jin there. Si Kong Jin wasn't a possessor of wind power, so he was no faster than Lin Kiao. When he landed by Wai Hi Chao's side, Lin Kiao had already darted up to Lin Kui. Don't move while fleeing forward. Lin Kui suddenly heard a familiar voice from next to his ear. He recognized that voice, it was none other than the female zombie who was with him not long ago. As he paused slightly, a hand landed on his shoulder and pulled him gently. Next, his eyes were dazzled. When he could see again, he was already in another place. The moment Lin Kui and Lin Kui disappeared, Si Kong Jin and Wai He Chao paused simultaneously. Eh? It's so weird. Why He Chao stopped moving and looked ahead with both surprise and doubts, then dropped his eyelids to focus on his sensations. Soon, he confirmed that the vibe of that zombie had disappeared without a trace. What's wrong? Li Yulong raised an arm and signaled for the troop behind him to stop moving. After that, he landed beside Why He Chao and asked, It's gone. Why He Chao opened his eyes and murmured with confusion. How did that happen? Does Makui have some hidden ability? The zombie disappeared suddenly. Why Hi Chao pondered for a moment, then thought of space possessors. A space could indeed block any kind of sense and vibes. If the zombie didn't have a space, it must have met a space possessor. However, he didn't sense anyone approaching Makui. All he sensed was the zombie disappearing all of a sudden. It's impossible. If it had a space, why didn't it use the space earlier? We wouldn't have been able to do anything to it once it entered its own space. It would have run straight away. Why Hi Chao said with a frown. At that moment, a figure flashed across the woods. Si Kong Jin came back and landed beside Why Hi Chao, asking with a serious look, What's going on? Have you sensed its location? Why Hi Chao looked at him and shook his head. I can't. It suddenly disappeared. That's impossible. It must have hidden away. Go. Bring more people. Surround this whole area and search for the zombie. Si Kong Jin frowned slightly, then said to Li Yu along, Yes, sir. Li Yu along responded immediately, then turned and gave his order to a squad leader behind him. Outside the farm, the other base leaders gathered together to watch the show. Ah, look at this farmland. It's over a thousand acres, isn't it? I guess they're expecting a rich harvest. Quakesia base is rich indeed. It's impressive that they can feed two million people. Lu Xiuofing looked at the endless, 
green farmland and smilingly said something that everyone already knew, Chief Lu, you don't need to be jealous of them, you'd be able to create large farmland like this too if you found more water powered, earth powered, and green powered people, or people with special superpowers who are able to purify the polluted soil, Wu Cheng Ayu responded with a bland smile, I finally see the famous Huexia farm today, it is thriving indeed, Gao Hei Oyan from Heilong Base looked at the farmland before him, his eyes filled with thirst and admiration, Heilong Base was located in the northeast, and the weather there was never good, after the apocalypse, the soil had changed, so farming had become even more difficult, therefore, the planting had been going terribly in Heilong Base, the survival rate of the plants in that base had always been low, and even with the surviving plants, the harvest was never good, one other reason was that the base lacked talents, the capable people had all left the northeast and joined Huexia Base, oh, they stopped, Wu Cheng Ayu said, the smile on his face suddenly growing bigger, the others paused slightly, then immediately figured that he was talking about Si Kong Jin and his people, then, they used their sensations and soon found that Si Kong Jin had really paused shortly, after that, he started moving again, but seeming to become aimless, he stopped from time to time, as if he was hesitating, what's happening, M, that zombies vibe the group of people couldn't sense Lin Kui's vibe clearly as they had been far away, after all, Lin Kui had been hiding his vibe intentionally, they felt that his vibe seemed to have disappeared, but also felt that it was still there, it's gone, Lu Xiuofing spent a short while sensing the vibe in the wind, within 5 miles radius around Si Kong Jin, he couldn't sense that zombie's vibe, this was a surprise considering he could still sense that zombie not long ago, oh my, it disappeared right under Si Kong Jin's eyes, Si Kong Jin is going to be so angry, isn't he? Lan Lu smiled and said, that's for sure, I'd have exploded, ha ha. Lu Xiuofing laughed, as if he was taking pleasure in the other's misfortune, it's strange though, how did the zombie disappear, why don't we go over there and see what's going on, they're too far away from here. Lu Xiuofing blinked and said, you can go if you want, I'm not really interested, we're all here anyway, none of us has left, in this case, Si Kong Chen has no reason to blame any of us for stealing that zombie, right? Does that zombie have a space? Maybe it has been hiding it? Wu Cheng Ayu gave Lu Xiuofing a glance with a smile, then turned to look at Si Kong Chen. That's highly possible. Perhaps, it took an opportunity to hide in its space back when it was locked up. Then, when everybody thought that it was stolen, it sneakily came out and freed itself. That zombie seems to be really smart. Lan Lu thought for a moment, then gave his own assumption with a serious face, he might be right though, if the zombie really had a space, it might suddenly hide in its space when the tranquilizer wore off, that could really happen, what could also happen was that when the thieves sneakily got it out of the lab, their zombie woke up and launched a counter attack and then ran away, that could be how the current situation came about, Lan Lu surely wouldn't say that the zombie might have been stolen by some people from another base, he had no evidence after all, therefore, he made his assumption in a way that would not offend anyone, Wu Cheng Ayu blinked, then nodded slightly and agreed with Lan, I think Chief Lan is right, that zombie might have run away by itself, however, Si Kong Jin insisted on making us take the blame, so shameless, oh, you said that, not me, Wu Cheng Ayu, you're the only one who has the guts to call Si Kong Jin shameless, Lan Lu immediately teased him, am I wrong, eh, Wu Cheng Ayu carelessly raised his eyebrows, the smile on his face unchanged, ahem, you're not wrong, but, if I were Si Kong Jin, I'd certainly be unhappy upon hearing what you said, Li Zheng I suddenly joined the conversation, we were unhappy when he threatened us, why would we let him be happy now? Wu Cheng Ayu continued smiling, besides, he's not here, chapter 629, brainwashy Lin Giao took Lin Q into the small building inside her space, then sat on the couch and said, see, I didn't lie to you, did I, you've learned that except for the leader and chairman of Huexia base, the other base leaders are all here for the antidote, while speaking, she pointed at the spot where Lin Kui sat before and offered him the seat again, Lin Kui hesitated for a moment, then walked over there and sat down, 
glancing at the clipboard on the table. What do you think? Will you accept my terms? In fact, as long as you don't get caught by them, you won't be made into the antidote. However, I can't make sure if you'll be able to keep hiding. What if your brain stops working someday? If you come out and get caught again, we'd all be in danger again. Besides, we can't tell what weapons humans will create in one or two decades to kill zombies. Lin Kiao looked at him and said, based on the current development of Huexia base, they'll be able to develop other weapons to kill zombies in 10 years tops, with their technologies and smart brains. They'll still be able to destroy zombies even without the antidote. It's only a matter of time. Lin Kiao kept talking about the possibilities in the future. Lin Kiao quietly listened to her, his eyes glowing with a dim light. He knew that all she said was true, based on the current situation. Zombies had been developing way slower than humans. Even though the population of humans was growing slowly, they had created weapons. The weapons were one of the most important inventions of human beings. In ten years, newborn human beings would still be too young to fight. However, the weapons could not be ignored. Let's take a step back. In fact, you of all are facing the biggest crisis now, because you have already been discovered. Your blood is able to deliver special effects. So, you are already a target. Lin Kiao looked at him. As he blinked, she continued. Lin Kiao looked at her expressionlessly. Actually, there are other special zombies like us. Their sanity and humanity remained after they turned into zombies. We don't make a large group, but we are different. Man-eating zombies should die. But why should the ones like us be destroyed along with them? We never ate humans and never took the initiative to attack them. One purpose of the base that I build is to gather all the zombies who still have humanity, and protect them. They don't deserve death. They have become zombies, but with human hearts, they are only human beings surviving in a special way Lin Kiao started brainwashing Lin Kiao. At last, she made Lin Kiao feel that if he refused to join her base, he would die for sure. What do you think? Have you made a decision yet? All right. I'm not asking you to join us right now, but you need to stay with me for now at least. Oh, what about your name? Do you still remember your name? Lin Kiao finished a long speech, then finally asked Lin Kiao his name. Her speech was so long that after hearing it, Xi Dong and Lu Dani who were standing by the door almost couldn't help but roll their eyes. Lin Kiao too wanted to roll his eyes. However, he didn't do that but picked up the clipboard and wrote down two words, Lin Kiu. Mr. Lin, nice to meet you. My family name is Lu, as I've told you before. Over there, the man on the left is my brother, Lu Tanyi, and the man on the right is Xi Dong. Lin Kiao glanced at the clipboard, then greeted him smilingly. After that, she introduced the two by the door. Hearing Lin Kiao introduce them, Xi Dong and Lu Tanyi both turned their heads around, one expressionlessly and the other with a smile, as they both nodded at Lin Kiu. All right, now that you're settled, I still need to get a little of the antidote. I heard that you need to burn it so that it can deliver its effect. And, it seems to be effective only on the ordinary zombies. I wonder if can hurt high-leveled zombies too. While speaking, Lin Kiao stood up, preparing to flash out of the base. But before leaving, she paused to think for a second. Then turned and said to Lin Q, Oh, I'll get you a room to rest. You can go out as well, if you want to take a walk around here. Then, she turned and yelled at Lutani, Lutani, get in, get in. Find him a spare room. Having finished talking, she disappeared right away. Lutani walked over with a weird look on his face. Before, every time Lutani U called his name, her tone of speaking was either cold or sarcastic. Just now, she called him in such a normal way, which made him feel very strange. But still, he walked over to the stairs and then raised a hand to politely signal for Lin Kiu to go upstairs. Lin Kiu understood that he needed to stay there for a while. So, he stood up and followed behind Lutani. Lutani brought up to the second floor and found him a spare room, then went back down. Before long, he returned to the room with some clothes and put them on the chair in the room then turned and left again. Lin Kiwi walked to the chair and saw a note upon the clothes, we have water in the bathroom. You can take a shower if you want. There was only one bathroom on the second floor. While coming up, 
Lin Kui had looked around and memorized the location of the bathroom. He lowered his head to look at himself. He was wearing a pair of pants, with his upper body bared. He picked up the clothes and headed toward the bathroom. On the outside, Si Kongjin boosted his sensations as much as possible, but still failed to find even a trace of the zombie. Wai He Chao found nothing either. They were in the woods. Yet not even Wai He Chao could detect a thing. Did that zombie hide in a space? Space. Si Kong Jin suddenly thought of that possibility, but then told himself that that was impossible. If the zombie had a space, why didn't it enter the space earlier? Why did it wait until all the other base leaders were on the scene? That couldn't be possible. If the zombie had a space, it would have disappeared long ago. It would never wait until now. Was it taken by a space possessor? However, to put a level 7 base into his or her space, that space possessor had to be at level 7 or above. As far as he knew, no base had a space possessor above level 7. Or had that space possessor been hiding as a secret weapon? He turned and glanced where the other base leaders had gathered, his eyes showing a fierce look. Those people must have been laughing at him. Si Kong Jin had no idea that an invisible figure had just brushed across him and moved toward those base leaders. Neither did those base leader notice that Lin Giao had moved past them and headed toward somewhere in the base. Before long, Hu Guozhong, who was a deputy chief under Si Kong Jin's command, received a report from his subordinate, saying that the last member of the squad, which was responsible for moving the zombie, had gone missing. Chapter 630 The Guess About the Apocalypse What? Didn't I tell you to guard him well? How could you let him run? Hugi was Hung's. No, he didn't run. He he disappeared. There was no trace of trying to break out. The man stuttered. What did you say? Hugi was Hung paused slightly, then asked with a frown. What happened? Make it clear. The guards by the door never left. The air vent and the windows weren't opened either. Some people brought food to them, but didn't see them from the outside. They waited for half an hour, but he still didn't pass out his bowl. They went in and then found that he was gone. The squad leader who was making the report described what happened, sweat oozing out of his nose tip. Not even a trace was left in the room. Is he able to go through walls? Go and find them. Hugi Wasong didn't believe a word he said. He yelled at the squad leader angrily, then ordered his people to search through the entire base for that man. In Lin Giao's space, a man was tied up with the vine that Viney had left and thrown to the living room. Xi Dong and Lu Dani stood by a couch as they curiously looked at him. Who are you guys? The man wasn't panicking even though he was suddenly dragged into a strange place. Instead, he coldly observed Lin Kiao and the other two. Lin Kiao was sitting on the couch, leaning against the back with her arms crossed before her chest. She was quietly looking at the man without answering his question. The man moved his shoulders. The vine wrapped him tighter and tighter, and his power seemed to have been disabled. He didn't know what the pretty lady had done to him. As she stayed silent, the man stopped talking as well. He knew that the more he talked, the more mistakes he might make. Right at that moment, a head was suddenly stuck out from behind the door. A purely dark pair of eyes were fixed on the man in the living room with curiosity. The man didn't notice it, but Lin Kiao and the other two did. As Lin Kiao looked that way, the owner of those eyes immediately shrank and disappeared by the door. Except for that smart zombie who was somehow addicted to eating bugs. No one else had the courage to approach the building without her permission. Lutani looked that way, feeling that the smart zombie was becoming bolder and bolder. Xi Dong quickly glanced at the door. Instead of paying attention to the zombie out there, he stared at the man that Lin Giao brought back. That man possessed a level 5 superpower. However, his energy had been suppressed by the space. He was wearing a military suit. Clearly, he was a soldier. Lin Giao stood up and said to Xi Dong. Tie him on a chair. Don't let him out. Then, she turned and left. Xi Dong immediately walked to the man on the ground. As Lin Kiao disappeared suddenly, the man realized where he was. Lin Kiao exited the base and used her sensations to find that Si Kong Jin was still in that woods, searching for Lin Qiu, while the others were still gathering by the farmland. She immediately moved toward those people. Half an hour later, as Si Kong Jin still found nothing, the other base leaders planned to leave. The sour-faced Si Kong Jin kept searching in the farmland. However, in a couple of hours, 
he had no choice but to give up, he really couldn't find anything, and only returned with a dark face. Wu Cheng Ayu and the others didn't go straight back to their own rooms, but stayed in the lobby on the first floor, having tea. To avoid arousing suspicion, none of them returned to their rooms. Ah, the source of the main material of the antidote has run away. Will they be able to make any more of that antidote? Lan Lu looked at the others and started talking lazily. Sitting in front of him, Wu Cheng Ayu said, in fact, instead of the anti-zombie drug, I think we should better develop the drug that can allow us to be immune to the zombie virus. In that way, we'd be able to kill zombies more efficiently. Do you agree? Be immune to the zombie virus? We don't even know how the virus was created. How are we supposed to develop the antibody? Lu Xiaofing said scornfully, I think what Chief Wu said is doable. If we can't develop a drug to kill all zombies, we might as well start from ourselves. As for how the virus was created my base has been trying to find out the answer to that question. We haven't found the source of the virus yet. The day before the apocalypse, the crust moved intensely. It happened in just a moment though, like an earthquake. I wonder if you guys noticed that. Lan Lu thought for a moment and then said, Oh. I remember that. It was in September, and I was working late that night. About three or four in the morning, I did feel a quake. Also, the air seemed to curdle suddenly at that time. I passed out directly. When I woke up, it was the next norming. Lee Zengai from Sky Firebase quickly responded. Everyone knows about that, but only if you had experienced it. Most people were in sleep back then. Not even the earthquake can wake them up easily. Besides, the quake only lasted for a second, for sure, not many people noticed it. The air stopped flowing, so many people passed out in their sleep, which was weird. Lan Lu nodded and paused to think for a moment, then continued, I've studied in it. I guess the earth crust had turned at that time and released some kind of gas from the underground. The gas met the air and then caused the air to stop flowing. That's why you felt that the air curdled. Afterward, that gas merged with the air and generated the zombie virus. After saying that, he raised his head and emphasized, but of course, this is only a guess of mine. After all, I haven't found any trace of that gas yet. That makes sense actually. So, the earth turned on the inside and caused an earthquake, then made a fart and killed most of the human beings. Wu Cheng Ayu said smilingly, why was it so fart? I think the earth is upgrading, so it decided to get rid of human beings. After all, we've been doing no good but damaging the environment. The earth was just trying to make itself comfortable. Lu Xiaofing smiled and said, I think that what Chief Lance said is highly possible. Perhaps, we can do some research about that. We might really have some discoveries. Bao Chengzi, the leader of Mongols base, said seriously. Lan Lu spread his hands and said, I have studied in it. The study is going nowhere though. That's why I said that it was only a guess. I have nothing to prove it. Chapter 631 The day the apocalypse came. Lin Giao was quietly listening to their conversation. The day the apocalypse came, she was lying on her bed, having a fever. Next morning, she woke up to find the air pressure strangely high. That made her feel weird, as if she couldn't breathe smoothly. At first, she thought it was because of her illness. She weakly got up from the bed and drank a glass of water. Then, she suddenly heard screams from downstairs. Hearing the screams, she felt that things weren't right. She hurriedly dropped the glass, walked to the window, and looked down. There, she saw some of her army friends running out of the building in panic. Following behind them was a strange man. He was walking in a very strange way with homolateral steps. He moved extra slowly and paused after every step. His head was weirdly tilted. Due to the long distance, Lin Kiao couldn't see his face and look. She saw a soldier who wasn't properly dressed run past him, and then he suddenly turned and pounced on that soldier. He swiftly pressed that soldier to the ground then lowered his head to bite him. Lin Giao was shocked at that time. Before she could figure out what was happening, a second scream was heard. Within a blink, she saw more weird people shambling out of the building. She still remembered that first soldier's scream. Back then, she automatically rushed to her closet and took her rifle out. She then quickly loaded and fired a shot at that weird man's head. She was in a special position in the army, so she had live weapons. After being shot, 
that man stopped moving and lay on the ground, the soldier who was attacked by him became motionless as well. Before long, disordered gunshots, alarms, screams, and yells were heard from the entire dormitory area. Lin Giao instantly forgot about her fever. She leaned against the window and carefully observed those shambling people. They were all moving very slowly with homolateral steps. However, when panicking people ran past, those strange people would suddenly pounce on them and bite them like starving beasts. All the people who were pressed down to the ground by those weird ones ended up being covered in blood. Some had their throats bitten through and stopped struggling shortly. After a short observation, Lin Giao differentiated those shambling people from the normal ones. Unlike the first weird guy she saw, the ones who came out of the building later were all covered in blood. Some even had their heads smashed yet they still attacked other people swiftly. As Lin Kiao prepared to fire the second shot, the door behind her was suddenly bumped open. Then, a man in a military t-shirt staggered into her room. His face was covered in blood, eyes rolling up, and mouth stained by blood as well. She recognized that face, but at that very moment, it seemed so strange to her. After breaking down the door, the man paused slightly then lunged at Lin Kiao like those weird people downstairs. Lin Kiao turned and swung her gun over while firing at that strange man. The bullet hit him in the chest, but only managed to make him pause briefly. After that, he turned around and charged at Lin Kiao again, as if he wasn't hurt at all. It was already too late for Lin Kiao to fire another shot. She automatically turned the rifle around and smacked the man's head with the gun stuck. Next, she rolled to the bedside took out her pistol, and fired at his head to stop him before he jumped onto her. That night, the whole world had changed. After that night, zombies were everywhere. They attacked and bit every human they saw, and the ones who were bitten became zombies not long afterward. The apocalypse had arrived. What exactly is going on with that zombie? Wu Cheng Iu changed the topic. Will it gather a giant group of zombies to attack Huexia base when it runs out? It's a zombie dominator. It should be very smart. It'll surely bear a grudge. Ha ha. I think Huexia base people need to be more careful when they get out of the base again. Lu Xiuofing laughed and agreed. That's true. The zombie was locked up for so long, and they were taking its blood all the time. It clearly won't be friendly to Huexia base. Lan Lu rested his chin on his palm and nodded. It has killed quite some people this morning. Earlier on when they followed Si Kong Chen to the farm area, they sensed the scent of blood all the way. Hearing that, Lin Kiao realized that she hadn't asked Lin Qiu about what he wanted to do yet. She wondered if he would want revenge. She thought for a moment, then flashed into her space. Where is he? Lin Kiao asked Xi Dong, who was in the living room alone. The latter pointed upstairs in response. Please tell him to come down, Lin Giao said to Xi Dong, then turned and walked out of the building while he went upstairs. Lin Giao walked out and saw Lutani squatting in the seedling field, weeding. That smart zombie was squatting by his side, seemingly doing the same thing. Slap. Once the zombie reached out, Lutani slapped on his hand and stopped him because he was not reaching to the weed. He was trying to pull out a seedling. Lutani wasn't able to talk, neither did he like to yell at the zombie with his weird voice. So, he gave the zombie a glare. Roar. The smart zombie bared his teeth toward Lutani, then started ignoring him. Instead, he turned and reached out his hand again. Slap. Lutani slapped on his hand again. The zombie tried again and again. Lutani slapped and slapped. The zombie was having fun. But Lin Giao clearly sensed that Lutani was getting angrier and angrier. Those two are getting along pretty well. Apostrophe. Lin Kiao glanced at the seedling field and found the seedlings growing healthily. She then turned to the other side. Lutani was already preparing the soil in that area, so he could transplant those seedlings there. I'll upgrade him when he has transplanted the seedlings. His mindset has already stabilized, so it's time for him to upgrade she thought. While thinking, she heard footsteps from behind her. She quickly turned and saw Lin Kiwi following Xi Dong downstairs. He had changed into new clothing, and his hair was still moist. Before leaving, do you have anything to do to Huexi Air Base? She asked him while walking toward the couch area. Hearing her words, Lin Kiwi paused briefly, 
then had a cold light flash across his eyes. What do you want to do? I can help you on one condition, you are not allowed to hurt defenseless people, Lin Kiao looked at him and said. Lin Kiao gave her a glance and then nodded. He never took an initiative to hurt humans. How could he possibly hurt defenseless people? Back when he ran into the farmland of Huexia base, he had already killed quite some soldiers who were chasing him. There were a few people that he did not want to forgive. However, before he followed their scents to where they were, he was stopped by an army. On hearing what Lin Kiao said now, he was tempted. Chapter 632, If I were you, I wouldn't let those researchers get away with it if I were you, Lin Kiao said with a smile, as if she could read Lin Kiu's mind. Lin Kiu had just sat down, hearing her words, he looked at her with surprise. The look in his eyes changed slightly. It seems that you do have that kind of plan. I'll send you out when it gets dark. Lin Kiao was still wearing that smile on her lips corners. Lin Kiu looked at her without disagreeing. That was exactly what he wanted. That night, Lin Kiao sneakily brought Lin Qiu out of her space on top of a building. The latter took off his shirt and his body transformed quickly. Within a blink, he became a large, fluffy beast, then flashed across the darkness of night. Lin Kiao turned and headed toward a flat that she had been in before. Leng Xuan Tong had been restless all these days. On one hand, he was thinking about that mysterious woman, on the other hand, he thought about that zombie which had run away from the institute. Earlier on when he heard that the zombie wasn't caught, he instantly had a sense of crisis. He knew that that zombie was almost as smart as human beings, and that zombies could all bear grudges. He worried that the zombie might find him through his scent. After all, he and his colleagues had spent a lot of time with it. They locked it up, took its blood, and gave it drugs. It would surely hate them and would want revenge. That was why Leng Xuantong had been in a panic these days. Don't worry, he won't come for you. Suddenly, a voice was heard in Leng Xuantong's quiet room. The latter shivered and sprung up from the couch, then noticed the tall and slim figure near the window. You. After recognizing Lin Kiao, Leng Xuantong unwittingly sighed with relief. But soon, he thought of what she had just said, with a frown. He asked, is he still in their base? Lin Kiao shrugged as she walked straight to the other couch and sat down. She put her foot on the tea table, her arms crossed before her chest, leaning against the back of the couch. Then, she slightly raised her head to look at him while saying, Em, yeah, he's in the base. And, I don't think your colleagues can survive tonight. I came here to wait for him. Leng Xuantong had a feeling that she was not lying. But, why was she helping him? Did she really intend to recruit him to her own base? Earlier on, Lin Kiao had invited him to her base, but he didn't take that seriously. He only felt that she would show up again. Unexpectedly, earlier that day, he heard that the zombie was stolen. He was surprised, and wondered if it was her who stole it. Oh, I didn't steal that zombie. That was a plan of Huexia base. I saw them in my way, and conveniently picked him up. Lin Kiao read Leng Xuantong's mind. She did not want to take the blame. She did want to steal the zombie. However, someone else did it first, so things had become different. Wow what do you mean? Leng Xuantong paused briefly, then looked at her and asked with confusion. On one hand, Si Kong Jin wanted to move the zombie to somewhere harder to find, and on the other hand, he needed a reason to raise the price of the batch of antidote which you have now. So. He came up with this plan. In this way, he could tell the people from the other bases that the source of the most important raw material for the antidote was gone, so there would be no second batch of the antidote. That could also make those people suspect each other. After all, all of them are interested in the zombie. Everybody knows it clearly. They just didn't write that on their faces, Lin Kiao explained in a bland tone. After a short pause, she continued. Si Kong Jin is never willing to suffer a loss. How would he possibly generously share the small amount of antidote with the others? There must be a scheme. Leng Xuantong was a little stunned. He didn't expect to know such a shocking truth. He was clearly aware that knowing too much would do him no good. If he knew what he shouldn't be knowing, he would really not be able to stay in the base. Are you? Are you talking the truth? Why would I believe you? Leng Xuantong forced himself to calm down telling himself that the woman was lying. If that were true, 
Anyone who knew about that would be erased by Hwaxia base in the future. Believe it or not, I've told you all the secrets I know anyway. You can certainly choose not to believe me. But, there is one thing that you really should believe. Their zombie will show up here soon. Lin Kiao lazily sat on the couch. On the other side of the base, a dark figure swiftly climbed onto the roof, then crawled down through the window frames and balconies. Soon, it landed on a balcony in the building. Lin Kiwi stood by the locked balcony door and abruptly reached out a claw. Crack. His claw went straight through the wooden door. After that, he crooked a finger and easily opened the lock. He pushed the door open and quietly walked in, then stood still in the dark living room, because he had heard some noises from the bedroom. The owner of the flat was one of the researchers in the Antidote project. He was falling asleep when he heard the noise from the balcony. Earlier today, he went to the institute and heard that the zombie was stolen last night, and that it showed up in the morning, even running about in the base. Recalling that, he immediately woke up and alarmedly moved to the door, but didn't open it right away. It was all quiet out there. He waited for a couple of minutes, but nothing could be heard. He thought that he was mishearing, but didn't dare to relax his vigilance. A short while later, he couldn't help but gently open the bedroom door. He looked outside and found the living room completely dark. He couldn't see a thing. He turned to look at the balcony door. Right at that moment, a hand reached in sideways through the small space between the door and the frame, grasping his throat. A. Air him the fright, great pain from his throat and sudden suffocation made him struggle. But in the next second, the hand from the darkness twisted with force and generated a muffled, slight crack. Following that noise, the researcher died, with broken neck bones, suffocation, and exploded veins. After that, the dark figure flashed out from the balcony and disappeared again. On the other side, Leng Xuantong was uneasily pacing in his living room, glancing at the woman who was sitting leisurely on his couch. At last, he couldn't help but stop and ask her a question. When will it be here? Lin Kiao understood that he was asking when Lin Kiwi would come to his place. She narrowed her eyes and said, there are over 10 people in your team, and adding about 20 special security people who helped you to keep him under control, he has nearly 40 targets. I think he will be here in 3 hours. Chapter 633 destroy the entire research team. Three hours later, as Leng Xuantong became more and more fretful, a dark figure quietly flashed into his balcony. Look, he's here. Lin Kiao turned that way and said. Leng Xuantong gave a start and quickly raised his head to look at her, then followed her eyes and turned to the balcony. Seeing what was on the balcony, his entire body went frozen. A dark figure was standing there, it had a pair of triangular ears and a thick, wagging tail behind it. What scared him even more was that pair of beast eyes which were glowing with a cold light in the darkness. Don't be nervous, Lin Giao put down her legs and stood up, then walked to the balcony and opened the door. That figure quickly came in. His entire body was covered in fur, and gave out a scent of blood. His face had turned a little round, also covered in hair, looking exactly like the face of a panther. After coming in, the panther slightly flattened his ears and fixed his cold beast eyes on Leng Xuantong. Leng Xuantong's entire body became stiff. He couldn't even control his limbs or breathe smoothly. After coming into the flat, Lin Kui stared at Leng Xuantong with an intention of killing. However, he didn't make any move. He knew that Lin Kiao was here for a reason. Seeing her, he realized that he might not be able to kill that human. Oi! This man is helpful. You can't kill him. Besides, he was nice to you back in the institute. If you want to punish him, you can keep an eye on him when he works for me. Lin Kiao walked over smilingly and blocked his eyes which were fixed on Leng Xuantong and contained a fierce murderous intention. Lin Kiao blinked, then turned his eyes away. He gave Lin Kiao a glance, then his fur started fading. After that, he untied his shirt from his waist and put it on. Leng Xuantong's heart nearly exploded when he was locked up by Lin Kiwi's intention of killing. As Lin Kiao walked over, the zombie turned his eyes away and then disarmed himself. He even put on a shirt by himself. The frightened Leng Xuantong didn't manage to react on seeing the zombie dominator put on a shirt in front of him. Eh? I think it's not going to attack me anymore. But, 
why, and, how come he knows how to put on the shirt, eh this is not right, I think he just listened to that woman, wait, wait, what on earth is going on, he was shocked at first, and then confused, as he finally figured out something, he was stunned again, he abruptly turned to Lin Kiao, then at the man like zombie who had put the shirt on, after that, he turned back to Lin Kiao with disbelief, after hearing what that woman said, the zombie immediately disarmed himself, why did that happen, why did a zombie dominate a listen to a human, Lin Kiao got dressed, then crossed his arms before his chest and walked to the window, leaning against the window frame, he was watching the complicated expression on the researcher's face with great interest, Lin Kiao was right, he remembered Leng Xuantong's scent, and knew that he was one of those researchers in the institute, that man always looked at him quietly without saying anything or coming too close to him, for Lin Kiao who was seeing as a laboratory rat, what Leng Xuantong did was not harmful, also, he had clearly sensed that among the group of researchers, that man wasn't really interested in him, when the others forced him to hurt and eat human beings, he walked away, that was why he saved Leng Xuantong to the last, however, when he saw Lin Kiao, he realized that he was not going to kill him, Lin Kiao wanted him to work for her, and Lin Kiao didn't plan to disagree, see, this is why I said that you should really do your experiment in my place, you need to know that not all zombies deserve death, I know that you love your family deeply, so you don't want to abandon them, even though they have become zombies, for that exact reason, I am inviting you to my base, at the very least, I won't discriminate you, Lin Kiao said to Leng Xuantong with a smile, why, why are you helping me? Leng Xuantong looked at Lin Kiao with both surprise and doubt, then at Lin Kiao who was quietly leaning against the window frame, because my base needs scientific talent. Lin Kiao answered his question smilingly, then turned to say to Lin Kiao, all right, we should go, I guess the base is going to get chaotic once the sun rises, then, she waved at Leng Xuantong and continued, see ya, I'll give you one more night to think about it, I'll come to visit again tomorrow, having finished talking, she and Lin Kiao walked to the balcony together, then disappeared into the darkness, who the hell is that woman? Leng Xuantong gawked at the balcony, next day, the entire base was stirred again, because almost the entire research team was murdered, even the security people were killed, everyone who had worked with the zombie directly or indirectly was dead, they either had their hearts penetrated, had a half of their heads smashed, or had their throats broken, Leng Xuantong was seriously frightened when he heard the news, the other researchers had all died, yet he alone was still alive, he would be in huge trouble, they might not suspect him to be the murderer, but still, him being alive was way too suspicious, therefore, before the soldiers could find him, he hid into his secret lab in haste, bang, in the conference room, see Kong Jin slapped on the desk with a grim face, he didn't scold anyone because he was aware as a base leader that scolding would be useless under the current situation, over 10 researchers were murdered, every single one of those special scientific talents was under secret protection, because the base valued them very much, in spite of that, they were still murdered, not even a slight noise was caused when they died, that was, of course, not something that an ordinary being could do, their secret bodyguards shouldn't take the blame, clearly, the murderer was extra powerful, go and find out who did it, if you can't find the murderer, you should kill yourselves, Hong Yiji, a member of the board, yelled at his subordinates by the door, seven board members were sitting around the table, with Si Kong Chen in the seat of the host, everyone was wearing a depressed look while a tense atmosphere was spreading in the living room, even the group of deputy chiefs who were standing behind the board members and the chief stayed absolutely silent, they didn't even dare to breathe loudly, Hong Yiji was yelling at the squad leader by the door, but in fact, he was giving his order to those deputy chiefs, yes, sir, Behind him, Su Hu Ali, who was responsible for the security, responded immediately, then quickly left the conference room to check out the scene with his subordinates. Chapter 634, you'll be handling this one. Did the zombie kill them all? Wu Cheng Ayu was surprised too when he heard the news in his room. I think so, 
because their heads were clearly clawed off by some kind of fierce beast. Some of their chests were punctured, and the holes were just big enough to let a hand through. Zombies have super strength. They can easily snap human necks. Xiao Liking nodded and said. Claw marks were found from those dead bodies. According to the zombies file, it had animal power and could transform into an animal. Therefore, it was reasonable for it to have claws. Beast claws were similar to the claws of high-leveled zombies anyway. It makes sense. The zombie was locked up like a lab rat for such a long time. It must have hated those people. Quexia base has lost an elite research team. I guess Si Kong Jin will be so angry that he might even vomit blood. He he Wu Cheng I Wu started laughing. Could it be her? No one else can kill people without leaving a trace like her, right? Xiao Liking thought for a moment and then said, Wu Cheng I Wu knew whom he was talking about. He paused briefly to think, then responded, I think she'd only stand aside and watch. After all, it was the zombie's business. If she wanted to win the zombie to her side, she would at least let the zombie kill those people by himself. You have to know that zombies are possessive. Their enemies are like praise to them, that no one else can touch. Seems like you know zombies so well Xiao Liking glanced at him. Wu Cheng I Wu gave him a glance and responded, I don't, but she definitely knows zombies better than anyone else. Xiao Liking paused slightly and then understood his meaning. He was right. She was a zombie herself. Who else could know zombies better than she did? But, their zombie from the lab is at level 8 as well. It's at the same level as her. Can she really turn it into a follower of hers? Xiao Liking asked with curiosity. I think she wouldn't have done it unless she was confident enough. Besides, as you know, she's no longer the same as before. Based on what she has done, she must have considered thoroughly before taking action. I'm only wondering how she would react when Huexia Base found out that it was her who stole the zombie. Thinking about Lin Kiao's faint yet confident smile, Wu Cheng I Wu gave a bigger smile. Look at your silly smiling face. Xiao Liking glanced at Wu Cheng I Wu and said in his head, What? I didn't steal that guy. Suddenly, a familiar voice was heard in the room. A. Hey. Wu Cheng Ayu and Xiao Liking both gave a start, then quickly turned to where the voice came from. Lin Giao spread her hands and walked over, then sat down on an armchair near Wu Cheng Ayu as if it were her own room. In fact, Si Kong Jin started it himself, not me. I just hijacked them in the middle of their plan. Once she finished talking, a small figure rushed out of the bedroom and jumped to Lin Giao's thighs like a little bear. E -e -aya, little one. Did you miss me? Lin Giao scooped up Wu Yuling who was wrapped in a lot of clothes and asked while laughing happily. Wu Yuling was so happy that she gave a big grin and nodded heavily. Her daddy really didn't lie to her. She had truly seen her zombie mummy in this place. The smile on Lin Giao's face froze for a second. Then, she pretended not to read the little girl's mind, but raised her head and continued talking to Wu Cheng Ayu. See Kong Jin had a perfect plan. He felt that the zombie wasn't hidden well enough, so he planned to move it to somewhere else. Meanwhile, he also planned to cover for himself by framing the others. I've never seen such a shameless person. Hearing her, Wu Cheng Ayu and Xiao Liking glanced at each other with surprise, then said in one voice, he did it himself. Lin Giao dropped the little one and stood up, walking before the tea table. Then, she flashed into her space and soon came out with a man. I left one of those who did the job and took care of the rest. You'll be handling this one. Having finished talking, she sat back into the armchair and picked the little one up. Wu Cheng I Wu stayed composed when Lin Kiao threw out a man in a military suit. The smile on his face had faded though. Xiao Liking was confused. What what do you mean? Ask your boss. He knows what I mean. Lin Giao pouted to point at Wu Cheng I Wu with her lips. Xiao Liking turned to Wu Cheng I Wu with confusion. Meanwhile, Wu Cheng I Wu was looking at the man who was thrown to the ground without any expression. He didn't know what Lin Giao had done to that man, but he was disabled from both moving and talking. He didn't pass out, but had his head lowered, not looking at anyone. Lin Giao didn't want him to kill himself, so she disjointed his jaw, disabled his superpower and also gave him a little anesthetic. What did you do to him? Wu Cheng I Wu spent a short while observing the man, then turned and asked Lin Giao with a smile. I didn't want him to kill himself, 
Lin Qiao shrugged. Why, why are you giving him to us? Xiao Liking still didn't understand what she wanted, because she doesn't plan to attend the grand meeting to purchase the antidote, in other words, she isn't going to show her face, so she can't just bring this man to the others to accuse Si Kong Jin of what he has done, Wu Cheng Iu said to Xiao Liking. Xiao Liking looked at Lin Qiao with surprise and saw that she was smiling as well. Somehow, he felt that Lin Qiao and Wu Cheng Iu were smiling the same kind of smile. He's right, I'm so poor. How can I possibly afford to buy that antidote? At the very most, I'll borrow it from someone. Lin Qiao laughed, then lowered her head to ask Wu Yuling, right, little one, am I right? Wu Yuling had no idea what were they talking about. However, when Lin Qiao asked her if she was right, she nodded instinctively in her heart. Her zombie mummy was right about everything, just like her dad. Looking at her red little cheeks and innocent, sparkling eyes, Lin Giao's heart was even about to melt. She couldn't help but rub the little girl's head. You emptied two granaries of Earth Dragon Base just a few days ago. How can you shamelessly call yourself poor? Hearing Lin Giao's words, Xiao Liking stared at her in a very weird way. Then, he heard her mention borrowing. Borrow? From whom? he asked. Someone Lin Qiao answered his question with a smile. Xiao Liking didn't know what to say. She had changed so, so much. Seeing her smile, he clearly knew that some people were going to suffer. He immediately recalled what Earth Dragon Base had been through not long ago, and the few important people who had gone missing. Xiao Liking suddenly realized that Hidden Cloud City Base had had a pretty rich harvest, and that was not right. Reasonably speaking, if she were targeting the Earth Dragon base, the reason must be what happened to Hades base. In that case, Skyfire base and Hidden Cloud City base, which had helped Earth Dragon base, couldn't possibly only lose a chief each. Chapter 635, No One Wants to Suffer a Loss. So, why us? Xiao Liking still didn't understand, because we're friends. Friends do things for each other. Lin Qiao replied smilingly, Xiao Liking didn't know what to say. He glanced at Wu Cheng Iu and wanted to say something, but didn't. If he guessed right, a deputy chief from their base was wasted by her. How could she now ask his chief for a favor? But of course, he didn't dare to say anything, as he had no evidence. He was only wondering how his chief would react. Except for your chief, I don't know anyone else around here. So. I figured it's more appropriate for your chief to do the job. Lin Qiao glanced at Wu Cheng Iu, then lowered her head to look at Wu Yuling. The girl put her hands on her lower belly, but didn't feel Vine Li's response. At that moment, she was feeling confused. She's sleeping, so she can't talk to you. Lin Qiao held the girl's hands and said to her in her head. Wu Yuling slightly raised her head to look at Lin Qiao as a trace of disappointment flashed across her eyes. However, she stayed silent. Good girl. Lin Giao smilingly rubbed her head. Wu Yuling gave a big smile. The slight disappointment immediately faded from her heart. What will I get if I do what you said? Wu Cheng Iu smiled as well as he looked at Lin Giao cunningly. Since she had brought the man here, their zombie must be in her place. If he brought the man to the others, those people would certainly ask him where their zombie was. Therefore, he still needed to figure out a way to cover for her. I'll give you 30% of the antidote that I borrow, Lin Giao said with a faint smile. She wasn't narrowing her eyes, but she turned to Wu Cheng Iu also with a cunning look. 30%? Isn't that too low? At least, we should each get half. You've got the best part already, haven't you? Wu Cheng Iu shook his head, replied with discontent. What do you mean? They brought the zombie right to me. That has nothing to do with you. Right? Besides, I am now offering you a chance to clear your own name. That's already good enough. Yet now, you're trying to take advantage of me. Lin Kiao rolled her eyes and rejected him without thinking. 50%, or you can take this man away. Wu Cheng Iu looked at her smilingly. Clearly, he didn't want to compromise. Lin Kiao blinked, her lip corners twitching slightly. That man really wouldn't let himself fall in any disadvantage. 35%. 50%, 40%, 50%, I said 50, 40, don't go too far, well, all right, 45 then, Lin Kiao's eye corners twitched after her lip corners, she raised her eyebrows, 
trying very hard to stop herself from turning and walking away. What was the difference between 45% and 50%? Well, there was a difference between 45 and 50, but Lin Kiao couldn't see it. Let's go, little one. Come and live with me for a couple of days. The angry Lin Kiao suddenly scooped Wu Yuling up and stood up from the couch. Before the two could react, she disappeared from the room. Wu Chengayu and Xiao Liking were left stunned. Xiao Liking glanced at Wu Chengayu's frozen smiling face, then at the couch where Lin Kiao was sitting. Ah, neither of them are willing to suffer any loss. But boss, wasn't that your future wife? You can't act this way, or you'll stay single. With that thought. Xiao Liking glanced at Wu Chengayu with pity, then turned to the man who was lying on the ground. So did she just agree to give us 45%? Xiao Liking asked. She didn't reject at the end, did she? Wu Chengayu narrowed his eyes in a smile again. But, she took Ling Ling away. Xiao Liking couldn't help but point that out. Ahem Wu Chengayu's lip corners twitched. And I think Ling Ling was happy to go with her. Xiao Liking added, All right, send this man to see Kongjin and also spread the news. Tell the others that this man is from Huexia base, and for some reason, he was trying to move the zombie, and that the zombie ran away during the action. Wu Chengayu stopped smilingly and gave an order. Yes, sir. Xiao Liking responded immediately with a serious face. Go, go. Wu Chengayu waved at him as if he was trying to send away a fly. Xiao Liking rolled his eyes, then turned and left. Once he left, Wu Chengayu immediately wore a disappointed face. That awful female zombie took away his precious little girl again. She didn't even agree to give him 45% of the antidote. He could even see her giving him only 40% of the antidote, using the fact that she didn't say yes as an excuse. That woman wouldn't suffer any losses. He was clearly aware of that. After entering her space, Lin Giao sat down on the couch and put the little girl on her knees, then said to Xi Dong. Xidong, go and ask Latani to pick some strawberries for us. Xidong and Lin Kui were squatting side by side by the door, watching Lutani and that smart zombie glare at each other. They simultaneously turned around when they sensed Lin Kiao's vibe and someone else's scent. Xidong knew Wu Yuling. Hearing what Lin Kiao said, he quickly stood up and walked out. Unlike him, Lin Kui looked at Wu Yuling with curiosity, his eyes glowing. Lin Kiao noticed his reaction said, oh you like kids. Lin Kiwi stood up and walked into the room. He looked at Wu Yuling with shining eyes, and couldn't help but curve his lips in a smile. Seeing a dark-eyed, scar-faced strange zombie walk in, Wu Yuling was terribly frightened. She hurriedly turned and held Lin Kiao tightly, burying her face in her neck. Wu Yuling's intense reaction made Lin Kiwi pause for a second. He automatically stopped moving and wore a disappointed face. Then, he sighed and turned around to move back to the door. But, he still glanced at Wu Yuling from time to time. He knew that his face would frighten kids, but he couldn't do anything about that. He couldn't hire a plastic surgeon to fix his face, could he? Don't mind. This kid is a little autistic. She's just afraid of strangers. She won't be like this when she sees you more often. Seeing the disappointed look on his face, Lin Kiao comforted him. Lin Kiwi blinked and nodded. Before long, Lu Tani came in with a handful of strawberries. He walked into the kitchen and put those strawberries in a plate, then walked back out. Soon, he came in again and put the washed strawberries on the tea table before Lin Kiao along with the plate. A figure flashed across the door. Then, a head was stuck out from behind the door. The pair of purely dark eyes were fixed on the little girl who was in Lin Kiao's arms. Clearly, the smart zombie was attracted here by Wu Yuling's scent. Chapter 636, Wave After Wave Noticing that the zombie was drooling at Wu Yuling, Lu Tani couldn't help but walk over and give him a kick. Damn you, pesticide. Go away. Do not drool at the little princess. Roar. The smart zombie who had suffered a kick uttered a roar with discontentment. He didn't dare to attack Lutani, but, if the boss weren't in the building, he would have jumped on Lutani and bitten his head. Who is pesticide? What is pesticide? The zombie loved to catch and eat the bugs in the fields recently, and was also good at weeding. But of course, 
he would pull out the seedlings as well if Lutani wasn't keeping an eye on him. In Lutani's eyes, he was just like a pesticide. Lutani glared at pesticide, then went back to the kitchen and picked up a clean glass. After that, he fetched a glass of water and brought it to Lin Kiao. Lin Kiao patted Wu Yuling's back and said to her, Come on, have some water. Don't be afraid, he's not coming to you anymore. Wu Yuling moved slightly and slowly turned to glance at the door. Then, she found that no stranger was in the living room, only a few were seen on the outside. Come on, we also have strawberries. Do you want some? Lin Kiao bent over and reached to the plate then picked up a strawberry and put it before the girl's eyes to show her. Seeing the familiar strawberry, Wu Yuling took it over without thinking and made a bite. Meanwhile, she looked outside the door curiously. At that moment, a small, colorful figure darted in and uttered baby roars toward the little one, a Wu Wu. The little girl was instantly attracted by the baby tiger. Before long, the news spread out that Huixia Base had sent out a team to relocate the zombie but let the zombie run away in the end. One event succeeded another. Before people figured out who killed the research team members, the shocking news was heard. The people from the other bases were angry when they learned that, but stayed composed. After all, they had all guessed that Huexia base would certainly play some trick this time. They shared one thought. I thought some other base stole it. It now turned out that it was Si Kongjin himself. Lu Xiuofeng was wearing a sullen look while his dark and thick eyebrows were knitted together. Then, he curved his lips and said sarcastically, I think Si Kongjin is going to vomit blood once again. In another room, Lan Lu was standing by the window expressionlessly, with a hand on his chin. I guess Si Kongjin was worrying that the original location of the zombie wasn't secure enough, so he decided to move it to somewhere else, also to cause chaos to cover for himself. So. He came up with that plan. Unexpectedly, he fell into the trap that he set up for us. But, where did that zombie go? Why can't I feel him at all? I've checked. The zombie's name is Makui. He's a male, and a possessor of animal power. He can transform into a black panther, and is good at hiding, said Lei Cheng. At the same time, Li Zengai was sneering in his room. That's a loud slap on Si Kongjin's own face. I'd like to know what he'll say next. He actually tried to frame us. At that time, Lin Giao put Wu Yuling in her room. Good girl, you stay here and play. I still have some work to do. I'll come back to play with you later, okay? Lin Giao put her on the bed that she barely slept in, then squatted and looked at the girl straight in the eyes as she said. Wu Yuling paused briefly. Then nodded reluctantly. Ling Ling is the best. If you want to use the bathroom, open the door and ask the uncle by the door to take you the, okay? Lin Kiao rubbed her head. Hearing Lin Kiao say that she was the best, Wu Yu Ling became happy again. She looked at Lin Kiao, nodded with a smile. After that, Lin Kiao left her space and showed up in Huexia base. She hopped on top of the building nearby and sniffed around the air to locate Leng Xuantong. Then, she followed his scent to where he was. Soon, she found a quiet alley covered in a thick layer of snow. No one had ever cleaned the area. Upon the snow was a thin layer of ice which was melting slowly. Without looking closely, one would not find the ice on the snow. Lin Gia walked into the alley. In her invisible mode, her weight would be reduced by 10%. She intentionally made her steps gentle to avoid breaking the thin layer of ice. Nothing but walls stood on both sides of the alley and there was a wall at the end of the alley as well. Normally, people wouldn't come to this dead alley, so no one had noticed the special sewer lid at the end of the alley. Lin Gia walked to the lid and looked around. No one was coming near the alley, but the searching teams would patrol to this area from time to time. Lin Gia thought for a moment, then gently opened the lid and jumped in. As she went into the sewer, the lid was gently closed. She took a ladder down. Under the lid was a sewer indeed with a half-meter wide path near the end of the ladder. In the middle of the sewer was the sewage. Her sense of smell was too good, so the awful smell gave her a dizziness. She covered her nose and followed the narrow path downward. There was a corner at about 10 meters. She turned around the corner and found an iron door. She walked to the door and knocked on it, then waited for a second before saying, It's me. Open the door. After that, she waited quietly. In around 10 seconds, she heard some noises from behind the door. The door was opened, 
and a wave of coldness came out of it. Leng Xuantong gave her a glance with a complicated look, then turned to let her in. Lin Gia went in and saw two glass cabinets standing on one side of the small basement. Two zombies were frozen in the cabinets, one adult and one child. She walked near the cabinets and sniffed at the two zombies. The adult one was a female zombie. She seemed to have become a zombie not long ago. No hostility was detected from her even though she looked ferocious. Her eyes were closed tight. The little zombie was a boy, about eight years old. He had dark circles under his eyes, but apart from that, he looked just like a normal human child. Are these your wife and son? Lin Kiao made two steps backward as she looked at the two cabinets and asked, Yeah, Leng Xuantong closed the door and walked to the experiment table on the other side of the basement. On the table were some test tubes and all kinds of complicated tools. The entire research team had died but him. Without a doubt, he could not stay in Huexia base. Lin Kiao gave him the time to think, but in fact, he had no choice. Let them out. Without me, you won't be able to get out of Huexia base anyway. Lin Kiao turned around and looked at him as she said. Huexia base hadn't been allowing anyone to leave for now. Only after the antidote was sold and the people from the other bases left would the base be possibly unsealed. Chapter 637, What Will I Be Studying? Leng Xuantong gave her a glance with hesitation. Suddenly, he recalled that she was able to make Makui follow her words. So perhaps, she had a special ability to control zombies. He thought for a moment, then realized that he had no other choice at the moment. He opened the door of the cabinets and pressed his hands on the ice. Soon, the ice melted slowly. The ice had melted, but the two zombies didn't wake up. Lin Kiao knew that he had also given the two zombies tranquilizer to keep them quiet. You don't need to give them tranquilizer anymore. Just let them wake up and keep them, Lin Kiao said to Leng Xiu and Tong. Those two were still ordinary zombies. She wondered which level they had to reach to restore their memories. Viney wasn't in the lake anymore, so she needed to help the others with the healing now. However, she didn't know about that as clearly as Viney did. Leng Xuantong glanced at her again and nodded silently. He figured that she was able to control zombies, but would never tell him so. He packed all the necessary tools in boxes and then stood to the side. All the boxes that Lin Kiao touched disappeared. Leng Xuantong guessed that she hid a space, but couldn't tell how large that space was and what kind of space it was. He was slightly nervous when Lin Kiao disappeared together with his wife and son. However, she showed up again in just a second. Seeing that, he sighed in a slight relief. Let's go. I'll bring you in. Lin Kiao walked up to him and reached out a hand to grasp his shoulder, dragging him into the space. The two of them showed up in the living room in her space. To avoid accidents, I think you should better stay inside this building. Lin Giao sat on the couch and said to him, What do you want me to study in? Once in, Leng Xuantong observed the surrounding environment. Seeing his wife and son standing by the door against the wall, he silently sighed with relief, then turned and asked Lin Giao a question. The virus, of course. You already have quite some experiments on that, don't you? Lin Giao looked at him as she pointed at another couch and said, What's your purpose? Leng Xuantong walked over and sat down. Is she seeking a way to control the spread of the virus too? Apostrophe he wondered. Control the infectivity of the virus. Or, I want an antidote that can resist the virus invasion, she said. She couldn't only think for the zombies. Without a question, she also needed to think for human beings. Her base was built for both. If the people in her base could resist the virus invasion, their lives would be much easier. Even though she was able to control all the zombies in her base, she couldn't guarantee that no accident would happen. Leng Xuantong nodded, he had guessed right. Where will my lab be? I won't always stay in your space, will I? Leng Xuantong thought of another question. It'll surely be in the base. How can it possibly be in my space? I'll let you out when we return to the base. But, you need to stay here for a few days. Don't worry. We have food and water here. Just think it as a vacation. Lin Kiao looked at him and said. Leng Xuantong didn't say anything else but nodded. The food and water that Lin Kiao mentioned were, of course, prepared by Lu Dani. They had rice in her space, and a lot of vegetables growing in the fields. Having finished talking, 
Lin Giao stood up and went upstairs to carry Wu Yuling down. Feeling that a strange man was in the building, Wu Yuling became quiet. She only responded to Lin Kiao. The fact that Si Kong Jin tried to relocate the zombie himself had been disclosed. Knowing that, Si Kong Jin's face darkened seriously. A strong, dark vibe was radiating from his entire body. The intention of killing could be detected from his eyes from time to time, and his entire face was tightened. Have you found who spread the word? He asked through clenched teeth word by word. We didn't even need to try. He just told us frankly. It was Wu Cheng Iu from Sea City Base. We don't know where he learned about it in the first place. Han Xiao, a member of the board, spread his hands and said with a faint smile. How can he prove it? Si Kong Jin's voice sounded a little muffled, as he was trying to restrain his anger. That, we don't know yet. But, he said that the zombie has run away, and that'll be bad for the trade of the antidote. The other base leaders are not happy about it right now. Everyone, have you come up with a solution yet? Han Xiao changed the topic and continued. Si Kong Jin didn't respond, but sat on the host's seat with a sour face. He knew that his question was necessary. The word had already been spread. Even if he didn't admit it, the other bases could still use it as an excuse. Not to mention the fact that if they focused on Huexia base and dug deep, they would certainly be able to find some traces. Quakesia base people had gotten rid of all the possibly evidence they knew, but couldn't say for sure that they didn't miss any. But, how come Makui ran away? What happened? Chief, that was an elite squad you sent to do the job, right? Are you sure you didn't let Makui go on purpose? A clearly sarcastic voice was heard. Who? You can't say that. The leader of that squad was a level 6 super-powered man after all and the other members were all at level 5. The squad that our chief sent out wasn't weak at all. But, how did the zombie run away? How did he do it? Said another man. At first, he disagreed with the first man, but later on, he seemed to take his side in an indirect way. The first man was Hu Zong, a member of the board, the second man was Liu Xinan, who was also a board member. The two of them would never hide their discontentment about Si Kong Jin. Whenever they had chance, they would let out sarcastic words towards Si Kong Jin. Earlier on, I had said that we should drain Makui's blood and store it after the first batch of antidote was succeeded. We could use half of the blood to produce a larger batch of the antidote, and save the other half to develop a better antidote. What did you say at that time? Ah, you said the blood of a living zombie can preserve the energy in a better way. Now what? The energy is preserved so well that the zombie has even freed himself. Hu Zong said loudly with laughter. As he finished talking, Si Kong Jin's face turned even sourer. The others stayed silent, watching. The atmosphere in the conference room became tender and tender, yet the board members who were sitting before the conference table didn't care. Unlike them, the deputy chiefs standing by their sides didn't even dare to breathe loudly. They stayed absolutely quiet without even raising their eyes. We can't admit it. We just pass the buck again. So, whoever spread the words, we make him take the blame, Si Kong Jin said with a cold voice. But, we still haven't found that missing squad member. Could he have fallen into those people's hands? Why Hi Chow said, Chapter 638, Hot Potato. It's needless to ask. Why? I bet Wu Cheng Ayu has him. I guess he got the information from that squad member. Or, how would he spread the word so boldly? We should have killed that squad member when we found him, shouldn't we? He didn't only fail his mission, but also turned into a hidden trouble. What he knows is vital. Liu Xinan said to Si Kong Jin with a smile. Si Kong Chen gave him a bland glance but stayed silent. He wouldn't answer that kind of boring questions. The most important thing now was to find the zombie as soon as possible. Also, if the squad member was still alive, he needed to make him die. Quakesia people were thinking about how to kill the squad member, and Wu Cheng Ayu had guessed that they would try to do so. Guard him well. Quakesia base will certainly try to kill him. Wu Cheng Ai said to the people in his room smilingly, The question is who will they send? Xiao Liking frowned slightly, except for Si Kong Jin himself, who has the ability to take this man's life under our chief's watch. Mili stood by the window as she leaned against the window frame and said, Whoever it will be, they will certainly try. Wu Cheng Ai responded with a smile, In that case, 
We won't be waiting for him. Let's send this man away now. Away? Where to? The other two didn't understand. Molly asked a question confusedly, wearing no expression. To the one who has a stronger force under his command, Wu Cheng Ayu replied smilingly. Ah, you're going to send the hot potato to Green Mountain Base, right? Xiao Liking asked. Why Green Mountain Base? Mali didn't understand. Green Mountain Base leader didn't bring a lot of people. He only brought a few people, but think about their power levels, said Xiao Liking. Mali finally understood his meaning. Ah, you're right. He is with two level 7s and two level 6s, while we are. All right, he does have a stronger force than us and the others. Half an hour later, the group of Green Mountain Base people confusedly watched Wu Cheng Ayu and Xiao Liking send a man who was disabled from moving to their place. Who's this? What are you doing? Lan Lu observed the man who was tied up, disabled from both talking and moving. This is evidence. He'll be safer in your place, Wu Cheng Ayu said with a smile, then walked straight to the couch and took a seat. Those Green Mountain Base people stared at him. How impolite! said the look in their eyes. Evidence? What? Why did you send him to me? Why don't you keep him? Lan Lu said with discontentment. He had figured out something. Clearly, Wu Cheng Ayu was not there to deliver good news. He was probably trying to give him a troublesome task. He's the witness of that thing. This man is the only survivor among the squad which was sent to relocate the zombie. Once he dies, no one will be giving witness to that thing. Think about it. We'll see Kong Chen admitted easily. Wu Cheng Ayu sat down and crossed his arms before his chest. Oh, so why did you bring him to me? Lan Lu raised one eyebrow, his face saying I know what you are planning. My subordinates aren't strong enough. What if someone killed him when I wasn't paying attention to him? Wu Cheng Ayu replied. So, let him die. What does that have to do with me? Why on earth did you bring him to me? You're not expecting me to watch him for you, are you? That's not gonna happen. Lan Lu glared at Wu Cheng Ayu and said, How can he die? Are you silly? If he dies, see Kong Chen will never admit what he did, right? He was trying to let us take the blame earlier, and he even threatened us. Are you gonna pretend that it didn't happen? Wouldn't that be too good for him? How can you let that happen? Moreover, their zombie has run away. So, what if he uses that as an excuse to raise the price of the antidote? Wu Cheng Ayu said to Lan Lu. Hearing that, Lan Lu fell into silence. He knew that would happen since long ago. Now, Wu Cheng Ayu was trying to give him the hot potato, and he was not happy about it. Wu Cheng Ayu took his silence as a tacit approval. He slapped on his knees and stood up. It's a deal then, you have spirit power, so it's much easier for you to guard him than it is for me. Having finished talking, he waved a hand, then smilingly headed toward the door. Oi. Wait, I didn't say yes, damn. Lan Lu paused briefly and almost lost his temper. Wu Cheng Ayu ignored him as he walked to the door with big steps. The witness is under your guard now. He waved at Lan Lu without turning back, then walked out. Yu Lan Lu watched him disappear. Where did he find this man? One of the others who was silent the whole time asked with curiosity. Lan Lu turned and glanced at that man, then clicked his tongue and complained. That sneaky fox. He sent this hot potato to us and ran away. Should we send him back? Zheng Hao looked at Lan Lu and asked, Hey, don't bother. Haven't you found a clue of that zombie yet? How could it possibly disappear? Lan Lu shook his head and said, Number. There really is not even a trace of it. All the traces disappeared in the farm area. Even Huixia base haven't had any discoveries. That's weird. Where did the zombie go? Lan Lu frowned slightly and murmured. A couple of days later, the agreed trade date finally came. First of all, the effect of the antidote would be displayed. Tall fence walls were built up in a small square. In front of the square was a two-story factory building. The walls on the second floor which were facing the square had been removed, replaced with glass. Hence, the people on the second floor of the building were able to see the square clearly. In the middle of the square, a 10 meter square area was surrounded by barbed wire. Clearly, that was where the display was going to happen. Huexia Base invited all the leaders of the other bases to the second floor of the factory building. Sitting behind the glass, they would be able to see what happened down in the square clearly. Near the glass were some couches and tea tables, with some tea, fruits, 
and snacks prepared for those base leaders. Only Huexia base could be so generous. If the event took place in Sea City base, people would only have tea. After being guided to the second floor of that building, those base leaders found their seats and sat down, then started observing the square and the surrounding environment with interest. Chapter 639, The Trade Show. As the host, Si Kongjin sat in the middle of the room. As everyone took a seat, Lu Xiuofeng started a conversation with laughter. Chief Si, I've been thinking that the effective range of the antidote is a little too small. It's only 10 meters in radius. In fact, its effect is only about the same as that of an attack launched by a level 6 superpowered man. A level 5 ice power possessor might be able to deliver the same effect. Apart from Si Kongjin, three board members from Huexia base were also on the scene. Hearing Lu Xiuofeng, Hu Zong responded with a smile, be patient. The antidote with an effective range of 10 meters in radius is only the first generation of antidote. It's more like a half-finished work, so we didn't produce it in large batches. If you use 10 doses of it at one time, the effective range will expand. Even though it still can't reach 100 meters radius, the number can be improved to 70 at least. If you gather all the zombies that you want to kill in an area with the radius of 70 meters and throw 10 doses of the antidote into the crowd, the effect will be pretty good. With the good things about the antidote, he covered its shortcomings. Meanwhile, he said that the antidote was only a half-finished work, and his words revealed a new message. A, hey, are you saying that you've also developed a finished antidote? Lan Lu asked with surprise. Hearing that, all the others had their expressions changed. Chief Lan, you are right, Hu Zong smiled as he looked at him and continued. The antidote with the effective range of 10 meters is only the first generation of the antidote indeed. We have also developed the second generation and a third. Their effects will surely be different. We will explain to you while showing you their effects. There are the second and third generations. The others were stunned at first, then had their eyes glowing. It seemed that none of them were well informed enough. Quakesia base had really been hiding the information deeply. It was impressive indeed. Clearly, they leaked some information on purpose to divert the others' attention, so that the really important things could be kept secret. So, the show is on. Liu Xinan said smilingly, then clapped his hands. Following his move, a few pretty girls walked to the others and gently put a list on each of their tables. That was the list of prices of the antidotes. Three generations of the antidotes were on the list, followed by the names and the required number of the supplies for exchanging the antidotes. The people browsed the list. Soon, their intention was attracted by the noises from the square. A few soldiers in white exposure suits and gas masks dragged a chain messily dressed commoner into the square. The commoner had both his feet and hands chained. Those soldiers hung him in the middle of the area, which was surrounded by ten meter tall barbed wires. Seeing that, the people on the scene immediately figured out what was going on. However, they didn't say anything and just watched calmly, as that was arranged by Huexia base. After being hung up, that man started struggling. However, his struggles were completely useless. Most of those soldiers left after fixing that man on the middle of the barbed wire area, with only one soldier left there. He walked to the southeast corner and lifted a square lid on the ground, exposing a hole. After that, he quickly left, locking all the doors. Before long, a hand reached out of that hole, and then another hand was seen. After that, a head was stuck out. A creature quickly crawled out of the hole looking like an ordinary zombie. Seeing the zombie, the man who was hanging on the barbed wire started screaming with fright, struggling even harder. Soon, more and more zombies crawled out of the hole, all of them were ordinary zombies. They shambled around with their arms dropped. Noticing that human, they quickly, instinctively raised their arms and reached out, crowding toward that human in the meantime. Roar, roar, roar. Being attracted by scent of the living human being, more and more zombies crawled out of the hole and gathered toward the man. The entrance of the barbed wire area was facing the zombie hole, so those zombies soon gushed into the area. 200 zombies have been released. When they all go into that 10 meter square area, we'll first show you the effect of one dose of the antidote, and how to use it, Huzong stood up and walked to the glass with excitement, 
pointing at the square while talking to the others. No wonder we heard that you only have a small amount of the antidote. It turns out that you have a plan. Impressive. Wu Cheng Yu smilingly glanced at Si Kong Jin and said, Si Kong Jin had been wearing no expression today. Only Hu Zeng and Liu Xinan were doing the talking. Both of them were members of the board. As Wu Cheng Yu looked at him, Si Kong Jin finally responded, Sure. We only wanted to surprise you, he said blandly. All zombies gathered in the 10 meter square wire area, looking at the man hanging in the air and eagerly reaching out to try and touch him. However, that man was about three meters away from the ground. So, without leaping up, those zombies weren't able to touch him. Roar, 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 help, ah, help, help. That man screamed as loudly as he could. He knew that no one would come to save him. He was only screaming to ease his fear. All right, we are ready. Now, everyone, you'll be witnessing what the antidote can do, Huzong laughed as he raised a hand and gave the man behind him a signal. Soon, a man in an exposure suit showed up on a fence wall around the square and threw a test tube into the wire area. Contained in the test tube was the antidote. Before the antidote fell on the ground, he swung an arm forward and released a fireball. The fireball hit the test tube and then detonated the antidote. I assume you have all known that the effect of the first generation antidote will show up in one and a half hour. So, you need to wait for one and a half hour to see the effect. Huzong turned around and glanced at the others as he said with a smile. Are you saying that we should wait here for one and a half hour without doing anything else? Lu Xiuofeng snorted coldly and said with a slight discontentment. You, of course, won't be bored. We have prepared a show to entertain you said Hu Zong composedly with a faint smile. Really? We have a show to watch. Great. We even get to have some fun. I'm curious about what kind of show Chairman Hu has arranged for us. Li Zengai from Sky Firebase laughed and said, It's just a small game. Hu Zong responded with a smile. Chapter 640, The Entertaining Show Go, stage the show that we have prepared, Liu Zinan said to Lei Ai Chenkin who was standing behind him. Lei Chenkin was a deputy chief, average looking, about 30 years old, not tall, but not short either. He was the kind of man who could become perfectly invisible in a crowd of people. Yes, sir. He nodded with composure and replied. After that, he quickly turned and left. Soon, the others saw him show up on the fence wall around the square with two people. One man by his side reached out his hands toward the barbed wires. Following his move, the wires started extending, soon sealing the entrance and capping the whole area. Just like that, the wires were turned into a giant iron cage. The 200 zombies were locked up in the cage, yet they didn't care. They were all focusing on that man who was hanging in the air. The fence wall around the square was only 5 or 6 meters tall at first. But all of a sudden, it grew to about 20 meters tall, instantly darkening the light in the square. At that point, the door at on the bottom of the wall from where the human bait was brought was opened again. A group of people carried in two zombies which were entirely tied up. Those two zombies lay there quietly with their eyes closed. Soon, those soldiers in exposure suits came back into the square and put the two zombies each on one side of the square, then injected something into their bodies. Eh? What are they doing? They are not the show that you mentioned, are they? Gao Heion from Heilong Base looked at the square with curiosity. Ah, they are both at level 3, as we all know. Intelligent zombies are all territorial. So, when a zombie's territory is invaded by a same level zombie, or when two same leveled zombies are in the same place, they will certainly start a fight until one of them has won. So now, the first show we have prepared for you is Zombie Fight. Liu and smilingly introduced the show to the others. Ah, I see. It's interesting. Lu Xiuofeng's interest was aroused. The first show? Are there more shows after that? Wu Cheng Yu smiled while looking down at the square without changing his expression. Sure. There is, of course, more than one show. Otherwise, you won't be having enough run. Am I right? Liu Xinan nodded and responded. After injecting something into the two zombies' bodies, the group of soldiers quickly evacuated from the square. In about twenty seconds, the two zombies which were lying motionlessly on the ground opened their eyes simultaneously. Their eyes were purely dark, 
with no pupils to be seen. Five years ago, those eyes could scare people to death. But at present, no one would be frightened by those eyes anymore. They had all gotten familiar with it. The two zombies blinked, and then had their eyes glowed. Next, they both realized that they were tied up, and instantly started struggling. At the same time, they fixed their eyes on each other. Puff, puff. The ropes on them weren't strong enough, so they soon freed themselves. Roar, roar. The two level 3 zombies immediately charged at each other. They are both at the verge of level 4. So, if one of them eats the other, it would be able to upgrade. Therefore, in order to break into a new level, they will both try their best to kill each other, said Liu Zinan, still with a smile. The two level 3 zombies' presence and the violent vibe of attacking that radiated from them instantly threw the ordinary zombies in the cage into silence. The two darted up to each other, ignoring the surrounding things. They could see nothing but the same level opponent in their eyes. They would be able to break into a higher level if they dug out another level 3 zombies nucleus and ate it. They were both as level 3. In both terms of strength and speed, they had gone far beyond ordinary human beings. While launching attacks, they liked to move on all fours and have their eyes fixed right on their opponents. They each had a mark on their necks, one red and the other blue. Do you wanna bet which one will win? I bet on the red one, Hu Zong said smilingly. Eh? Can we do that? Good. Let's me see. The blue one looks good. I bet on the blue one with a level 5 zombie nucleus. Ha ha. Lu Zuo think threw a zombie nucleus on the table and laughed. I bet on the red one. Blue, blue. The others got excited as well. As people had made a bet, they all stared at the two zombies with great interests. Only Lan Lu and Wu Cheng Iu were looking down at the square absent-mindedly. One of them was wearing a smile, and one was expressionless. No one could tell what they were thinking. Lin Giao was standing on the fence wall, looking down. She glanced at the people in the building and saw them put zombie nuclei on tables. Then, she read Lei Chengkeng's mind and learned what those people had been doing at the moment. A show. A beam of light flashed across Lin Kiao's eyes as she curved her lips in a smile. She had decided to liven things up for those people. Having decided that, she leapt off the fence wall. The antidote had spread long ago, and she was watching since the beginning. She felt nothing from the antidote which was burned by fire. Clearly, it couldn't affect her at all. She climbed onto the iron cage then swiftly flashed to the two level 3 zombies. At that point, the two were fighting intensely. But in the next moment, the two zombies suddenly froze. Eh? What's wrong? Seeing that, people who had been watching the fight happily were all confused. Eh? Why did they suddenly stop? Soon, the violent vibes from the two zombies faded. They just quietly stood in the square, looking at each other. That was right. They stopped fighting and just stood there looking at each other without making any move. Eh? What's going on? It's not a part of the show that you arranged, is it? Bao Chengzi, a leader of Mongols base, couldn't help but turn to the Huexia base people. No, we didn't arrange that. How did that happen? Liu Xinan was deeply confused as well. He turned and looked at Hu Zhong and Si Kongjun. The two were also looking at him with confusion. Why did they stop fighting? They're not going to shake hands and make up, are they? said Lin Zhuofeng. In a few seconds, the others all turned to him with a weird look. That was because once he finished talking, the two level 3 zombies each reached out a hand and shook with each other. Damn, I, I was joking. Lin Zhuofeng was stunned. Chapter 641, Someone is playing a trick. At that point, the man who was hanging in the zombie cage had already stopped struggling and passed out. Watching what was happening in the square. Wu Cheng Iu curved his lips corners in a smile. His smiling eyes finally showed a trace of an actual smile. Eh? Lan Lu was thinking with a hand on his chin. Suddenly, he turned to Wu Cheng Iu and noticed the transient smile in his eyes. He knew that the smiling faced Wu Cheng Iu normally had no actual smile in his narrowed eyes. The two level 3 zombies had stopped fighting while the crowd of ordinary zombies were quietly staying in the cage. There was nothing fun to watch, except for Wu Cheng Iu who seemed to know something that the others didn't. The other people all wore an impatient look. Get down and see what's happening. Bring two new zombies if it's necessary. Si Kong Jin frowned and gave his order with a low voice. Yes. Sir. 
Ku Guozhong, who was sitting behind him, nodded and stood up. It had only been twenty minutes since the antidote was released. There was still an hour and ten minutes to go. As an unexpected situation happened so soon, the others looked a little disappointed. But soon, things in the square changed again. After shaking hands, the two zombies abruptly raised their heads and fixed their eyes on Lei Ai Chengking and the others who were on the fence wall. Then, they leapt on top of the cage and pounced on those people. Puff! Their sharp claws penetrated the metal surface of the wall and allowed them to climb up quickly. Eh? What's happening now? The people on the second floor were confused again. Oh, this is interesting. Chairman Liu, you didn't arrange this, did you? Lan Lu laughed as he got out of his thinking, what? What's going on? Liu Zinan pulled a long face at that point. On the fence wall, Lei Chengking's face was also filled with surprise and confusion as he looked down at the two zombies which were swiftly climbing up. What is happening? What's wrong with these two zombies? He glared at the two zombies and raised a hand to release a stream of flame. The flame made a circle above his head, then suddenly descended on the two level 3 zombies. Thud. The two zombies were sent back to the ground. At that moment, a gust of wind blew the two level 3 zombies away also blowing off their heads, puff, their heads were cut off and rolled to the side, their thick blood splashed all over the ground, they were useless, bring two new ones, Hu Guozhong landed before Lei Ai Chengking and said to the others, yes, sir, the others immediately leapt off the wall, what was wrong with those two, Hu Guozhong asked with a frown, god knows, Lei Ai Chengking responded, also with a frowning, sour face, soon, some people brought in the other two level 3 zombies, and repeated the whole process, including the injection and evacuation. The two zombies woke up and reacted in the same way as the former two. Even though they were interested in the living human being in the cage, facing a same leveled zombie, they had no choice but to forget about the tempting food for now. Will they do the same as the first two? That was the only question that the people had now. Among all, only Wu Cheng Ayu was smiling a meaningful smile. He crossed his long and slender legs, tilted his shoulder, and rested his chin on his palm. Meanwhile, he glanced at the group of Huixia people from time to time with a secret, delightful look in his eyes. Clearly, someone was playing a trick again. That someone. Well, that female zombie always kept herself busy. Suddenly, Wu Cheng Ayu wanted very much to see Lin Kiao. He wanted to see her face which was no longer covered in thick makeup, but was even prettier than before. He also wanted to see her cold and fierce eyes, and her beautiful body. Ever since he did it with her in the lake in her space, he could never forget that feeling. Back then, he wasn't able to see her, but he felt her, and the feeling was real. He had seen her body. Before she died, she raped him, and at that time, she rode him wildly. Back then, he found that pair of snow white, large breasts which were swaying before his eyes disgusting. But now, he somehow had an impulsion to touch them again. Unwittingly, his mind fell into some dirty thoughts. See Kong Chen and the other chairman had been looking at the square with dark faces, without answering the question. As some people expected, in just a few minutes, the two zombies behaved exactly the same way as the former two. They suddenly stopped fighting, then rushed at the people on the fence wall. Of course, they also ended up being cut by Hu Guozhong's wind blades. Huixia base people weren't willing to give up. They sent in a third group and fourth group of zombies, but the results stayed the same. By now, the people had realized that there was a problem. What happened? Chief C. Have your zombies been switched by someone else? It seems like someone is controlling them. Said Li Zengai with confusion. At that moment, C. Kong Jin's face had turned terribly sour as he stayed silent. Sitting by his side, Liu Zinan responded smilingly. Of course not. But, I don't know what's happening either. I think I need to get down there and find out. I am deeply sorry for disappointing you all. Since the zombies are naughty today, Let's switch to another show. At that point, some people served some bottled wine. This wine is made from the grapes that we grew by ourselves. We've been saving it for big occasions. I wonder if you guys have an interest in tasting it? Liu Zinan turned and picked up a bottle of wine and a glass which were handed to him by a subordinate, 
then spoke while pouring the wine into the glass. After the apocalypse, people had stopped producing wines. They could barely feed themselves, so no one cared about wines anymore. Among all bases, only Huexia base had a huge farmland, which allowed them to grow fruits like grapes. They even luxuriously used the grapes to make wine. Oh, you have wine? Why didn't you serve that earlier? Gao Heian, the man from northeast, had his eyes glowing at the sight of the wine. The alcoholic strength of the wine was low, yet it tasted much better than the weirdly bitter tea. Yeah, I can't believe you've been hiding it. It's really not easy to have some wine these days. You are actually making wine by yourselves. How luxurious. That is too luxurious. Lu Xiaofing's eyes glowed as well. It was no strong liquor, but as long as it tasted like alcohol. It was good. I agree with Chief Lu. Lan Lu fixed his eyes on the wine which was served to him by a pretty girl and couldn't help but agree with Lu Xiaofeng. Thank you. I don't even remember when I had wine the last time. I think it was before the apocalypse Wu Cheng Ayu came back to his senses and politely thanked the girl who was serving him wine as he sighed. Chapter 642, An Interruption. The tense atmosphere was eased a little by the wine. However, some people started feeling that the tense atmosphere was better. With a meaningful smile, Li Zheng I said, I heard that Huexia base was trying to relocate the zombie, but it ran away suddenly. I wonder if that's real. Chief C, do you care to explain that? Earlier on, you seemed to suspect that someone stole the zombie. Hearing his words, C Kong Chen and the few board members of Huexia base had their faces darkened. Ah, Chief Li. You shouldn't say that. Perhaps, Chief C misunderstood us. How could you call it suspect? Besides, Chief C didn't say it out loud, right? Lu Xiaofeng explained for C Kong Jin. Eh? Did that happen? Why didn't I know that Chief C had suspected us? Lan Lu laughed. Ah, about that. I only know that the zombie has run away, right? That zombie seems to be rather capable. Wu Cheng I Wu joined the conversation also with laughter. It was exactly the right time to point fingers at Huexia base. The effect of the antidote would soon be shown. They mentioned that thing now, so that they would have an excuse to bargain later. However, they didn't want to make the atmosphere too tense. What if Huexia people got angry and cancelled the trade? Therefore, when Li Zheng I mentioned that thing, the others hurriedly made jokes to ease the tension and evade the issue. Si Kongjin pulled a long face. He soon adjusted his expression, but still remained silent. Unlike him, Hu Zong and Liu Xinan handled the situation more smoothly. Well, that might be a misunderstanding. We really shouldn't reach any conclusion before finding out the truth, right? Liu Xinan responded, then smilingly glanced at the others and continued. Besides, we are not sure yet whether the zombie ran out by itself or if it was taken away by someone. He didn't admit it, but he didn't deny it either. Based on his words, Huexia base would hold an ambiguous attitude until the truth was found out. So, in the end, Huexia base people didn't dare to make a compromise. I think the first generation of your antidote is not good enough. I'm actually more interested in the results of the second and the third phases of your experiment. I wonder what the later generation antidotes can do, Lan Lu said smilingly. Oh, I agree with Chief Lan about that. The first generation antidote seems to deliver very little effect. I don't think it can be helpful. Lu Xiaofeng shook the wine glass in his hand. After speaking, he poured some wine into his mouth. Everyone, please be patient. Before learning about the result of the second and third phases of our experiment, you need to know the basic effects of the antidote, so that you'll know about its real value, Hu Zong said to the others with composure. Could it be Lu Xiaofeng poured himself another glass of wine? He spent a short while staring at the glass, then said with hesitation. Could it be someone from the new base in Hangzhou who played the trick? The one in Upper City District? How could that be possible? Do they have the power to do that? He he see Kongjin snorted scornfully. He hadn't been taking that small base seriously. After all, they had less than 5,000 people, and they hadn't even built up their fence wall. Chief C, I wonder how much you know about that new base in Upper City District. Lu Xiaofeng suddenly gave a smile. I think I know them better than you guys. The smiling Wu Chengai who abruptly joined the conversation. I'm closer to them after all. Besides, 
I'm in cooperation with that new base. Chief Lu, since you are so curious about them, why didn't you ask me? He said that Lun Xiaofing was curious, but clearly, the latter's words didn't contain that kind of meaning. Instead, he was only trying to deliver some kind of information to Huexia base. However, as Wu Chengyu interrupted the conversation, the other might think that he was really curious. So, they got curious as well. Yeah, I heard that the people who built that base are the survivors from Hades base, right? Said Gao Heian. Hades base is gone. Are they going to build a new Hades base? Li Zheng I said with a strange tone, he he, speaking of the destruction of Hades base, Chief Li, your base was a part of that. That is not good. We humans should unite. Otherwise, how are we supposed to destroy the zombies which are spreading all over the world? Liu Zinan said with a faint smile, don't just say that to me. Hidden Cloud City base fought a lot harder than us. Li Zheng I raised his brows and slightly widened his eyes as he laughed. Right now was the hardest time for the mankind, the most important thing was to develop. Under the current situation, fighting each other was clearly unwise. Therefore, that event was not a glorious thing to mention. For that exact reason, Li Zheng I brought up Hidden Cloud City Base. They did do it anyway, so he wouldn't let himself become the only target. Being interrupted by Wu Cheng Yu, the conversation was instantly run off topic. Lu Xiaofeng paused briefly, then soon changed his words. With a smile, he said to Wu Cheng Yu, Ah, you are right. But, we were only helping the Earth Dragon base. We didn't take an initiative to offend Hades base. Besides, we tried to talk that idiot Long Yu Bai out of it. He wouldn't listen to me. What could I do? After saying that, he glanced at Li Zheng I. Then at Wu Cheng Yu as he continued, All right, both the destruction of Hades base and what Earth Dragon base suffered are by gones. Now, Hades base survivors are building a new base. As their neighbors, Sea City base should know them better than we do. That's what I think. That's right. The people in the new base are indeed the survivors from Hades base. That you know about. They were really miserable. At first, there were only about ten of them and they came to my base to borrow people. I have lent them about a thousand people in total. Later on, the captives who were kept in the old Hades base suddenly launched a successful counter-strike. I guess it was because the soldiers from Earth Dragon base didn't guard them well enough. After that, thousands of Hades base people were brought back to Upper City base. I also heard that those survivors divided into two groups. A small group of them are still living in that broken old Hades base now. As Lun Xiaofeng drew the topic to him, Wu Cheng Yu generously shared the information he knew with the others. Chief Wu, I guess you have really done them a favor by generously sending them help. Si Kongjin joined the conversation expressionlessly, Chapter 643, Another Type of Drug. Why not? Shouldn't human beings unite? I tend to help others when they need help. It wasn't a hard thing for me anyway, as they only needed workers. Wu Cheng Yu replied with a faint smile, based on what I know, the leaders of those Hades base survivors are the former Hades base leader, Netherworld Fire Lin Giao's family. Apart from herself, her entire family survived. Currently, Lin Giao's big brother, Lin Feng, is managing the base, along with Deputy Chief Yu Arm Tang Xing, who was her right hand man. However, they are both at only level 6. Although you aren't anxing is about to break into level 7. But, I heard that there's a mysterious person among that group of people, called Miss Lu. Right, Chief Wu? Lan Lu said and then glanced at Wu Cheng Yu. A dim light flashed across Wu Cheng Yu's smiling eyes as he responded with composure. Miss Lu. Oh, I do know a Miss Lu, but she's no one mysterious. She is an well. She is an indecent woman pretty but ugly on the inside. Her name is Lu Daniu. I heard that she almost got killed, but somehow managed to stay alive. I have no idea why she's with those Hades base people now. She's no one that I pay attention to anyway. Ah, Lu Daniu. I've heard about that woman. That's one of the two goddesses in your sea city base. Oh, no, one of them is a goddess, and the other is a female psycho. Ha ha. She's indecent and evil, but I heard that she has a pretty face and a great body. It's a shame though, as too many men had tasted that body of hers and Xiaofeng got a little excited when he heard Lutani Wu's name. Oh, she's from Sea City Base, 
Lan Lu smiled, but didn't say anything else. At that point, Hu Guizhong and Lei Ai Chengkeng both returned. They silently walked up behind Si Kongjin and the other Huixia people, as the others weren't paying attention to them. How's it going? Si Kongjin slightly turned his head and asked with a low voice, his eyes continuing to look forward. We're still trying to find out what happened, Hu Guizhong bent over behind him and responded. Also with a low voice, Si Kongjin was already wearing a serious face. After hearing the answer, he frowned and said, Why is it taking so long? We can't sense anything wrong. It was those zombies problem, Hu Guizhong whispered. Si Kongjin stayed silent for a while with a frown, then waved and signaled for him to leave. Meanwhile, Lei Chengkeng had a short conversation with Liu Xinan, then stepped back and stopped talking. The people patiently chatted for an hour. All right everyone, the effect of the antidote is already showing. Hu Zhong abruptly stood up and walked to the glass, looking down at the square as he said. His words instantly caught everyone's attention. Of course, most of the others had their eyes fixed on the square since long ago, and had noticed the change down there. Only a few hadn't been paying attention to the square. At that moment, the 200 zombies in the cage started falling to the ground stiffly. Before long, the ground in the cage was covered by zombie bodies. Soon, those dead zombies began to corrode, instantly generating an awful smell which went up through the tall fence wall. The energy of the virus has stopped maintaining their body functions. Therefore, their bodies turned into a puddle of pus once they fell to the ground. Hu Zong pointed at those dead zombies and said. The others were sitting about three meters away from the glass. At that point, they all stood up and walked closer to the glass to look down. Black liquid had been flowing out from under those dead zombies. Meanwhile, those dead bodies had all become bones. Those bones which had been affected by the virus were, of course, no longer white. They had turned dark brown. Don't worry, that liquid doesn't contain the virus anymore. So. We don't need to be afraid of that liquid. In the worst case, it might cause some pollution, Hu Zong continued. He glanced at the others and found them all looking down calmly, without showing any emotion. Then, he started introducing the second type of antidote. So next, we'll be showing you the work of the second phase of our experiment. In the second phase, we improved the antidote in multiple aspects. After being burned and thrown into the zombie crowd, this type of antidote will show its effect in 10 minutes. Also, it's not only effective on ordinary zombies, but can also hurt the zombies at level 2 and 3. Its effect on level 2 zombies will show in half an hour, and its effect on level 3 zombies will show in 2 hours. The first generation antidote that we tested just now was only effective to ordinary zombies. As people expected. The result of the second phase was much better than the first generation antidote. In terms of time and effect, it was indeed very harmful for zombies. However, what about the effective range and the number of zombies that it can kill? Wu Cheng Ayu asked. 100 meters in radius. The number is, of course, unlimited. Within that range, all zombies under level 3 will be harmed directly. Hu Zong showed a very proud smile while saying that. He slightly raised his chin, his eyes glowing with excitement. While he was introducing the second type of antidote, some people were quickly cleaning the square. They spread a large amount of powder on the square, then removed the bones. The liquid on the ground was absorbed by the powder, leaving gray marks on the ground. Soon, a metal-powered man divided the square into three parts using the metal material from the gauge. The fainted human being was squall hanging in the middle of the square. Before long, in each isolated part of the square, some people opened a lid on the ground and then evacuated, sealing off the square quickly. The group of base leaders could easily tell that the three isolated areas were a hundred meters squared in combination. This time, Zombies didn't crawl out of the holes immediately. A couple of minutes later, some zombies finally came out. Clearly, countless zombies were kept underground. After coming out from underground, their zombies immediately rushed at the fainted human being. And of course, the scenes in the three isolated areas weren't the same. In the area in the middle, where the man was hanging, were still ordinary zombies. Those zombies were simple-minded unable to run or jump. They could do no more than reach their arms upward. However, things were different in the other two areas. The zombies had started fighting each other once they came out, 
Chapter 644, Hold Back a Trick As there were too many enemies, those higher level zombies soon gave up on fighting each other and rushed straight at the barbed wire which separated them from the middle area, then tried to climb up. One zombie climbed up first, but the other immediately dragged it down and then climbed up itself. Level 2 zombies were as nimble as human beings, but not smart enough. They were simply trying to climb up, holding either the barbed wire or the other zombies. Unlike them, level 3 zombies were either stopping each other from reaching up or deliberately dragging down the ones who were climbing. At that moment, a staff member threw a dose of antidote down to the middle of the square along with a fireball. Boom. The fireball and the antidote hit each other and exploded. Huzong picked up a glass tube from the tray carried by a waiter beside him, containing a light blue colored liquid. This is the result of the second phase. It can also be seen as the finished work based on the result of the first phase. While changes were happening in the square, he continued introducing the antidote. When the antidote exploded, Level 2 and 3 zombies made obvious reactions. Unlike them, those ordinary zombies seemed to feel nothing. The level 2 zombies stopped moving while the level 3 ones quickly moved away and drew back to the edge of the cage like rats showered in boiling water. The scent of the antidote gave them a very strong sense of crisis. The antidote was spreading fast, and they didn't manage to dodge timely. Therefore, as they moved to the edge of the cage, they all slowed down with their heads dropped. Standing on top of the wall, Lin Kiao wore a grim face. The scent of the second type of antidote could still not affect her, but made her feel a slight repulsion. That was very uncomfortable. The technologies that Huixia base possessed were indeed dangerous for her. Under her encouragement, Lin Kiao destroyed a whole research team this time. However, she couldn't be sure that if where would other people to fill in their places in the future. She still needed to destroy the files about the antidotes. Ten minutes later, those ordinary zombies started reacting, and the higher level zombies had all quieted down, as if someone had pressed the pause button of them. The antidote couldn't kill level 3 zombies and turn them into pus, but was able to disable them from moving. That was already very appealing. At last, the third type of antidote was tested, which was able to affect even level 4 zombies. Its effective range was much larger than the first two generations, and its onset time was a lot shorter. The moment the third type of antidote was released, all zombies under level 3 in the square became puddles of pus. The effective range of that antidote was a thousand meters in radius. The prices have been listed. This is a fair trade. You can all buy the antidotes with the prices on the list. To be fair, I need to explain to you about the amount of each type of antidotes. The amount that each base can buy is limited. The upper limit of each kind of antidote is on the list as well. After all the antidotes were tested, Luzin and said to the others, I'm surprised that you're providing quite a lot of the second and third generation antidotes. Lan Lu said earlier on while reading the list, he and the others had found that the amounts of the antidotes number two and three were actually larger than the antidote number one by many times over. It meant that the information they got earlier was not true. Oh, about that, we surely wouldn't spend too many resources on the preliminary version of the antidote, so we don't have too much of it. Huzong laughed. You Huixia base are really greedy. You are able to produce weapons and grow food, yet you are trying to take so much from us. Aren't these antidotes a little too expensive? Said Wu Cheng Ayu with a smile. Everyone knew that those antidotes were overpriced. If Huixia base had successfully relocated the zombie but told the others that it was stolen, people might not say anything about the prices so frankly even if they weren't satisfied with them. At most they would ponder over those prices before placing orders. But now, people had known about Si Kongjin's plan, and surely would grasp the opportunity. Chief Wu, you have to know that we need to feed over two million people. The food we grew is not enough. Besides, you can also choose to buy the antidotes with zombie nuclei. We actually prefer zombie nuclei. It's on the shopping guide. Liu Xinan responded smilingly. Your antidotes seem nice but the prices are too high for us. I guess we need to think about it, Lan Lu complained about the prices as well, also with a smile. It's alright. This show is only for you to know the effects of the antidotes, the choice is absolutely yours. Also, the deal will always be open. Whenever you want to buy some of these antidotes, you'll be welcome, 
people use in and responded composedly. A. Aren't the amounts limited? Why can the deal stay open? Luzio Fing asked with confusion. The antidotes are limited for sale because we do not have a great amount in stock indeed. However, we will be producing more of it, said Liu Xinan. Produce more? Lu Xiuofing looked at them confusedly. Wait, your zombie has run away. How are you supposed to produce more antidotes? Liu Xinan glanced at them, but didn't say anything as he turned his eyes to Hu Zhong. Oh, we are looking for more special zombies. I believe there are more than one of that kind. In the future, we might be able to replace it with other zombies. The effects might be slightly different, and the prices will be recalculated as well. And of course, we won't give up on looking for the zombie which has run away from our lab, Hu Zhong replied smilingly. I see the others nodded knowingly. Besides, we still have some blood that we took from that zombie, so we can produce another batch of antidotes. Hu Zhong continued with a confident smile. The others looked at him, again with surprise. So, you've been holding back a trick. No wonder they hosted the meeting on schedule as if nothing had happened even though the zombie had run away. Not long after the antidote number 2 was released, Lin Giao had moved into the building and gotten to the second floor. Hearing the conversation between the people there and seeing the composed look on those Huixia base leaders' faces, she couldn't help but show a fierce look in her eyes. She wondered how those people would react in a couple of days when they found that their research institute had disappeared. How could they find another zombie to replace Lin Kui so easily? That day, after the exhibition, those base leaders each sent their people back home to prepare for the purchases. Chapter 645, Ling Ling's Worry The group of base leaders stayed in Huexia base, waiting for their people to return with the supplies that would be exchanged for the antidotes. That night, Lin Qiao quietly showed up in Wu Cheng Yu's room. She carried Wu Yu Ling out of her space and put her on the ground. Then looked at Wu Cheng Ayu. I'm giving her back to you. It was a surprise that Huixia Base kept the other two types of antidotes perfectly secret. After putting Wu Yueling down, Lin Giao sat down on a couch. You sent the zombie to destroy the virus research team of Huixia Base. That's a great loss for them. Huixia Base people wouldn't let you get away with it if they found out that it was you who did it. Wu Cheng Ayu hugged Wu Yu Ling who just ran to her and then said to Lin Giao smilingly, I did it. That was his own decision. It was not wrong for him to take revenge. Lin Giao glanced at him blandly. Even if she didn't do anything, people would still see her as a common enemy when they found out what she really was. Hidden Cloud City Base and Green Mountain Base both have eyes on your new base. You should lay low. Wu Cheng Ayu looked at her and said, I know. Lin Qiao shrugged and then stood up, waving at Wu Yuling as she said, All right, I'm leaving. The little one, bye. Wu Cheng Ayu waved at Lin Qiao. As the latter disappeared, she turned and stared at Wu Cheng Ayu. What's wrong? Seeing the look in her eyes, Wu Cheng Ayu couldn't help but ask with curiosity. Wu Yuling ignored her, but lowered her head. Then, she turned around and climbed onto the couch next to Wu Cheng Ayu to take a seat. After that, she even crossed her arms before her chest. Her adorable little face wore a slight frown. Her father couldn't tell what she was thinking. Wu Cheng Ayu observed his daughter with confusion. Realizing that she was thinking about something, he sighed with relief. It would be good, as long as her illness didn't attack. She had just spent some time with that female zombie, so her illness shouldn't be attacking. Besides, she looked in a good mood. However, he honestly couldn't guess what his daughter was thinking about. If he could read Wu Yuling's mind, he would certainly feel speechless, because at that very moment, the little girl was thinking about how she could make her zombie mom stay by her father's side. In that case, she would be able to see her and stay with her every day. But, how to make zombie mom and her father be together? Wu Yuling raised her head and looked at Wu Cheng Ayu with confusion. The latter curiously observed her as well. He saw her raise her head to give him a glance, then lower her head again and keep thinking. She frowned from time to time, and seemed to be trying to solve a difficult puzzle. Wu Yuling spent a while thinking, then suddenly came up with an idea. Oh, why don't I ask Viney next time? She must have some ideas. Lin Giao entered her space and summoned Lu Dani by the entrance of the small building. Zombies barely needed sleep. so. 
at the moment, except for Leng Xuantong who was sleeping in the room that Lin Qiao gave him, the others were doing whatever they wanted. Meanwhile, Lin Qiu was venturing in her space with curiosity. At first, he came out of the small building and took a circle around it. He looked around and felt surprised. He thought that the rest of the space would be empty, but it turned out that he was wrong. There was soil, a lake, grassland, and strange woods out there. Behind the small building were three small spaces which were filled with zombies. Many plants were growing on the land before the small building, including strawberries, some green vegetables, pumpkins, potatoes, rice, and wheat. That place was a small planting base. Before the planting base was a hill-sized pile of supplies. Those supplies could almost fill two large granaries. He finally started to feel that the female zombie might really be the leader of a base. Otherwise, why would she store so many supplies? He entered the woods and immediately sensed two different types of hostilities, as if he had set a foot in someone else's territory. Oh woo oh woo, woo. A weird bark was heard. Following the bark, he saw a furless zombie dog lowering its body and staring at him alarmedly. He stopped moving and glanced at the zombie dog with surprise. After that, he turned his head to look at a tree. A giant black snake was coiling on the tree trunk, gazing at him with a pair of emotionless, icy cold eyes. All right, he had indeed intruded someone's territory. With that thought, he slowly moved backward. Thankfully, the two didn't dare to attack him even though they were highly vigilant against him. On the other side of the base, Lin Giao summoned Lutani and said to him, Your mindset is stable already. I'm gonna help you improve a little. Get prepared. Lutani understood what she meant. She was going to improve his zombie level. However, he had no idea which level he was at now. He had memories, so he was surely intelligent. Did that make him a level 3 zombie? But... He didn't seem to be as nimble as level 3 zombies. He felt that he was more like a level 2. Also, what should he prepare? He looked at Lin Qiao with confusion. Take off your clothes. Lin Qiao glanced at him with a faint smile, then turned and walked toward the lake. Lutani stood there, terribly confused. Take off his clothes? Why? That made sense though. He had seen you aren't Anxing and Lin Feng upgrade in that lake and both of them went down into the lake nakedly. Picturing himself stripping before Lutani U, Lutani felt awfully uncomfortable. That was so awkward. He so didn't want to do it. Based on the relationship between him and Lutani U before, it was already a miracle for them to be able to talk to each other. And now, she actually asked him to take off his clothes right in front of her. That was. What are you waiting for? Get prepared. Lin Qiao turned and saw the young man standing where he was motionlessly, carrying a struggling face. So, she couldn't help but yell at him. The kid is shy, well apostrophe. Hearing her, Lutani slowly walked closer to the lake. He had to stop about three meters from the lake because he couldn't take the pressure from the lake. His legs were so heavy that he couldn't move them at all. As he stopped moving, Lin Qiao said to him, later on. Take off your clothes and come down into the lake. After saying that, she turned and walked to the lakeside, then waved a hand. Following her move, a cloud of dark mist surrounded her and covered her entire body. Then, a few clothes dropped to the ground around her feet, after which, she slowly walked into the water. Lutani waited. Not long after Lin Qiao disappeared into the lake, the pressure from the lake was suddenly gone. He knew that he should be going into the lake. He sighed with relief, then took off his clothes. He conservatively kept his underpants on and walked into the water. Fortunately, she got into the lake first. Otherwise, he really wouldn't be able to strip himself in front of her. He would be seriously shy. Chapter 646, Lutani Upgrades. At the bottom of the lake, Lin Gia waited for Lutani to slowly come down. After getting into the water, Lutani didn't see Lin Qiao. The underwater world was like a vast expanse of grayness in his eyes, and the range of visibility was greatly restricted. He didn't need to breathe, so he wouldn't feel suffocated underwater. Also, it was the second time for him to be in the lake. He still remembered how he felt when he woke up in the lake. The buoyancy was very little, and the resistance was strong. He felt his entire body struggling under pressure. At that moment, a hand suddenly reached up grasped his ankle, 
and dragged him down. Lin Giao was probably getting impatient. Lu Dani lowered his head and saw a hand coming out of the grayness, looking a little scary. However, he knew that the hand belonged to Lu Tani U, so he let it hold his ankle. Meanwhile, he automatically covered his crotch area with his hands. Lin Giao gathered the energy in the lake around her body, down at the lake bottom. She had gradually gained the power to control the energy in the lake. Getting closer to Lu Tani, she found out what the young man was thinking about. She had been feeling that he was very shy. Earlier on, some of the others had stripped themselves and gotten into the lake. None of them was as hesitant and reluctant as he was. Lin Gia was aware that Lutani cared a lot about Lutani U. He was actually delighted when he found that Lutani U was no longer doing evil deeds. Moreover, he had started to have anticipations about her. Now, as he had become a zombie, that anticipation had turned into reliance. Would he be disappointed if he found out that she was not his sister? Lin Giao assumed that he would. After all, he now believed that Lutani U had given up evil and turned to good. In the end, he would find out that it was just some other soul using his sister's body. Lin Giao sighed. She felt that she was deceiving him, and she did not like how that felt. However, if she told him the truth, he might be really sad. Down at the lake bottom, Lin Giao put a level 3 zombie nucleus in Lutani's hands and then said to him by using her willpower, eat it. Lutani took the zombie nucleus over and felt different for the first time. He instinctively wanted the energy from the lake. On hearing Lin Giao's instruction, she put the zombie nucleus into his mouth without thinking, only after doing that did he realize what he just did. Thinking that the zombie nucleus was dug out of a zombie's head, he instantly wanted to throw up. But right at that moment, his stomach sensed a wave of energy, which made his feelingless body shiver slightly. Lin Giao pressed a palm on his back while reaching her other hand toward the sphere of energy by her side. Then, she started to absorb the energy and send it into Lutani's body. Two different types of energies were mixed together and filtered, then started to gush up toward Lutani's head. Lutani was only a level 2 zombie, even though he had his memory and will. His body could not reach level 3 directly after he turned into a zombie. But now, with Lin Giao's help, he easily broke into level 3. Before he could feel anything, Lin Giao put a water-powered zombie nucleus into his mouth. The strong energy spread inside his body and then was channeled to his brain. Only when the energy gathered to a certain degree and generated a nucleus could Lutani be counted as a level 4 zombie. After merely a couple of hours, Lutani had successfully broken into level 4. Lin Kiao didn't try to push him up to a higher level, as she was worried that he might fail to handle the energy from the virus and end up having his intelligence damaged. Thus, she dragged Lutani out of the water. He went into the water with his underpants on, but by now, those underpants were gone. Lin Kiao turned her eyes away from him, then dropped him by the lake. She first put on her own clothes then picked up his clothes and lifted him back up. Xidong, Lin Q, and the smart zombie watched Lin Kiao drag Lutani, who was naked and about a foot taller than herself, back toward the house from the lakeside. Xidong calmly walked over and took Lutani over from Lin Kiao's hands along with his clothes, then brought him toward the house. Meanwhile, the young male zombie circled around Lutani with surprise because he clearly felt that Lutani was already at his level. He wouldn't be able to defeat him. Lin Kui was looking at the composed Lin Kiao with a weird look as she brought a naked man out of the water so calmly and didn't seem to feel awkward at all. Also, he glanced at Lutani and Xidong who were moving toward the house. That man was only a level 2 zombie at first. However, after spending a short while in the lake with that mysterious Miss Lu, he was two levels higher than before. Currently, he had already become a level 4, super-powered zombie. With that thought, Lin Q again glanced at the lake. He felt a strong repulsion, which made him want to stay away from the lake. Facing the lake, he felt suppression, and had a sense of crisis. What was in the lake? He could tell that none of the other creatures in the space were willing to go near the lake. The zombies in the building, the ones behind the building, and the two creatures in the woods, and even the tens of mutated roe deers had all been staying away from the lake. Lin Gia walked into the bathroom, picked up a towel to dry her hair. After that, she walked downstairs and flashed away from the building. In the next second, 
she showed up on the grassland on the other side of the lake. As she suddenly appeared, those roe deers who had gathered together immediately ran away. However, she was faster. She swiftly turned around and grasped a roe deer which attempted to run away from her. The mutated roe deer was quite fast, but still, it failed to react as quickly as Lin Giao did. On the other side of the lake, Lin Kiyo stood by the entrance of the building and watched Lin Giao flash across the lake, then catch a roe deer and bring it back. He was surprised. He had been wondering why the female zombie kept tens of roe deers in her space. Seeing Lin Kiyo catch the roe deer and bring it back to this side of the lake, his curiosity was aroused. So, he fixed his eyes on her. In a short while, he was stunned. He saw her quickly and neatly cut the roe deer's throat and let out its blood, then skin it. Then, she cut the roe deer open without breaking its internal organs. That was not the point. The point was that she then cut off a foreleg of the roe deer and made a bite at it. She ate it. What the hell? Why is the zombie eating a mutated animal? No, I mean, it tastes awful, doesn't it? He thought. He too had tried to eat animals to quench his hunger but he threw up after just the first bite. It tasted indescribably bad. At first, he thought that only mutated animals tasted bad, so he caught some healthy animals and tried them. The result turned out to be the same. Chapter 647, Under the Square Lin Giao skinned the roe deer and cut it open, then dug out its internal organs and put them aside. After that, she cut off a leg of the roe deer and stood up as she began eating it. While eating, she turned and saw Lin Kui staring at her with surprise. Do you want some? She asked. Lin Kui hurriedly shook his head. You've tried and failed, right? Lin Kiao glanced at him and asked while biting the leg. Lin Kui looked at her with a deep confusion, nodding slowly. Lin Kiao looked at the puzzled Lin Kui. Maybe because he was too shocked, his panther ears and tail had popped out, and he didn't even know. Lin Kiao couldn't help but laugh. I think I'm different from normal zombies. I can eat humans too. Human flesh is very attractive to me as well, but I don't hate eating animals. They taste good to me actually. She nodded while speaking, then made another bite. Lin Kui had noticed that she skinned the roe deer smoothly and skillfully. By now, he figured that she must have grown that skill through practice. As a zombie, not only could she restrain her appetite, but also feed on animals. She had really mutated in a strange way. At that moment, Xidong walked out from behind Lin Qiu as he glanced at Lin Qiao and then at Lin Qiu. After that, he curved his lips in a faint smile and stood by Lin Qiu's side. Ever since he became a zombie, Xidong's expressions barely changed. After knowing that his woman never loved him, he looked even more distant than before. He was not icy cold, but looked faintly lonely and sad. His lips were only curved slightly, but that already made him seem to have been kissed by a spring breeze. Lin Kiao quickly glanced at him and then moved her eyes away. I found something strange. You guys don't eat animals, but Lutani and I can. I don't know why. This meat can't provide me with energy, but can ease my hunger more or less. Xidong, would you like to try some? Lin Kiao thought for a moment and then looked at Xidong. Xidong paused briefly then shook his head. He had tried once, and found that animals tasted like mud. He would never try it again, as he clearly knew that it would taste no better than mud. But, she just said that Lutani could eat animals too. Why? Seeing the confused look in his eyes, Lin Kiao nodded and responded, that's right. Animal meat doesn't repel him at all. Both Xidong and Lin Kiao looked at Lin Kiao with confusion, who had started thinking about that. I think I need to catch an ordinary zombie to do an experiment first. Lin Kiao murmured, then finished the roe deer leg in her hands with just a couple of bites. After finishing the leg, she ignored the weird look on the other's faces and threw the bone upward, then waved a hand to release a stream of dark mist that wrapped it up. The bone disappeared before it could even fall to the ground. Following her movement, Lin Qiu and Xidong automatically turned their eyes to the bone. As they turned back, they found that Lin Giao had already disappeared. Lin Giao exited her space, then headed straight to the square which was used for the show earlier today. She knew that a lot of zombies were kept in there, under the square. There should be an underground prison or something like that. Lin Giao flashed across the darkness and soon arrived at the square. The wall around the square had been lowered to the original height, 
and the ground had been cleaned. The man who was used as bait had already been scared to death. Lin Kiao lifted a lid on the ground, then squatted and looked into it. It was all dark in there, yet she could see clearly. There was a ladder leading down to a narrow path. The underground space was deep. She leapt down, soon landing on the ground. She glanced up, and then walked into the path. Bloodstains and claw marks were all over the wall clearly left by the zombies. She followed their zombie scent and walked for over ten minutes before finding a thick metal door. The door was under remote control. She raised a hand and vanished the entire door with her black fire. Behind the door was another path that was illuminated. Clearly, it was for human beings. Lin Kiao learned that apart from a great number of zombies, some keepers were also there. She walked into the path and reached a crossroad. Zombie scent could be sensed in every direction. Hence, she decided to choose a random way to go. Boom. Suddenly, a door in the path was bumped open. A man shambled out. His head dropped and hands on his chest. Lin Giao took back her foot which was making a step then turned and looked at that man who was running toward her. That was a soldier. The soldier rushed past her, without sensing her existence at all. She kept her eyes on his back and frowned slightly. That was a young soldier. His head was dropped, so she couldn't see his face clearly. However, judging by his scent, he was young and tasty. However, that soldier was giving out a very dark, violent, and hopeless vibe. Hatred, the intention of killing, violence, ferocity, madness, all kinds of negative emotions had been twisting in his mind. But that was not important. What caught Lin Kiao's attention was that he carried the zombie virus. She quietly looked at the young soldier who was running away, then turned to the door where he came out of. She knew that a few people would come out of the door soon enough to chase the soldier. Seeing that weird thing, she, of course, would do something about it. But first, she wanted to find out what exactly was happening. She wasn't in a rush to do her experiment anyway. Hurry up. Don't let the boy run. Before long, over ten people rushed out of the door, over to the crossroad near Lin Kiao. Those people didn't linger near the crossroad. They automatically divided into three groups and then moved in three different directions. Lin Kiao jumped down from the ceiling. Just now as those people rushed out. She hopped up to the ceiling to avoid them. When those people ran through below her, she heard some of their thoughts. We'll die if we let the boy run apostrophe. He carries the virus apostrophe. Damn. How dare he fight back. He can't run apostrophe. All their thoughts were similar. All in all, they must not let the soldier run. The soldier had terribly dark and twisted emotions. Lin Kiao could easily imagine what those people had done to him because she had grasped one thought from that soldier earlier on, perish together. What made him so despairing? Lin Kiao guessed that it had something to do with the virus inside him, and those people were part of the reason too. Chapter 648 Bauxiogo the Soldier Lin Kiao followed behind the soldier who carried the virus. Meanwhile, the people who chased behind him turned and turned, soon entering another passage. Through the passage, they went into a large room which was filled with sealed cubicles. Lying inside those cubicles were motionless zombies. Lin Kiao guessed that those cubicles were added with tranquilizers and cold air to suppress the zombie virus. The room was all quiet. Except for those cubicles, nothing could be seen. He's hiding here. Puppy Bao, we know you're in here. Just come out. Don't be silly. Have you forgotten about your sister? Do you think that we don't know? You're hiding pretty well though. Those people came into the room but didn't seem to be panicking as they blocked the door and yelled confidently. Yeah, don't do stupid things. You may not be afraid of death, but what about your sister? Another man yelled at the room as well. Lin Giao stayed near those people as she listened to their words and read their minds expressionlessly. In the army, some people never fit in the group. They always looked solitary and unfriendly so people might think that they were too proud to make friends. Some might grow discontented about them, and over time, the situation could go worse. So at last, the people would find excuses to bring them trouble. After the apocalypse, the world was no longer peaceful. More and more evil and dark things happened. Those people before Lin Kiao never liked that soldier whom they called Puppy Bao. That was the reason why they bullied him together. But now, 
it seemed that the soldier had exploded under the long-term oppression. If you dare to touch my sister, I'll kill all of you. A deep and cold voice was heard from a corner, containing a strong hatred and intention of killing in it. Ah, you're coming out. We've been telling you not to run about. But you wouldn't listen. You're forcing us to play our trump card, aren't you? A man responded with a sneer, seeming to be completely clueless about the soldier's threat and his hatred. He he, you're going to die anyway. Do you wanna kill us before you die? We're not going to hell with you. You can go by yourself. Don't worry, if you give us the grenade, your sister will stay alive. Those people were all wearing sarcastic looks, watching the soldier who was slowly walking out from a corner on the other side of the room. Hearing what they said, the soldier immediately lost his fierce vibe. He stared at them, eyes showing despair, hatred, sadness. Clearly, he had given up. He gave up surprisingly soon. Lin Kiao crossed her arms before her chest and expressionlessly leaned against the door behind those people. The young soldier who was called Puppy Bao bit his lip and slightly lowered his head as he stood on the other side of the room motionlessly. The group of people by the door glanced at each other and gave each other an eye signal. After that, they began approaching the soldier slowly. Xiogo calm down. We didn't mean to get you killed. None of us knew that you were behind us, neither did we know that a level 3 zombie was hiding there. You can't blame us for that, can you? said one of the group. Lin Kiao clearly knew that he was lying. That's right, that's right. We didn't know that you were behind us, and we didn't know that a zombie was there. We thought you had gone up. You really shouldn't blame us. Besides, if you blow this place up and release all these zombies, this place will be attacked by the automatic alarm system of the base. Our lives mean nothing, but what about your sister? She's only 12 years old, right? How is she supposed to survive without your protection? Lin Giao pressed her lips together. Those scums always bullied the soldier because they felt that he was a pushover. Now, they threatened him with his weakness. Scums like that could really be found everywhere. Currently, those people pointed their guns at the soldier while saying those comforting words. But on the inside, they were all cursing. The young soldier called Bauxiago had been treated like a slave by those people. They sometimes even raped him in turn. No person could live with that kind of abuse, not to mention a young man. He endured that because he needed to take care of his sister. But earlier today, after the zombies kept in this place were released for the show, one level 3 zombie was still hiding in an area which was supposed to be empty. Those people had known all about it, so they told Bao Xiogo to get into that area first. As a result, he was attacked by that zombie. He reacted timely and fought the zombie, eventually shooting it to death. However, the zombie still left a scratch on him. He was clearly aware of what the scratch meant, he would die and then become a zombie. Knowing that he was going to die. The hatred that had been accumulating in his heart immediately exploded. He wanted to die together with the people in this place. If they didn't send him into that area, how would he be attacked by the zombie and infected by the virus? Who would be taking care of his sister after he died? It was all their fault. But now, he learned that those people had known all about his sister. If he failed to kill them all, his sister would be in danger. Just relax and turn into a zombie. Don't worry. As long as you do what we say, we won't let your sister die of starvation. While trying to persuade him, those people got closer and closer to him. Bauxiogo smiled a sarcastic smile which was toned with sadness. He still made no move and only let those people come closer and closer. He surely didn't believe that those people would be nice to his sister. However, he did believe that if he kept fighting back, his sister might be in danger. Seeing Bauxiogo stay motionless, the few people glanced at each other. They already knew that he had given up on fighting back. Now, as long as they put a bullet into his head, he would die and then wake up as a zombie. As those people started to press the triggers of their guns, they suddenly lost their sights. What's going on? What is this? Bang, bang, bang. I can't see bang, bang. Hearing a series of screams and disordered gunshots, Bauxiogo raised his head to look at those people with confusion. He saw nothing but a cloud of dark mist. Those people were wrapped in the dark mist, and the bullets were flying aimlessly. Chapter 649, Why Did You Bite Me? Bauxiogo was stunned as well. The sadness, the hatred, the despair, 
and all the other emotions that he had just now were gone. At that moment, he only wanted to know what was happening. Before he could react, those people stopped screaming, and the gunshots stopped as well. The cloud of dark mist suddenly fell into quietness. Bauxiogo stared at the mist with both surprise and confusion, trying to see what was in there. But soon, the cloud of mist shrank and exposed a figure. He didn't scream out loud with panic but fixed his eyes on her. She was wearing a normal camouflage suit, her long hair hanging loosely over her shoulders. The loose-fitting trousers wrapped her long legs. She slowly walked out of the mist and showed her pretty face. Those people who had chased behind Bauxiago had all disappeared. You, you who who are you? Did you kill them? Bauxiago failed to process the whole thing immediately, so he helplessly looked at Lin Kiao and asked. She was clearly a high-level superpowered being. He and those people were only commoners. Before superpowered beings, they had to always bow down. Lin Kiao didn't look at him but pressed her hand on a glass wall next to her. Crack. Following the slight noise, the glass under her hand disappeared. A small hole was left on the glass wall with black fire flakes burning on its edge. The hole expanding rapidly. Lin Giao squatted and reached her hand into the hole, then dragged out a zombie which was lying on the ground motionlessly as she flashed before Bauxiogo. In the next second, the zombie in her hand disappeared. Bauxiogo popped his eyes, gawking at Lin Giao. His brain wasn't working well at that moment. Let's go. How long do you plan to stand there? Those people are coming soon. Come with me if you don't want to become a zombie, Lin Giao said to him blandly, then turned and headed toward the door. Hearing her, Bauxiogo paused briefly, then glanced at the large hole in the glass wall. Then, he automatically followed Lin Giao out of the room. Meanwhile, he was thinking that the zombies in the cubicle would be coming out soon, and wondering if those people would discover it. Who was that woman? Why did she show up there? Did she kill those people? She dragged a zombie out of the cubicle, and that zombie had disappeared. Bauxiogo was having all kinds of questions. He quickly followed Lin Kiao out of the underground zombie prison. You, did you just say that you can stop me from turning into a zombie? Is that real? At that moment, Bauxiogo had started to feel cold, but still, his mind stayed clear. The coldness made him shiver and stiffened his body. Lin Giao stopped moving, then turned and looked at him as she said, reach out your hands. Bauxiogo looked around and found that they had already left the square where the show took place and were in a quiet alley. The alley was all dark, such that he couldn't even see the woman's face. W-H-Y? Bauxiogo hesitated. He didn't even know who she was. How could he reach out his hands as she asked? You are going to die in about 20 minutes. After you die, you will become a zombie in just 10 seconds. Do you believe me? Lin Giao said to him. She didn't wait for him to respond, but made a step forward and picked up his hand while he was shambling backward. Then, she lowered her head, opened her mouth, and bit his hand. Ouch. W-H why did you bite me? Bauxiogo was terribly shocked. As he raised his head, he found that they were no longer in that alley. Lin Kiao let go of him, then pushed him into the chair behind him and said, Sit here, don't move. Bauxiogo looked at her with confusion, then looked around at that strange place. After that, he glanced at the bite wound on his hand. That women even bit through his skin. However, he couldn't feel much of the pain. He shouted out loud just now only because he was too surprised. From this day on, you have no choice but to follow me. I cannot let you tell anyone else about this secret. Lin Giao walked to the middle of the living room, then turned and looked at Bauxiogo, who was sitting in the dining room. She remembered that she accidentally bit Lin Yu when he was dying last time. Not long after that, she met him again and he was perfectly alive and healthy. So this time, upon seeing Bauxiogo, she suddenly came up with that idea. She gave him no choice but to follow her if he managed to survive. Otherwise, what happened to him would be a shocking news. What? Bauxiogo sat on the chair and looked at her bewilderedly. Xidong and Lin Kiwi walked in from the outside and leaned against the door frame, looking at Bauxiogo. Carefully feel your body condition. When you feel better. Tell me where your sister is. I'll bring her here. From now on, you and your sister have to work for me. Without my permission, you can't leave. 
Lin Giao bossily announced that she would be in charge of the young soldier's future life. Next, she didn't look at Bauxiogo's reaction, but walked to the zombie which was lying on the other side of the living room. That was a female zombie. Her clothes had become rags, hanging on her body. Her skin was wrinkled, but judging by her face and body shape, she was young. Xi Dong, bring me a cup of the lake water, Lin Giao said to Xi Dong while observing the female zombie. Xi Dong quickly went into the kitchen and fetched a cup of water from the tap. The tank on top of the building was filled with the water from the lake, so he directly fetched the water from the tap. Lin Giao took over the water, forced open the female zombie's mouth, and poured the water in. Then, she handed the empty cup back to Xi Dong, and the latter took it over. On the other side, Bao Xiogo fixed his eyes on Lin Qiao while feeling his own body condition as she asked. He was curious about what Lin Qiao was doing with that zombie. After pouring the water into the zombie's mouth, Lin Qiao stood up and made two steps backward, then continued observing the zombie. Pa! The female zombie who was lying motionlessly on the ground suddenly trembled, then coughed out a few drops of water. The zombie confusedly struggled up from the ground, only to immediately be suppressed by the few strong vibes nearby. She even ignored the human sense that she sensed. Lin Kiao looked at her face. Her face was stiff, with no expression, her eyes were dark without pupils. Clearly, she was one of those normal zombies. She picked up a hand of that zombie and spent a short while looking at it, then couldn't help but turn to say to Xi Dong, get me some more water to wash her. Noticing the dislike on her face, Xi Dong turned and fetched another cup of water, also bringing her a wet towel. Lin Giao took over the towel and heavily rubbed the female zombie's arm with it for a few times. As the towel even turned black, she washed the zombie's arm with the water in the cup. Only after that did she open her mouth to bite the zombie. Chapter 650 The Strong Virus This time, even Xi Dong had no idea what she was doing. As same as the others, he looked at Lin Kiao confusedly. Both Xi Dong and Lin Qiu knew what Lin Kiao really was, and so did the smart zombie, Pesticide, who was sticking his head out from behind the door. All those three zombies had so many questions in their heads. What's happening? What is she doing? Why did she bite a low-leveled zombie? Why? Lutani, who had just woken up, was walking downstairs. He happened to see Lin Kiao bite an ordinary zombie's hand, and ended up being stunned. Bauxiogo who was sitting on the chair, was so shocked that he didn't even know how to react. He widened his eyes and opened his mouth with surprise. Damn, that woman bit me, and then bit a zombie. What is she doing? Is she crazy? By the door, Pesticide looked at his boss curiously, wondering what she was doing. He then glanced at the other higher leveled zombies and found that they were all confused. At that moment, he felt that his boss was so mysterious and powerful. After biting the female zombie, Lin Giao stepped backward to observe her. The female zombie was looking at the bite mark on her arm without knowing what had happened. The others were all looking at her with confusion. Among them, only Lu Dani, who was heading downstairs, suddenly thought of something. At that very moment, the female zombie's face suddenly twisted. Roar. The zombie uttered a series of roar. Bauxiogo didn't understand why those people were looking at that zombie so calmly without any vigilance. Then, he suddenly saw Lin Q, who was standing not far away from him, and froze in shock. Isn't, isn't this a zombie? He had been focusing his attention on Lin Kiao as he was suddenly dragged into a strange place by her. The others he saw had all been standing there quietly with normal expressions. Added with the fact that he was shocked upon watching Lin Kiao bite the zombie, he hadn't paid any attention on anyone else before. Now, on seeing Lin Kiao's eyes, he froze. Sensing Bauxiogo's gaze, Lin Kiao returned and gave him a bland glance, then turned back to keep observing the female zombie. The female zombie widely opened her mouth to scream while raising her head and showing a twisted, painful look. Roar! Her voice suddenly turned sharp. After letting out that screech, she thudded against the floor. Ah, uh, pa! That shrill scream from the zombie brought Bauxiogo a sharp pain in his brain. He felt suffocated, and couldn't help but cough out a mouthful of blood. Then, he fainted and fell off the chair. Lin Kiao and the others turned to look at him simultaneously. She hurriedly walked to him and checked his pulse and breath, 
then turned back to look at the female zombie which was now lying straight on the floor. It seemed that her own virus had started working. While thinking, Lin Kiao dragged Bao Xiaogo up from the floor and yelled at Xidong, get the feet. Xidong walked over knowingly and helped her to carry Bao Xiaogo onto the couch. As for the female zombie, they just left her on the floor. After putting Bao Xiaogo on the couch, Lin Giao squatted by his side to observe him. She clearly saw that her own vibe had been cleaning out the grey vibe inside Bao Xiaogo's body. From the bite wood on his wrist, her vibe was expanding inside his body bit by bit. The others couldn't see what she saw. However, judging by Bao Xiaogo's changing vibe, they knew that the young man's body was going through a thorough transformation. The same thing was happening to the female zombie on the floor. Lin Kiwi looked at Lin Giao with a deep confusion, then at the others. Xidong had no expression on his face. Unlike him, Lu Tani, who was standing on the stairs, seemed to be thinking about something. Lin Kiwi had actually been very curious about the female zombie who owned this mysterious place. He didn't know where she found all those special zombies who were just like himself, but did feel that being with her would not be boring. Suddenly, he felt that staying around her would actually be quite nice. He was also wondering what was her purpose for doing those strange things. Meanwhile, Lin Giao was observing Bao Xiaogo's body. She found that the bluish tone of his skin was fading slowly. Her virus was very strong, and it spread inside his body surprisingly fast. This time, things happen way faster than what happened to Lin Yu last time. Soon, Lin Giao's virus devoured all the virus inside Bao Xiaogo's body, and then, Bao Xiaogo's skin slowly turned back into a healthy color. Of course, only she could see the viruses. Xidong. Lin Q, Lutani, and the smart zombie pesticide were only able to sense the change of Bao Xiaoko by feeling his vibe. Lin Giao blinked quickly, her eyes glowing with a bright light. She was surprised that her virus could actually deliver such an effect. No wonder Lin Yu survived and triggered a superpower which was similar to hers. As Bao Xiaoko's lips turned from purple to pink, Lin Giao stood up and said to Xidong while keep looking at Bao Xiaoko, Xidong. Get him a cup of water. Xidong turned and went back into the kitchen. Before long, he returned with a cup of water. After that, Lin Gia walked to the female zombie and squatted to observe her. The female zombie's condition didn't change as drastically as Bao Xiaogo's. She was lying on the ground, shivering from time to time. It wasn't obvious, but still. A thorough change was happening inside her body as well. Bao Xiaogo's cells hadn't been devoured by the zombie virus, so Lin Giao's virus merely perished the zombie virus and the affected cells, but ignored the healthy cells. The female zombie was in a slightly different condition. After entering her body, Lin Giao's virus directly invaded her cells which had been infected by the zombie virus devouring the zombie virus and taking over those mutated cells. It was like a turtle dove taking over the nest of a magpie. Her virus devoured the original virus and then rooted itself in the cells. After settling down, Lin Kiao's virus immediately started changing those cells. At that point, Lin Kiao found that the female zombie's vibe started changing unpredictably. She had also sensed a clear but inexplainable connection between her and the zombie. She was able to suppress, restrain, and even control the zombie. Lin Kiao stood up and glanced at Lutani. That feeling was similar to what she had from Lutani. However, compared to what she felt about Lutani, something was still missing. Lin Kiao assumed that because Lutani U was related with Lutani, the connection between her body to Lutani was tighter than that between her and the female zombie. 